Hi. Hey, welcome. Welcome back to Wide Chat. How you doing? We're gonna play the latent prequel. Hi. Hope you're doing well. Um. That's that's uh, that's uh, how you doing? Um. Uh, yeah, just in time. Welcome. Uh, yeah, new Mario movie trailer came out like an hour and a half ago. Um. No, the the the, the this the, the uh, webcam window is also wider. Uh, Everything's wider. Uh, Hi. Uh, Happy belated. Uh, Thank you. Uh, thanks, Gam. Uh, thanks for that. Hmm. You say our love is draining and you Mario gets heck of destroyed. Good. It's a good thing. Mamoru Miyano Japanese Mario. What does that mean? Subject. Thanks for the ten dollars. The main menu theme for this is stunning. Yeah. It's like each Layton game they try to one up the title theme music. Who is who is Mamoru Miyano? Was that thing that they announced today? Badass speech is amazing. Yeah. I really respect the fact that she got a halberd and they gave the frying pan to Toad. That's a good move. Um, super famous voice actor. Would I know him from anything? Also, hi, dear. You ever get paid millions and just go, yep, yeah, mm -hmm, it's a me. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, a lot of the trailer looked pretty good, I gotta say. I, I still have low expectations, but, um, yeah. Peach is competent, right? Lord. Voice light and death note. Holy shit. <laughs> okay, then I would recognize this voice. Damn. What a fucking pull. That's awesome. Seems like a much better time. <laughs> yeah, Charlie Day seems fine. Jack Black's still good. I tell her Joy's fine. Um, it's still it's still crispy rat. It's just like man, when when they had him going through that like obstacle course training course that looks like an old 2D Mario level, which is cute. Like, if you sat me down, other than the thing where I was like, I'll eat a hat if they have Charles Martinet as like an in-universe Mario in a store um, uh, display. Other than that, if you were like, sit me down and be like, what are the beats, like the visual gags? I'd be like, training montage that looks like Mario. Like, like that's one of the things I would have said. Still, it's cute, fine. But when, when he's like getting slapped and it's like Tom, like Tom and Jerry Looney Tunes like being bopped by stuff and slammed around and he's just like, Ooh, whoa, ah, and it's like, is that the best they got out of him? It's like, it's like he was standing in a booth with like his, his frappuccino, his cappuccino nice. frappuccino and like a scarf and his sunglasses on because he's hungover and he's just like, ah, and they're like, okay, can we get like a little, like get your body into it? Ah, whoa, it just, it's so underwhelming when he's like being, Slammed around, he gets like a cheap cheap on his face. He's like, "Oh, get this thing off me!" It's like, it's like I could do a better job than that, dude. Holy fuck! It's like it's so jarring when everyone else is giving it their all. Oh man, oh, it's like I'm going to laugh out loud seeing that movie in theaters. But it's like everyone else would be like, "I'm a cartoon character," and then Chris Pratt like, "Whoa!" And at the end, when he's like Mario Kart for some reason, everyone's Mario Kart, because I guess why not? Uh, honestly, I'm fine with that. I, I it's kind of funny. That they're like, uh, what else do people know about Mario? Uh, Mario Kart, put that in. What? How do they have their racers? There'll be a montage where, like, toads make them. They'll be like, we need to hop on the Rainbow Road to get to Bowser. But how are we gonna get there? And then there's a montage where they, like, like spray paint an M on a thing. And then they're like, vroom, vroom, vroom. And then it's like, okay, fine, who cares? It's a children's movie. Who cares? Um, yeah, it looked like, like, Lenny Koopa. Or Lenny Koopa? One of the Koopa kids was in the background, too. Looked like. Um... Funky Kong was in the card section? Fuck yeah. Funky confirmed. I hope he's being voiced by... Who would be the worst voice actor for Funky Kong? I hope Willem Dafoe was the voice of Funky Kong. Um, all the monkeys in the back. Yeah. Polly nice. Shore. <laughs> but Cranky, when can I go out and be on my own? Forget what the fucking line is. My more latent, yeah. See you in Vaudland. Have a good one, sleepily. Mario's the most boring Mario character, so that's honestly, but that's that's why when they're first like we're making a Mario movie, <laughs> Louis C.K. is so, uh, I got the whole world us. Uh, Chris Pratt again. Thank you for the hype trade. Um, 
He was at the hotel. Is that nice? Um. Yeah. No, I don't know. Uh. Finished playing Mirror Mask. Nice. Hope you enjoyed it. Yeah. I. I. I like. I don't know. It looks like dumb and fun and cute, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Gary Busey is like you can. Jesus. Because you want the resub? Fuck yeah. That's what you get for resubbing during a hype train. Uh, thank you. It is very pretty. 82 minutes long. That's pretty short. How we doing, Viz? Hey, we just started. Heck over. Thank you. Also, shout outs to this title screen music. It's going to loop again. I'm going to turn it up slightly. Because it's, it's fucking incredible. Um, Yeah, no, Mario is a boring character. And that's when they're like, we're making a Mario movie. It's like, Mario has to be the main character. Because that's the world we live in. That makes sense. But he's not really a character. So, are they going to create a character that doesn't already exist? Or is he going to be the bland everyman, like, I'll save the day. Like, there's nothing to his character because they're building off of nothing. And they seem to have gone with the latter to an extreme that I did not think capable via casting Chris Pratt. And nothing I've seen so far gives me any indication there's more to his character than, like, I'm slightly insecure, but with the power of my friends believing in me, I'll save the day. Um, and also I can jump real good. And it's like, that that's the worst part of anything of this. And if they had a really compelling, competent voice actor, they could have a lot of fun with that role and make that more than the sum of its parts. Um, fix it, Felix is great, also fucking tainted. Oh. Mars Light's boring as a script to Manzy B. Well, that, that's my point. It's like, they didn't have to make him boring, and we haven't seen the movie. Maybe he's better, but based off what I've seen and assume, um, it seems like they're just gonna make him a very boring character who's the sort of straight man that everything happens around. He's our window into the wacky mushroom kingdom. He's our audience surrogate. That's fine. Usually audience surrogate characters are the most boring. That's your Harry Potter and Harry Potter. That's your Frodo and Lord of the Rings. They can't, they're not necessarily bad characters, but you have to work really hard to make them compelling compared to the crazy characters surrounded by them. Um, when you have a, a window into a fantasy universe. So, I'm not really surprised by that, but there's so much they could do to make him more fun. And no matter what they give him, it's still Chris Pratt going... We wahoo. And uh, that, uh, yeah. At the very end of the trailer, when, they, when he does the little hop, and it makes the Mario jump noise, even though he's in a Mario Kart car, whatever. I'm a fucking nerd. I'll be mad about that and no one else will care. It's fine. I mean, no one else. All the other nerds will be like, that's not the right noise for the go-kart. Whatever. It's fine. Uh, but then he just goes like, wahoo. And it's like, <laughs> how come when Chris Pratt first made his like Instagram video post being like, that's not the voice. You're not ready for the voice. You're not going to hear the voice yet. It's like that. But then that's the voice he does. He mostly just does himself and then does one line where it's like half falsetto. Uh, which is like the most disappointing. It's like either he should have, I don't know. Unlike anything you've heard. He said that, didn't he? Wow. Also, shout outs to Seth Rogen making Chris Pratt's selfie video, but better. Because Chris Pratt being like, I always dreamed I wanted to be Mario one day. It's like, no one believes that. Seth Rogen being like, here's my dog named Zelda. I love Miyamoto. And I thought if there was a Mario thing, I'd love to be part of it. And it's like, that feels plausible to me. He didn't go, here's my dog, Donkey Kong. And here's my Donkey Kong shirt. I always wanted to be Donkey Kong. No one ever wanted to be Donkey Kong. No, he just wanted to be involved in a Mario project, and that's what's happening. That makes sense. <laughs> that's grounded in the reality we live in. So, shouts to Seth Rogen. Which, uh, also, did Donkey Kong even say anything in the trailer? They're like, here's Seth Rogen, he's Donkey Kong, and Donkey Kong just kind of grunts. Elsie's got two real eyeballs. You know what's fucking upset? Yeah, he just grunted. Which, like, that was a good grunt, but seems weird to have him help introduce the trailer and then he's not really in the trailer um <laughs> the only yeah um no i uh 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 very expensive grunt the smash reference though dk slapping mario's great yeah here's the thing i having now seen that they're putting just actual mario kart in the movie people are hoping and expecting that the movie's gonna end with like a smash brothers movie tease like a, a nintendo avengers is gonna happen I'm expecting now if there's a post credit scene, it's gonna be like Mario inviting Bowser to play tennis. 
and then they'll just be playing tennis awkwardly and that'll be the the bit at the end it's gonna be like that it's not gonna be like we're building this it's just gonna be like do -do 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 -do. ncu Ugh. ncu feels bad yeah put wario in it yeah you just see you see wario's fucking motorcycle dusted off because he's also in brooklyn yeah i was also yelling at gam about the promo image they put out yesterday that shows mario and luigi in brooklyn and you can tell that they're in Brooklyn because um, it, it has very distinctive uh, New York kind of uh, architecture around them and businesses. Uh, you can see the Brooklyn Bridge behind them and also the street that they're on is just named Brooklyn. It's just, it's all Brooklyn. Hey, they're in Brooklyn. <laughs> I was like, why? Why is the street sign just say Brooklyn? Not even Brooklyn Avenue, which to be fair is a real street in Brooklyn. It's not near the Brooklyn Bridge, but that is a real street. No, it just says Brooklyn and there's no cross street. It's like, Luigi, meet me on the corner of Brooklyn, fuck you. We gotta take a photo shoot of our business. <laughs> it's just like, ugh. Anyway, I was yelling about that. Um, but yeah, the thing with Donkey Kong, where they like changed his eyes, they gave him like, like DreamWorks eyes. Um, in the trailer, he has the like dark area around his eyes that like, it's like embedded in his meaty skull. But then the promo image that Miyamoto was like, check this out, he's staring straight at you. That does it, it's like a little bit darker. Maybe it's the lighting? I don't know. But seeing Donkey Kong without the like fucking like bandit goggles is like deeply unsettling. So I don't know. Mario's from New Donk apparently. Well, I'm glad that they just did Brooklyn instead of New Donk. I'm, I'm honestly, that's one of the things that I'm happy for because the whole point of the fish out of water structure is that you come from a place of familiarity and go to a place of fantasy. And if they start a new donk, where it's Mario and Luigi working on, on uh, fixing toilets that are twice as tall as them because they're the shortest people and everyone else is like 20 feet tall normal humans, that's, uh, you're starting with an upsetting place. You should not start in New Donk City. You start in Brooklyn and make everyone roughly the same proportion to be like, this is the world that they're from. This is this fun, wacky version of Brooklyn with 80% fewer uh, uh, open manhole cover smells and rat kings scurrying about. Uh, and then you go from there into the warp pipe, and, and which is on the trailer too, so yeah. We're already in an uncomfortable place. You can now play as Luigi. <laughs> what the... You know how like they they um they put uh, uh Endgame and then like Avatar like back in theaters to like try to hit like box office goals and stuff? What if after the Mario movie is out of theaters they put it back into theaters but they just make Mario's costume green? And then it's like look it's the new game, new game plus it's, you can play as Luigi now. Everything's the same they just make him green and it was like done in post really shittily. <sighs> Morbio. Meet me at the corner of Brooklyn and fuck you. Yeah. Put it back with Chris Pratt as my- Oh my god. Release the Martinet cut. They slap the new- Yeah, new Super Mario Bros. movie. Also, um, the two- So, genuinely, it looks fine. It looks very polished. It looks like they had a lot of fun. It looks like people that actually have played more than just the most recent Mario. Or like, Googled Mario, Wikipedia, and then just put that in the movie. It seems like they actually- like, there's lots of nods and references to the older games and, like, a wide breadth of Mario stuff, so it's, like, fine. There's a little shot where there's toads at, like, a war room table looking at a map, and the and it looks like the maps are, like, voxel art. They're, like, very blocky, uh, so it's, like, evoking pixel art, but in 3D, so voxels does make sense for that. And you can see, like, the Mushroom Kingdom, what looks like a little Yoshi Island, uh, what's probably, like, where the Kongs are, and then, like, the Bowser. It's, like, eh, that stuff's cute. It's, like evoking the games without being like specific like, like it we're looking down and it's just the mario 3 world map that would be like what that's extremely jarring so it's like they're doing some cute adaptation stuff the two things that i don't think will i will change my mind on is a chris pratt phoning it in sucks real bad and b the heightened over the top orchestral mario one theme song does not do it for me that is not a song that works well slowed down with exce excessive bombast, and they're leaning so hard to it. It's the first three notes. No, they, they're they're doing the like bum 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 ba 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 ba. It's like the whole first refrain, um, and it's bad. <laughs> it just it doesn't work. But like they could have done something where it's like it's like this big sweeping orchestral theme that then turns into like but up but up but up like that could be like something like, I don't know but it just uh 
It's because that's the trend of the last, like, eight years of, of cinema, is you take something familiar and slow it down. Yeah, here you go. Sorry, chat can't be wide while we look at this. Um, What the fuck? Oh, is this from Donkey Kong Country Returns? No. Well, it doesn't... It's not one-to-one, -one, but, you know. But it's, like, a very clear, just, like, that. that's Donkey Kong Land. But, yeah, it's, like, it's like vo voxel shit going on. It's cute. Yeah, and Yoshi Island, which doesn't just have a giant egg to be like Yoshi's. It's like, it just looks like the tall mountains from Yoshi's Island. And then it's covered up, but there's the Mushroom Kingdom there. And uh, I don't know, it's like, it's cute. It also, it's hilarious to me that the Toads have a war room. Um, Also, uh, 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 Mario Movie already has a point over recent Paper Marios because look, they're, they're, they're different colors of the same outfit, but they have this little bow tie aesthetic, which is different than the normal Toads that have like the little vest. Um, <laughs> let us fight! So it's like, th these are the advisors. Like, you're playing Civ, and it pops up, and it's like, I think you should go to war with Spain! It's like, okay, calm down. Go away. Go away. I'm good. Thank you. Um, but, uh, it's like, okay, there's, like, different types of toads that have different, uh, the, the, the cl different costumes. It's like, okay, great. Tell generals plan the landing of Domini 1944. <laughs> Just make it black and white. Ah, uh, shit. Oh, fuck. Damn. Damn. You can't do that to me. Uh, Fuck. Hey, anyway, we should probably play Layton. Um, I don't want to do puzzles. I just want to talk about Mario because it's fun. No fighting in here. This is the war room. <laughs> fucking uh uh uh, fucking Doctor Strangelove with toads. Ah, you're gonna be late then, oh Viz. Ah, stupid tone that shit, gentlemen. Doctor Toadlove? No 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 no. Video games as a medium turns like 50 today? Damn. Super Mario Bros, or how I learned to shut up and love the bob bomb. <laughs> <sighs> they may take our lives, but they may never take our freedom. They're probably gonna do that. Not that ex exactly, but I bet there'll be a final showdown where you have Bowser's army on one side and, and Peach's army on the other. And you'll have the toads with like their helmets there too big and one like walking, maybe riding a Yoshi, being like, Men! Today we fight! And then it's gonna like, you'll be hit by like a block and fall off as Yoshi. Um, yeah, it's gonna be good. Could one share a cat dog posted to the Discord? Is that one you, Captain Scruffy, that you wanna permit? Cranky Colin County was that anyway. He had to change it when he became a citizen? Yeah, right? Yeah, General Pence down from the Toad flag. Uh, duh. Yeah. Oh, wow. That is a dog and also a cat. Uh, uh, would you look at that? That's a good dog and a good cat. That's good. Big Game of Thrones style battle with Toads on Yoshi's. Mm-hmm. Yep. How many doubloons is that? Three. Three doubloons. Um, yeah. No, the thing that I want to uh, find out, uh, I'll be looking for when, when I see the movie, is um, for the ultimate climax, which is going to be a 1v1 between uh, uh, Bowser and Mario, um, what are they going to do? I think it's three things. One, he, like, punches him and knocks him off a thing into the abyss, which is, like, boring and standard. Uh, two, Mario 64 tailspin, grab him, spin around, throw him into stuff. Or uh, th three, see, I forgot where I went with this. Um, Mario 1, where he's on a bridge and he, like, hits a thing and knocks him into lava. Or all of the above. <laughs> Maybe they go, fuck it. Superstar from the first show. Oh, he's gonna go Super Saiyan. He's gonna steal the Superstar and go Invincible. No, 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 no. He's gonna go Invincible to jump through the final gauntlet to get to Bowser. It's gonna be like, how do I get to him? Oh no, he'll grab the Superstar and then jump through a bunch of stuff in like a montage. Then the fight against Bowser though. Is it, is it tussle that ends with Bowser falling to his death, but he's fine. Um, spinning him around, throwing him into stuff, or hit an ax that goes chunk and then da -da 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 -da, and then he falls in the lava. Um, probably not the lava one. Um, but ba there are a lot of games where Bowser falls in the lava and dies. So, heaven backwards long jump. If there's a backwards long jump anywhere in that movie, I'll be like, I don't care about the rest. This is a 10 out of 10 movie. He's super cocky at the start of the fight and the start instantly ends. Yeah, he's like, all right, I'm gonna beat you, Bowser, and then the time runs out. Yeah, that that's, that 
Print it. That's gonna happen, is here. Luigi kills Bowser and Ivan accidentally just snaps, and then he's like fucking dead with his neck snapped in the Family Guy death pose, and they're like, oh, he was supposed to come back for the sequel as like a, like a, a unlikely ally, but I guess he's just dead now. Um, thrown into a black hole. Yeah, she mentioned galaxies. Yeah, which I'm like, that's cute. I guess. What well, if there's a BLJ, but Pratt Mario calls it a turnaround jump? <laughs> just like... And then he just spins and jumps and midair lands back down. Uh, he gets more of a galaxy and falls on the sun. That's maybe the most hardcore way Bowser's ever died. Falling into the, the, the dying sun at the center of the universe. He becomes Mr. N. Hey, JD. How you doing? There's a lot of galaxies and sunshines and double dashes out there. <laughs> what are we, some kind of Mario Kart double dash? Wahoo. Let's say go. <coughs> There's a lot of tennis out there. Mario, I baked the cake! Gotta have a cake. Mario, don't come over. I baked a god-awful cake. <laughs> I love that meme. Anyway, uh, uh, let's, let's do some stuff. Uh, grinding work, hell yeah, get it done. A lot of 64 out there. Marcus Bean, we briefly cut to live-action Crispy Rap playing on an actual Switch looking game over screen. Ugh, hope not. Hope not. Professor, can I have furniture? No, never. Um, in fact, canonically, he can't have furniture because this is a prequel. So we played through. Will Peach bake a cake in the movie and give it to Mario? I think those are two different questions. I think she'll present a cake to Mario, but I don't know if she'll make it. I think there will be a cake. I don't think we'll see her baking a cake. I'm going to split that hair right down the middle. <laughs> Watch a chaos randomizer version of the Mario movie. Ugh, fuck. Can I watch this late if I waste in the VODs for Village and most of the first episode box? That's what I was, I was about to get into. Um, the first three Layton games, uh, Curious Village, Diabolical Box, and um, Unwanted Future, they're the first trilogy. And then Last Spectre is the prequel that's then followed up by two other games that form a prequel trilogy. None of it matters. <laughs> Don't just, this is the first game in the timeline. This is the Phantom Menace, okay? We did A New Hope, Empire, Return of the Jedi. Now we've had, well, now we're about to do Phantom Menace, okay? There you go. So yeah, this is Star Wars. Um, so don't worry about it. Luke is a little baboo. He's about three days old. Um, is Lane the Phantom or the Menace? He is the Menace and the Phantom is the villain. Where's the latent Andor? That's um, the mobile game. Layton Jar Jar, but no longer. Future game, cue the Star Wars music for 1.5 seconds. But uh, Is as good as Phantom Menace, no. Ugh. Look for a to play it so I can be your dev in chat one more time. Play what? The game that you're working on? Did I miss something you said? He looks... Um, oh, from the bits. You finished the script for Flight Path. Excited for him to play it in a couple months and releases in January. That's soon. That's very soon, Helix. Congrats, well done. Will there be a sand puzzle? I hope so. Did you notice the oof? No. When was an oof in the trailer? Was it was it the Roblox oof? Sorry, the Messiah oof. I did watch H Bomber Guy's video. <laughs> Which is very good. <clears throat> I get to keep my keys, hell yeah. You watched the Roblox yet? Yeah. <laughs> I can link it. Uh, do you need a permit? Tell me Tyler you can get excited for the trailer now. Yeah. Oh baby. The oof was Pratt. Where in the trailer is it? Oh, is that what you're saying that you need the permit for? Everyone else hate all the voices but Bowser. I thought Charlie Day is doing a good job as Ouija. And Anya Taylor-Joy is as expected, which is to say not extremely unique, but that's not really what you need for Peach. I thought she's fine. I have zero... I have, I'm completely neutral about Anya Taylor-Joy. I like a lot of things I've seen her in as an actor, as a voice actor, kind of same ballpark as Chris Pratt, so it's kind of weirdly fitting, where it's like, I don't find their voice remotely exciting. It's just like they're a... Anya Taylor-Joy is a talented actor. Chris Pratt is fine. He's not bad. He's fine. Um, What what happened here? Uh, Twitter, something went wrong. Let me refresh the page. I do sound for a living. What happened? What happened? What? What happened? It does. It does. It does. It does. It does sound a bit. 
Get it off. <laughs> get it off. Oh my god, can we get another take? No. That's all you get. Get it, get it off. If Peach doesn't ever vibe one, I quit. Fuck. First shot we see of Peach. Toad slams open the door and is like, Princess! You, you need it in the war room! And she, she's in bed and she gets up and she hops in her dress and runs out of the room. And you just see like a pile of just like her umbrella. <laughs> like, it's just wherever we can put obscure references. And she's grinding her axe. Yeah, exactly. The actual video. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. Thank you. I'm not gonna watch the whole trailer. I mean, or even that. It's fine. Thank you, though. Hey, Captain J. Captain JP. Welcome. Everyone point. Uh, what is, what is, what is, what is this? Twitter.com. Uh, one weird thing I never got about the series is Lucas only character is different voice actor than the Okay. Yeah, we went into that before. Um, and I, 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 it is weird. I did never, I never knew that was a thing. And everyone that's grew, grew up with the UK voice actor is like, what is wrong with the US voice actor? And then I hear the US one, I'm like, that's my Luke. That's what he sounds like. Um, is this, is this a bad thing to watch on stream? Bowser is coming. Yeah, it's a bad thing to watch on stream. Thanks, Guillaume. All right. Oh, let's play Layton instead of that. Uh, uh, okay. Um, hey, uh, uh, Layton was recommended either... Uh, recommend people recommended either like all the Laytons or the Layton prequels. Some people specifically said Last Spectre, but it was recommended by Anonymous, Rage and Glory, Quincy Morrow, Trumpet Wings, Toby Not Berry, Wild Amaranth, and Smexy Deer. Thank you, Kaido Cam resubbed for a year in between streams with a very with a mildly cursed skeleton key going to them. And K Hill with 50 bits when I sh should have started streaming. Um, Fun fact, I opened up uh, Streamlabs and was testing stuff and setting up the capture, and uh, alerts were doubled again. And I was like, why? And I was fiddling with stuff, nothing fixed it. I closed the reopen Streamlabs and it was fixed. And I was like, <gasps> and I've only waited till now to say that because uh, it seems to be fixed. If it happens again though, huh? <laughs> There's something about this setup that Streamlabs seems to hate. So uh, it's fun. It's haunted. It's just a bit haunted. I'm so sad you stole double words. You're welcome. I wanted you to know that you're missing out on me opening up Streamlabs and clicking start stream without testing stuff. Hooray for technology. Mm-hmm. It did happen last time. Actually, I think it happened with Spirit Tracks. I don't think it was, but it was it was this overlay with the two screen setup. The DS is too powerful. Uh Bakayo said, wait, Barry, I was watering my rabbit the other times you streamed Layton. Can you do it again? I is that a euphemism? Uh no. There's VODs! Watch the VODs. Or don't. Here you go. What is this? Ooh. That's cute. Whoa. Um, uh, bah. Huh, ma. It is uh, a 3D printed hand painted Majora mask. Which looks real good. Look at all that. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. That is really well done. Nice. Fuck yeah. Love me some Majora. Wait, that's that one. Ba -da 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 -da. One day I'll print in the third dimension. Just print with a regular printer, and then just like, you could, you could, you know, like print out like each layer and then you cut it out and then like glue it to the next layer. You could, you could do that. It would be a massive waste of paper. It was good. Dark Spirit Trek stream. During Omen of Future, then you bring it up. Oh, well, never mind. Something about late. Something about late. I put in the DS and it gets mad. Uh, Xandri with 45 months. That's a lot of months. Paradot Project, 14 months. Uh, Meta Crossing with 30 months and half an hour skew to you. Why is there an ad? I don't know. I was on my way to the office when the um, the Mario movie direct was happening, and I was at a red light and tried to pull up my phone, and an ad started playing, and I just closed the, closed the app. It's just like it, I, it's not even where I'll just watch the vod when I get to the office, and that's what I did. Ads have gotten real, real crazy. Um, yeah, new trailer. One day I'll not want to destroy everything I print. One day, dear, I believe. Besides the word of Carbo for 3D Primus thing. That's true. That is true. Viking Engineering's, thanks for 23 months. Pin Pack, thanks for 8 months. And a whole mess of Hyperlukes. Pixel Kenji with 21 months. Never went past the first trilogy. I don't I don't know the latent twists anymore. I'm scared. There's no twists. Everything from here on out is just straightforward and standard. What I will say is I hope you enjoy this. Um also I didn't I didn't specifically mention that uh, one of the charity stream incentives from the charity stream from like Almost two months ago now. 
or about two months ago, uh, was I would do the latent prequels. Not all back to back. It's probably gonna be a bit before we do the 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 attack of the clones of Layton. Um, I forget if that's Miracle Mask. I think it's Miracle Mask, and then Azran Legacy. Um, but uh, uh, th this is the last one that was on the DS. The next two that make up the rest of the trilogy are on the 3DS, and they use 3D models for all the in-game art. And yeah, it's not, I, I don't like it that much. Uh, there's still Layton, and, and I think there's still the like 2D animated cutscenes, but when it's like, we're walking around town and talking to people, there are 3D models of Luke and Layton. And um, it, so enjoy this one. This is the last one with all 2D art. And we'll just enjoy it for what it is. Phoenix Wright did the same thing that sucks. Yeah. Yeah. Very important Doig Swift clip. I'm looking at them now. Is it bad? It's pretty bad. Do 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 What happened over here? Means Kuma jump. Kuma jump. Kuma jump. Whoa! Kuma jump. Whoa! Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Now that's a jump. Whoa! <laughs> Kuma jump. <laughs> jump! Damn. Push it a little higher, probably. That's the 3DS. Holy not there. shit. I don't think it's Holy the... Holy shit. Did he just come right into cam just now? Damn. Very powerful cat. Uh, Thank you for that. Um, I didn't think that they were... Higher low poly being an issue for me was specifically the art direction. Cause Layton's just got his little dumb face and it's the best part of his design. And putting on a 3D model that's like a cylinder just feels gross. <coughs> spoilers for games in the future, I guess. Um, yeah, it's not a spoiler, it's just look forward to this. Uh, thank you so much for that resub. Uh, this is not this game, this is one of the one of the future games, but uh, yeah, look forward to. Like they're fine, but the 2D art is so good. <laughs> it's so good. And then this is like, mm. it's when he's chug jugging. Yeah, when you put him in the Fortnite, that's what he should look like. Otherwise, his ear. Yeah, a lot of it is. It's just. Yeah, it's fine. Don't worry about it. I just, I just want you to appreciate what you have while you still have it. So that's why I'm highlighting that this game is still, <laughs> still 2D art. Uh, the anime cuts in 3D games actually have some parallax in 3D model, 3D mode, which is kind of neat. That's right, I forgot about that. It's been a long time. The future, future. Funky Kong and Kitty Kong actually show up in the trailer. No, no, no. People told me that they saw Funky Kong. I thought I saw it when in the shot where they're all Mario Kart racing. It looked like Lemmy Koopa was on the far left, but he's also really crunchy, compressed YouTube 1080p. So I don't know. That would be weird. So I think I'm wrong. Okay, but Funky Kong, though. Yeah. But Funky Kong, though. The Funky Kong. Toaster Posey. Soup for Luke. Soup? Loop? Who can say? Pretty Anna, thanks for two years. Enjoy your house key. Rose, Blood, Wolf, 100 bits. Professor? Hyper Luke. Pin a pack with 69 bits. More Layton. Hooray. Goon with 96 bits. Trumpet Wings with Soup. WTB Soul 10G with 38 months. Meta Crossing with 420 bits. We don't hear this alert enough. And I'll play it again. Oh, very good. Very, very, very good. What a good number. Thank you. Nobody Hunter, thanks for the raid. Delta Raiden64, thanks for 20 months. Hello from Vodland. Been watching for a hot minute. Been a fan since Grumps. Keep being the best, Barry. Would also, would you ever play Metroid Prime on stream? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe? Might be fun. I haven't played Metroid Prime in a very long time. There is a recommend. That's true. There's a recommend doc. If you're like, hey, play Metroid Prime, put it in there, and I might see it in there and be like, oh yeah, I could. I have the Metroid Prime trilogy digitally, not physically, on the Wii U. Um, I'd have only played Metroid Prime on the GameCube. So the easiest way for me to stream it would be on the Wii U with pointer controls. Although I could also hook up the Wii and then play in standard definition with the old controls. I don't know. I didn't mind the controls in Metroid Prime 3, but it'd be weird to play Prime 1 with those controls. I don't know. We'll see. Did you know, with Metroid Prime, you can... Uh, I put all the Metroid games you can reasonably stream in the rec doc because I'm a moron. <laughs> Far from it. I appreciate it. Thank you. Sub with Metroid Prime. Holy shit. Captain did. Can you hear it? 
and you hear the cosmos. I submitted Flight Path to the Rec Doc Reason. I made this. Hell yeah. Thank you, Elix. Uh, Moralon 420. Thanks for 300 bits. The Edda with three months. Enjoy your silver key. Three months while we. Dunkling Osteus Prime. My birthday was yesterday. Here are my tithes to the Lord of the House. Wait, isn't it pronounced teeds? I think I made that mistake before. Tithes. Tithe? Tithe. It is tithe. So I was right. Tithe. 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 I like the Google pronunciation guy. Tithe. Tithe. Thank you for the tithe. It's tith. Tithe pods. That's where you go to pay your tithe. Uh, Polarish Bear, thanks for 33 months, and it's here too. Bowser is coming. Man, I don't know what, what if it says more about me or about all y'all that I did not even think twice about that line in the trailer. And meanwhile, Gam over here spamming Bowser is coming. Like, is that, am I not broken enough? Or maybe I've crested over the hill of internet corrupting my mind. I've looped back around to being pure. It's us, yeah. Bowser's, come on! Come on! I'm with you, thank you. <laughs> How much you need to stop. Polish, thanks for 33 months in here too. Space Succubus with 50 bits. Last half of this game is a mystery to me because I lost my little DS case with this game in it on the school bus. Sad face. It also had Kirby Mass Attack. So I missed that too. No, space! Sorry to hear that. Well, hopefully we can find out what happens in this game together. Because fun fact, I remember the first trilogy of Layton decently well. Um, in replaying them uh, on stream, I was like, yeah. Oh. I think it's the first time I've seen a pinned message. I forgot that Twitch added pinned messages. And I like that it says which mod pinned it too, so I know to be mad at. <laughs> Thanks, dear. Uh, anyway, um... Uh, hi, Nicole. How you doing? Um, uh, 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 what was I? I already forgot what I was saying. It's gone. Oh, I remember the first three Layton games. And I remember the rough plot beats. I, I, I might remember as we get back into it. I could not tell you what the plot of this game is. I don't remember. It's gone. I played it more recently, even, than the original trilogy. Same with uh, Miracle Mask and Azran Legacy, but I don't know what happens. So... I'm good, how are you? I'm good. Chat's also good, right, chat? Right, chat? Right? Right, chat? Tell me it was a time cop. Yes. Correct. Um... I watched Layton for the plot. Uh... Oh... Uh, Senator Serbot, thanks for 100 bits. Wahoo. Wahoo. Uh, Muja Bunny with 100 bits. Why chat reclaim your birthright? Emsterzam with 69 bits. This is the version that has London life. They didn't have that in the Euro release that's all new to me. We're not going to be touching London Life. Um, I... I think I booted it up once when I was playing this game. It's on the back of the box here. This is the, the box for the game. It's real good. Um, it says over here in the corner, uh, London Life. Live the London Life. Travel to London for a bonus RPG featuring over 100 hours of gameplay with your favorite latent characters. These motherfuckers put a 100-hour RPG on a DS cart as a bonus. So I've never played it, and <laughs> I don't really intend to. Um, like maybe after we finish the game, if we have time, we can boot it up and run around and just see like what it is, but that's not that's not what I'm here for. Yeah, they sure did. No, the, the level five is, they're crazy people. The developers are mad. They, they must be contained. I remember it was so boring. I, it didn't grab me when I, when I touched it. I was like, ah, I don't know. Play Super Mario Land 2 on the 3DS after this. Stairs off of the Switch. Mm -hmm. What was the game they put on the cart? London Life. It was a bonus RPG that's 100 hours long they put in here for no reason. Dang, Rump also does that. When they give you Crackdown with the Halo 3 multiplayer beta, you're like, huh? What? It's like when you buy the orange orange box. It's like, I just bought this for 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 uh, Half, uh, Half Life 2 Episode 2. And they're like, also you have TF2 and Portal. You're like, huh? What? What did I do to deserve this? Lord Charco, thanks for 17 months. Peach is competent and Bowser has a massive ego. We have ourselves a Mario RPG movie. Mallow and Gino when? Dave Kayser with 100 bits. Unlike anything you've heard. Yep. Den Chop, 22 months. Wow, and here I was watching the crazy wonderfulness that was your walk through the first three Laytons. Hope you're doing well, Barry and chat. Same to you. Spacey makes games, thanks for four months. Excellent way to celebrate thrashing the new Mario. 
KO with 50 bits. Fuck it, you know what I've always thought would be the best Mario for a short movie? Paper Mario, where he's largely silent except for high and woe. Cute Biff, Charlie Chaplin, and we lose Chris Pratt. I think that would work much better as like a TV series. Yeah, or like, you know, like I don't think that would work for a film, feature length film. It'd be a lot tougher and also not something they typically do uh, in that kind of medium. But if there was like a Nintendo streaming service in 15 years because they just made, they became Disney and made a million linear media products, then yeah, you know, like the, the wacky adventures of Paper Mario, sure, that'd be fun, but. An hour and a half of a stream basically talking about the Mario movie. We're only 45 minutes in. That's the, listen, I've talked for like two hours before without getting into the game. Do we abandon this game if it's from before Flora joined the crew? Who do we abandon this game? Oh, you'll see. Because yeah, it's before the first game, which means Luke has never had furniture and we've never met Flora. It's before then. Super Mario Super Show? Have you seen birthday streams before? Yeah, speaking of which, I have a birthday soon. I'm probably gonna be streaming on Saturday instead of Sunday this weekend because that's my, my, that's my birthday. So it's Buflora. Yes, that is the, the, as Leighton fans say, the Buflora times. Rogue Keychain with 69 bits. It's a you. I have more emote ideas to share. Let me know whenever it's a good time again. Bar love. I've already been using them on the Discord. It's a me. Hell yeah. Uh, Rogue, yeah. Three stream days in a row, right? I know. Uh, there. Uh, Beetle J. Wall, thanks for 34 months. Just here to watch Barry being kicked in the nards by Chris Pratt for several minutes, then back to Vodland. I'm catching up. Hope you enjoy them. Yo, Rogue. What do you got here? Oh, these are delightful. Whoa. Uh, uh, the, the, <laughs> there's like, there's like a, like a, like a Christmas theme barnament. It's very cute. Um, does that make it bigger? It's just, okay. Uh, Barry Bright with some lights. Bar, have soup? A bar soup, please. By bar shy, shy gingerbread. It's very good. And then bar knuckles. <laughs> Tis the season to dress up like knuckles. That is the, my favorite part of the holiday season. Uh, these are delightful, Rogue. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Bum, 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 ba -da, ba. Ba -da, ba. I will I will consider uh, adding them to BTTV. Um, I'm not going to right now. Because I'm also trying to reduce the BTTV emotes, which we'll be doing shortly. Probably next week or two, I'll be doing another emote stream, adding new, drawing new emotes on stream, and also removing BTTV. Um, but yeah, just want to share. Appreciate it. So very good. Thank you. Hey, the doc's ready, Gam. You've done your part. <laughs> I have it. So please, yeah, I, 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 seeing Barbatar smiling does upset me, but that only adds to the emote. It's good. The purge is coming. The great purge. Add every emote. You got it. Use every single emote. Smash Mouth with 100 bits. To be honest, I'm already used to Chris Pratt's voice, and also I didn't care about the Mario jump sound effect on the cart. I'm one of the few fans who knows uh, who four man Spike and loves that he's in that movie. Um, also, Seth Rogen's still perfect for DK, even though I didn't hear him speak in the trailer. Find it weird they're trying to throw back to the original Donkey Kong in terms of his design, or so Miyamoto says. They say they bring him back to his original design, but he doesn't have plus marks for teeth, and he's wearing a tie. So what part of this harkens back to his original design? None of it! They just tweaked his modern design, which is fine. But why mention- yeah, it was weird. It was weird they mentioned that, it's like, eh, okay. So. I hope he gets to laugh as DK. I hope he still has retractable teeth. He had a tie in the original design? No, he didn't. No. Computer, show me Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong. Isn't yeah, well it's Cranky Kong. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -da -ba -da -ba. Okay, if you want to be a super fucking semantic bros, then sure, this is Cranky Kong. But the original quote unquote Donkey Kong did not have a tie. Okay? Alright? Shit. He had a tie on the Game Boy Donkey Kong games. Fine. <laughs> I'm not gonna die on this hill. I see that face a bit. Yeah, a little bit. He's got like shorter fur. I guess. It's fine. Um, can't knock the free press. Nope. Color code. Yeah, I hope half of the movies them get getting color coded bananas. Alan. He didn't put himself through business college for you to say he doesn't deserve the tie. That's true. If you get a a a, a, a fucking bachelor's. Of fucking bullshit, and you get a tie. It's true. Computer, don't. No. 
Ugh. Chloe was blunt. Yeah, nothing matters. Don't worry about it. Pale pinata. Thanks for four months. Hot dog. It's puzzle time, Professor. Cute ML, 35 months. Puzzles, Luke. Captain Kirby, two months. Thanks for the literal month's worth of content with the VODs that keep me sane. Gonna dip so I can binge Layton all at once. Hope you have a good time. The Air Bear with a year. Enjoy your mildly Chris Calvin key. Emsters M. Hooray for my second favorite uh, Layton game. You're planning on doing London Life. We talked about that. Thanks for 14 months. Uh, Elix, thanks for the 50 bits. And talking about Flight Path. Meta Crossing with Soup. I just realized there are going to be memes of Mario movie speedruns where they stitch together scenes and edit them to clip through geometry and shit until credits. And I look forward to that day. Patty Pakes with 30 months. Enjoy your outhouse key. Meh. Tommy Cheese with 100 bits. Professor. Just want to say the race on Sunday was great fun. Hope to see more of those if the gang is up to it. Absolutely. I would love to do more, more races and stuff like that. It was very fun. Spark Farkles. Thanks for 22 months. Year Bear with 13 months. Didn't I just read that? You resubbed for 12 months, and then like five minutes later, resubbed for 13 months. How did you do that? A tiny falcon, thanks for the prime sub. Welcome. Enjoy the emotes. Oto Grimoire, thanks for six months. This past month has been crazy for me in a bad, wild way. Glad to be back and at, the, and at a part of your streams, and part of your streams. Wishing for many professors to come. Sorry to hear about the poopy month. I hope the rest of the year. Oh, I mean, there's only a month left. I hope that things are better now. I'm talking about Mario for four weeks. It's been a year. Oh, God. Time travel, of course. Shit. Matteo Salto, thanks for five months. Professor, I have a puzzle. What is it? Captain JP, 702. Thanks for the Prime. Moral Land 420, also with the Prime. Thank you so much. Enjoy the emotes. Welcome. Tracker Rock, 30 months. A outhouse key. Bowser is voiced by Jack Black. And Zendaya is Michi. Integral with 20 months. Finally finishing all the DS Professor Land games. So excited. It's going to be a bit before we finish them all. But we're getting the prequel trilogy started. Metasaur, thanks for 14 months. Agnostic Ouija board with 96 bits. Generic Wahoo. Professor Funkenstein with six months. Golden Key. And Linium with 28 months. Gah. -huh. 28 months. Gosh dang, happy beer for another late game. Things in my life been going super well. Quick thanks to you and your work for being there, keeping me strong. Much love. I ain't doing shit. It's all on you, but you're welcome. And thank you. Uh let's play Professor Layton and the last Spectre. But first I need to hydrate. Thank you, Funk. Have a good dinner. I can't believe the holiday season's here already, right? Ugh. It means captain. Fuck yeah. Nothing makes me happier than learning I said someone's name right. Because <laughs> I frequently get them wrong. And I always say, please, if I mispronounce your name or say it wrong, let me know. Drill it into my brain until I get it right. Because I, 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 that is the least I can do. And I want to do right by you. Smash Man, thanks for 96 bits. Best part about these prequels, they don't have to come up with an excuse to ditch Flora. Maybe they ditched her through time. Boom. Anyway, hey, uh, this is Professor Layton and the Last Spectre, and I'm gonna hit new game. Pal. Please enter your name. Oh, the first puzzle of the game is always a tough one. Um, um, uh, uh, hmm, hmm. Oh, maybe I, maybe I gotta, I'm gonna switch these, switch these around. Uh, uh, I can't do a gorgle. Uh, uh, soup? Soup? What if my name is Puzzle? Puzzle. Soup. Mr. Better Luke. <gasps> Better Luke. Better. Luke. That's me. I am Luke, but better. Paisa. Luke Soup. No, not Luke Soup. The hamster? Yeah, I'm the hamster. Oh, wait, 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 no, that's, 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 that, you know what, here we go. Uh, 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 it's me, Professor Barry. And in today's class, we're gonna slide a block around for half an hour. The hamster hasn't been born yet. Yeah, that would mess up the timeline, so. It's me, I'm the professor. This is a work of fiction. Characters, groups, and events portrayed within are no way intended to resemble those of the real world. Long ago, in a lawless age, a pack of bandits invaded a small village. Amidst the chaos, a terrified young farm girl played her flute to drown out the madness. As the music spiraled high into the sky, a giant specter appeared above her. She begged the specter to destroy the bandits, and it swiftly obeyed. The town was saved, and the specter vanished just as quickly as it had appeared. But the farm girl knew that in times of danger, she needed only to play the flute, and the specter would appear again. It's him. 
A quaint tale, wouldn't you say? Tumblr I Sexy Man 2012. I think the time has come for us to pen the next chapter. Of course, master. What was that about? Oh. It's me, Mamir. How you doing? Man, it's so crunchy. Well, what do you think, Luke? Do you see anything yet? He's so no, small! Nothing. He's so <laughs> tiny. I'm still having a tough time buying all of this. It sounds like some scary bedtime story. Is this even possible? Well, we'll soon find out. And a poor little boy who predicts where the giant specter will appear. <sighs> so what now? I mean, what if this thing never even shows up? Explain why small? Because it's a prequel! Uh, hmm? What is... What on earth could that be? It sounds like... It sounds like music! Uh, uh, the flute! It must be... Not the tea! <gasps> Quickly! To the window! To the wall! <gasps> to the sweat! <laughs> Now that's a lot of swamp gas. What is that thing? Can this be? Spectre. Seeing this dark giant made me even more determined to help the professor keep his word. Together, we would shine the light of truth upon this ghastly shadow. Like a wife free rock. <laughs> hey, boy, that clockwork robot built in Underground City sure is wild. Yeah. It's very elaborate. <gasps> so we meet again. Fucking music goes hard. They go hard with these games, man. Whoa. Oh my god, look at her go. This really important character we've learned so much about in the, in the future games. <sighs> her name is Mona Pizza. Oh? Top of the morning! Why, thank you very much. Damn, Postman didn't get subtitles. Professor? That's rough. Oh, Professor? Professor, a letter just came for you. Ow! <sighs> Thank you, Rosa. Ugh. Sounds like someone was up yeah. researching all that. night again. It's no wonder the other professors are so intimidated by you. Oh, they just think that I'm some young upstart. You work too hard, Professor. It's no good. By the way, Dean Delmona came by and said he needed to speak to you. And that he would what is this? Today. I don't know why he had to tell hmm. me that. He could have Regards just Clark. Day, if you ask me. After all these years? He is 22. Rosa, I'm going out. Hey. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I love you, Rosa. <sighs> this is why I love I Wade. hope he remembers to eat something. This is a very good character. Good luck. That's not a public street! You mad lad! Man, I love looking down at the DS in my hands and remembering that this is normally displayed on a screen the size of a postage stamp. It looks really good on the screen because it's so small. Huh? We like to drink with Leighton, because Leighton is our mate. And when he gives you puzzles, See here. What was that you about? finish them in eight, seven, six, five. <laughs> nice to see you again, Professor Leighton. And you are? Hmm. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Why didn't Dean Delmona tell you? Wait. Yeah, wait. There you go. 
Hi, what's up? Hey. Tell me what? I'm Emmy Eltava, your new assistant. Hey, Emmy. Call me Emmy. What's with the uh, the zigzag on the street line? Is that a thing y'all do in the UK that I don't know about? To make the, the streets real confusing? It's supposed to just... When you drive down a straight road, just do this. You got a wiggle drive. No, Mr. Bean painted it. <laughs> the Queen did it! By Her Majesty the Queen! All straight lines are now ziggy zaggies. So say the Queen, so be it. I'm sorry, you're my... Assistant. You do know what an assistant is, don't you? <laughs> Why'd she leave her skirt behind? Didn't need it. The ziggy zaggy wiggle waggies. <laughs> Of course. To build up I'm sorry, Miss Altava, but <laughs> it's like you build up drift. Okay, all right, okay. Professor, please, Emmy. Yeah, her voice is really nice. apologizing so much. She's fun. All right, Emmy. So sorry, but it seems that there has been some sort of mistake here. People in the UK snaking IRL. Yeah. Oh, I don't think so, Professor. Dean Delmona hired me himself. It seems that you have been too busy to attend your departmental meetings lately. Is that right? Oh, Layton. Well, I suppose there might be some truth to that. However... Sounds to me like if anyone needs an assistant, it's you. So, from now on, I'll be the backup on all your projects. Got it? Mm -hmm. Great. I can't wait to get started. Mm-hmm. All your projects. From now until... I guess, like, a couple years from now. Whoa. I wasn't too surprised the professor didn't remember me. It had been some time since our first meeting. She kept after the, all. the scooter. And clearly he had a lot on his mind. Which is exactly why he needed an assistant like me. Thank you, Gail. It was my first day on the job, and I was ready for anything. Or so I thought. We still had yet to meet the young boy who would help us unravel the strangest mystery I could have ever imagined. That's a boy. So what perplexing mystery are we hot on the trail Shit. of now? Pick the wrong thing. Uh, mm-hmm. What mystery indeed? Why would you ask that? Look at his happy mouth frames when he talks. Well, you're off to somewhere in quite a hurry. Something must have piqued your interest. <laughs> that intuition will serve you well. The fuck? What's this? The a letter? letter? Very good. <laughs> I received it about an hour ago. Go ahead, read it aloud. <laughs> what? Why? Was that a puzzle? <laughs> Very good. That was three picarettes. <laughs> Herschel, my dear old friend, I must earnestly seek your help again. Our little town is in the most extraordinary predicament. At night, a mysterious giant shrouded in fog has been laying waste to our homes. I am convinced you can help stop this madness. Please, come soon. Regards, Clark. Madness. A giant? Her? Oh, that's a... How well do you know this person? Clark and I go back a long way. I can't imagine he would fabricate stories for no reason. I find the other message in the letter very interesting as well. He's never been able to read. Nope. He wants you to read the letter for him. Other message? <gasps> Our first puzzle. This puzzle's worth ten pickerets. A secret message. Persia, my dear old friend, I must earnestly seek your help again. Our little town's the most extraordinary predicament. At night, a mysterious giant shrouded in fog has been laying waste to our homes. I'm convinced you can help stop this madness. Please come soon, regards, Clark. Use tiles to slide the tiles in the slots. Then you can't find the answer by reading the letter normally. The message seven's letter is long. The body of the letter is seven lines long. Keep these facts in mind to figure it out. Uh, help, help, but also help twice. I think I've. Got it's a good puzzle one. theme. That was a nice free hint. Yeah. <laughs> I you was gonna do the first. Intimidate you. I was gonna do the first letter of uh, of every sentence, but it's the first letter of every line. Oh, wait, 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 look, look at that! Look at, look at this! Look at that! Look at this! Hey, help, SOS! What's going on here? He did write a letter saying help. Seems a little bit silly to um, 
have help. It's dear old friend, please help me. The secret message says help. Like what? Okay, all right. Pick rats are points that indicate a puzzle's difficulty. The more pick rats a puzzle is worth, the tougher it is. When you submit an incorrect answer for a puzzle, the number of pick rats you can earn from that puzzle decreases. So think carefully before answering. Once you've beaten the game and saved, go to the bonuses section and load your game file. From there, you can enter the top secret area where a number of fun extras are waiting for you. The more pick rats you're in, the more content you unlock. Oh, good. Meh, 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 meh. I found the secret message using the first letter of each line. Emmy, you just may turn out to be the quite valuable as an assistant after all. Oh, well, thank you, Professor. That means a lot coming from you. Help SOS. Why the need to hide this in some sort of code? My question as well. Clark and I have been friends for many years. If he wanted to tell me something, he wouldn't have to hide it. I'm not yet certain what this means. Ooh, how mysterious. My first day on the job, and it's already so Leighton-esque. Leighton esque What on earth does... Emmy, had you heard of me before today? Heard of you? Of course I've heard of you. I know everything about you, Professor. Herschel Leighton, at age 27, became the youngest professor in the, her in the history of Gresson Heller University. Published in numerous academic journals, which I could recite chronologically if you'd like. Astute intellect and preternatural skills of observation have been utilized by Scotland Yard to solve some of London's most difficult criminal cases. Single, 34 years old. Single, 34? <coughs> Capricorn. I made that last part up. Just a guess. Well, you've certainly done your homework. I can see why Dean Delmona hired you. When I asked Dean Delmona about the position, I told him I wouldn't take no for an answer. Interesting. May I ask why you were so intent on working with me? Because we have the same nose, Professor! It was destiny! Hmm. He doesn't remember. Emmy? Hmm? Uh, so where did you say we're headed, Professor? I didn't. Emmy, if you are to be my assistant, we must set a few rules. As an English gentleman, I can never allow you to follow me into a dangerous situation. That sounds reasonable. Let's just remember that there are exceptions to every rule. <laughs> Emmy, first some ground rules. Here's my first rule. Understood, I will be breaking that rule. Ah, we're off to a great start then. English gentleman, haha, <laughs> you're so funny, Professor. Yes, well, thank you. In answer to your question, we're headed to the town of Mist Hollery. Mist Hollery? Mist Hollery. Why is that name familiar? About six months ago, some ancient remains were discovered there. You probably read about it in the Times. Yes, I remember reading that the fabled Golden Garden might be located in Mist Hollery. And now a close friend of yours who lives in Mist Hollery has sent an urgent plea for help. A great archaeological find linked to a mysterious letter, all surrounded by an air of danger. I can't imagine a situation possibly being more latent askew. Emmy, can you refrain from saying... Oh, never mind. <laughs> Mysteries. The letter. The Golden Garden. Layton received a letter from his old friend Clark that held a hidden message within. Why would Clark use such a roundabout way to enlist his aid? The message was written with a typewriter. I must say it's very unlike Clark to write in this way. Says the, the, the hilariously tiny... Uh, wait. Hilariously tiny Layton at the bottom. Well, it's weird he typed it with a typewriter. Man. The village of Miss is said to lie over the remains of a great city of gold nice. built by an ancient civilization. Does it truly exist or is it merely legend? An article in the Times put forth the theory that the Golden Garden lies somewhere in Miss Tollery. Thank you, Tiny Layton. This is a very small, crunchy lad. Good. Yeah, I'm gonna save. I did solve that puzzle. That's my old save from 11 years ago. I solved every puzzle. Oh, uh, let's just... Now I'm a professor. I moved it up in the world. <laughs> I moved it up. <laughs> the fog of Miss Tollery. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to think about it. The less you think about anything in a latent game, the better. Whoa, wait, whoa. Whoa, wait, 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 whoa. Or is it, or is it, whoa. Is it with a gap, without a gap? I think it's without a gap. Whoa. So this is with, without, with, with gap, with gap, with gap. My stream preview is too small for me to tell. Uh, there you go. Whoa, so this is Miss Tollery, huh? It feels like that's not latent. It feels a little eerie. 
It's with a gap, but a smaller one than it expects. Oh. But yeah, close enough. Um, Miss Tollery is known for its thick fog. Some say the town is straight out of a fairy tale. Not any fairy tale I ever read. Man, these games are so fucking comfy. Shit. Exploring like a sleepy little foggy village. Like you get like a blanket and it's raining out and you, you tap in puzzles. It's like, man, these games are great. I miss them. I mean, they're still here, but I miss being young and playing games on the DS. <laughs> Professor Layton in the Silent Hill. I'm ready to snork May 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 already, right? And yeah, the color palettes are like muted. It's just an ordinary wooden crate. Off to a good start. It says you can't swim here. Fishing's allowed though. I'm afraid I don't have any fishing equipment with me. The wheels are kicked in mud from the road. They'll need a wash. I change the oil on the scooter regularly. The river is pretty impressive. Dear chat, fart with reverb. Yours, Princess Toadstool, Beach. I may simply snork me, 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 me. Look, get you ready to wash. I'm watching Cozy Game in my chair with Popo snuggled up. Maximum Cozy! Okay. The pixel portraits are delightful. Several canals thro flow through the town into the river here. Well, there's certainly no danger of a drought hitting here. What's that on top of the hill? It appears to be a house. Think maybe that's where your friend Mr. Triton lives? It seems a bit ominous for Clark's taste, but perhaps. I've got a strange feeling about that place. Something about it. Ooh, here comes someone. Maybe he knows where he can find Mr. Triton. Oh, fuck. This guy. Hello, my friends. Welcome to Miss Tallery. I am Aldous. Charmed. Nice hat. Let me show you something the locals keep secret. Tap that wooden box with your stylus. But tap it like you mean it. Not just once, and not just twice. A rap a tap a tap with your tongue. The crate looks sealed, but it's investigated further. Let's invest. Leave it to me. I got it. Holy shit. You got a hint coin. A beautiful, she shines like the sun. This, my friends, is a hint coin. When you find a puzzle you cannot solve, use one of these lovelies. Spend them wisely for their unlimited supply. If you squander them, I will not dry your tears. Hint coins are hidden in many places. If you see anything sus, be bold and tap away. A rap a tap tap. And that, my friends, will serve you. Did he just tap his hair and smoosh it down? Yep. We'll serve you well in Miss Tolerary. I must go now. Such humidity challenges the hair. Whoop! He is a thumb. That's the thumb you use to tap on your screen. And with that, he's gone. What an interesting fellow. We didn't even get to ask him if he knows where your friend lives, Professor. That's all right for now. Oddly enough, there was no return address on Clark's letter. Well, I'm sure someone in town knows him. Let's ask around. Good idea, Emmy. Let's go over how to move about the tune. Use the stylus to tap the shoe. And then touch. Tap an arrow. Easy enough. Tap the shoe, tap the arrow, and go. Very good. Why don't you go ahead and give it a try? You're not going to walk around the town, Professor? Nope. The town's quiet and hazy. The fine mist here is nothing like the fog in London, isn't it? These hills have quite an unusual geological history, you know. I got a coin. Does the soil type have anything to do with the mist? This is just... The mansion up there overlooks the town. This is just... Stephen King's... The Mist. Let's go. Use the shoes to tap. Oh, before I forget, Professor, how would you like me to keep notes of our investigation? An excellent question, Emmy. Organized records are vital to an effective investigation. Tap the trunk icon in the upper right of the touch screen. When you open the trunk, you will see several icons. To record your progress, tap the save icon. This will save your current progress. You can also view the puzzle index for a list of puzzles. You can solve puzzles, and then you might miss some puzzles, and you have to return to the place where it appeared if you didn't solve it. You can tap the journal, read notes on the story. Tap episodes to get exclusive information on certain characters. Check your often so you can view new episodes. And there's London Life button. Tap this to leave the game and start London Life. Be sure to save your progress in the main game before moving to London Life. Well, I'm certainly going to earn my way as an assistant by keeping track of everything. I have no doubt you'll get the hang of it in no time. Shall we move on? I miss Luke. New episode's been added. Layton's office. Layton's office. 
When he gets to Zord in his research, Leighton has a tendency to leave his papers lying around all over the place. The cleaning lady wrote us a few words. I forgot about this. You unlock like little cutscene vignettes. Stephen King's the bony butt stabber of coastal Maine. Nice. Professor, ride and rise and shine. <laughs> Roses of times. Time to greet the day. You know, Professor, only philanderers and politicians sleep in their offices. Well, Rosa, sometimes it just cannot be helped. Yes, just like you couldn't help making a mess of the place again. Is this how an English gentleman behaves? Half open books all over the place like cookie crumbs? I'm still reading them. I'll put them away soon, Rosa, I promise. Well, if you would just put them away in your head, then I could put them away on the shelves. Ah, uh, hello, Leighton. Sorry to disturb your... Hmm, late night, was it? Hmm. Dean Delbona, come in. Yes, I was burning a bit of the midnight oil. You know how that goes. Not anymore, I don't. I'm the Dean. If you have a moment, Leighton, I could use your help with a puzzle. My dear little granddaughter asked me for the answer. Dean Delmona, you should be ashamed of yourself. A grown man who can't solve his own puzzles. I'm doing this as a service to my granddaughter, Rosa. Allow me to take over from here, Rosa. Dean Delmona, let me take a look at that puzzle. The next time I see an open book on the floor, I'll just go ahead and put it on the shelf in the waste bin. You have a shelf in your waste bin? Oh, Leighton, did you read the article about the Golden God? I've been fascinated by that legend ever since I was knee-high to a scarab beetle. What is your take on what they have discovered thus far? Well, I'm flattered that you would ask. In my opinion, they did discover the Golden... If they did discover the Golden Garden, then... Then they would just mess it up with a fish and chip shop next to the ticket booth. Mark my words. <laughs> oh, Rosa. Okay, that's enough of that. Save. Good. Only 155 puzzles to go. Me playing golden. Though. Hi there. Hey there, Gramps. New in town? Gramps? The professor doesn't look that old. That's all right, Emmy. Do you know where the Triton residence is, young man? Sure, but I'm not telling unless you solve my puzzle. Yeah, right. Let's solve your puzzle. Tourist spotting. These four photos were taken at the same location. Three of these were shot by tourists who took turns taking pictures of each other. One of the photos was taken on a completely different day. Tap the three photos that were taken by the tourists who traveled together. Um... Boy, these are crunchy. Um... The three were taken the same day, one was a different day. A has some birds. B's got a, a cat or a dog in the bottom left corner. Is it... Is it, is it just is it just because there's like some kind of blob here and then a blob here and a blob here? Is it their shadows? That makes more sense. I was like that doesn't. How would that work? Also, damn, they give you a lot of options for notes. The shadows make more sense. The shadows are all underneath them except for C. Done. Thank you. <laughs> a challenging puzzle. I was like, look at the back. Sure. I'm like, anything change? No puzzle is without an answer. The answer is three. The look at their shadows. Three Photoshop position, uh, shadow in the same position. Yeah, thanks, chat. Who needs hint coins when you have chat being like, that's a very easy puzzle. Amazing! You sure know your puzzles for someone your age. Ha <laughs> ha, quite. Now then, you were going to tell us where to find the Triton residence? That old Triton guy lives straight across the rope bridge and then left of the crossroads. I live up in North Ellie, Eli? Lee, but we had to evacuate the area. Evacuate? Why is that? The Oracle said it would be dangerous there, so we had to go. Oracle? Who or what is that? I don't know. My mom says the Oracle saved a lot of people from getting hurt. Hmm. Professor, what do you think this Oracle could be? I'm not sure, Emmy. Perhaps it has something to do with the giant and Croc's letter. Hmm. Grand Bridge is the southernmost part of town. Town's nothing but rivers, canals, and bridges. Jeff, bridges. There's a small step here, be careful not to trip. What is all this stuff? Doesn't seem to be anything of interest here. Hat. Uh, but, uh, eek, oops. She fucking fell. After he went out of his way to tell you that there was a step. Emmy, come on. Puddin. Huh? What time is it? Oh no, I'm late. How long have you two been standing there? If the chief hears I was snoozing again, I'm done for. We've only been here a moment or two, no longer. 
I hope I didn't say anything while I was napping about pudding. No matter. I trust you'll keep this to yourselves. Miss Tottery's closed to visitors. Promise you won't mention this to the chief and I can let you pass. Rest assured our lips are sealed. Oh, thank you. You're quite the gentleman. I'll be off then. I've sworn to protect the pudding, you know. Let's go work. Pudding. Pudding. You know what you do with pudding? Putting it in your mouth. Our lips are sealed, but our hips do lie. Uh, three. Putting it in your belly. Lane's 34. He's so old. I'm, uh, 33 in a, in this weekend. Phew. Still younger than Layton. <laughs> Uh, you've sworn to not spread rumors of sleepy police officers. Yes, good day to you both. Good day. I said good day. I'm so old. It's true, actually. Actually, objectively true. Professor, there are two rope bridges here, but one is sealed off. And it appears that is the bridge we need to use. The ropes are all tied up in these ridiculous knots. I wouldn't even know where to start untying them all. Well, I suppose one could go through all that trouble, or... Or what, Professor? Or undoing all the knots appears to be quite an arduous task. One can do away with all that rope by cutting it in one place. Take another look at me. The whole thing can be undone with one cut. I'm 34, I'm not old. You're as old as Leighton. He's pretty old. Yes, look, look, look closer. Tell me where you think we should cut it. All right, let's see what we have. You may cut the rope at one of five points. Tap the area you want to cut. Let's see the pointy finger above. Tap cut. Solve the puzzle. It doesn't even have puzzle music. It's a diegetic puzzle. Um. 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 What? When? 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 When you? When? When? When you? Um. Well, th this one would get through a lot of it. Gam uses gun. If you follow the top left one, it zigzags way the hell all over the place. Not that one. No, that one. But I'm only, I'm, I'm literally just basing it off of it does a lot. But I don't know. I'm gonna try it. Did I, was that right? Correct, cutting that one spot will unravel the entire thing. Oh. I, I was waiting for like a- Oh, you thought that was right, but actually this one that does like a tiny bit, that undoes all of it. Okay. I'm starting to get a feel for what being your assistant is like. You're doing a wonderful job thus far, Emmy. Yeah. Who do you think is responsible for this? Well, there's no sign indicating a bridge closure. I suspect it is the work of a local mischief maker. Made me think of mischief makers. Uh, if the bridge were unstable and dangerous, it wouldn't just simply be roped off, would it? This bridge may have its best years behind it. I don't think we need to worry, however. Oh, shake, shake. Shake, shake. I wish I shared your confidence, Professor. I still can't believe people... I can't believe people still use this bridge. Do you have a fear of bridges? Of bridges? No. Of this bridge? Yes. You can't even drive on it. There must be another route into town for automobiles. Of course. Well, I'll move your car later, Professor. I'd hate for anything to happen to it. Of Jeff Bridges. Mm. No need, Emmy. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be fine. Let's go ahead and <laughs> make our way across. Ah. Wait, Professor, look. Whoa, a rat. Whoa. That rat. Where you follow that rat? The bridge looks solid and well built. A lot more stable than it looks. The sign is too faded. Can't make out what it says. The sign says mark it this way. A di different, different sign. Oh, shit. It's fine. Consider it a testament to the bridge's long history. What if you're scared of heights? How do you get in then? Quite a long drop from here. Uh, twin bridges, eh? Do they feel things at the same time? Mm-hmm. Good. It's very cute, however, the progression of this series. There's, like, more stuff like this. Like, it's actually 
When you get a hit coin, something changes in the world. Like, well, little things like that. It's cute. Oh, what the fudge? Oh my, Professor. Look at this house. It's completely destroyed. The road here is damaged as well. I wonder if this has something to do with Mr. Triton's letter. We need to we need a record of this. Oh, you have a camera. Of course, gathering data can only help an investigation. Hope no one was hurt here. If this is the work of some giant, then Miss Tollery's in great danger. Have a good one, Duke. It's ringing out. Let's not jump to any conclusions just yet. Let's find Mr. Triton. What could have made this big hole? I've never seen a mark quite like that before. What do you think that symbol is supposed to mean? Don't touch the witch's mark. Not unless you want to end up like Brock. Oh my, you startled me, sir. I startle myself sometimes. I used to complain about this dump, but look at it now. Was this your house? I'm so sorry, my good man. Was this my house? You bet it was. The operative word here being was. The witch's mark appeared and the windows went smash. The walls went boom and the roof went, oh no. You looking for some nice warm rubble over your head? I'll sell cheap. <laughs> At least now it gets all sort of natural light and natural moisture. <laughs> Professor, is he gonna be okay? I can't be certain. Perhaps we could help if we know a bit more about this witch's mark. A mysterious giant and a witch all in one town? This could get very interesting. Hmm. That's what we call shock. Yeah, he's fine. Whoa! There's a wooden crate here. Did somebody leave it behind? Perhaps. This reminds me of a puzzle. Would you like to try it? I have 12 matchstick. Pick a package. He needs a hug. You have been told to get one of 16 boxes from a stack. The note that describes which box to grab got smudged, so this is how you can make out the details. The color of the box on its right is question mark. The color of the box on its left is question mark. The color of the box above it is question mark. It's the same color as the box below it. Uh, what, when you, um... So it can't be any of the ones on the far left or far right or top or the bottom. And which one's the color? It seems the one, it's this one. Is it this one? Is it that one? I'll handle this one, Professor. <laughs> I did it, Professor. I did it, Professor. Though there are five boxes, should have seen colors one below it. Only one of those is boxed above it in the left and right. It was three. That was puzzle number three. Good work, Emmy. You did it. As your assistant, Professor, I should be able to get easy ones like that. Your attitude is exemplary, Emmy. I shall have to come up with an award for you. I have to call it the, uh, the Impressive Achievement Award. Those houses don't, over there don't seem to be damaged at all. It looks as though the affected area is severely localized. Hmm. This building's in a terrible state. Quite a sight. What? What? Give me the hint coins. Hi. Impressive. Yeah, it's like an Oscar. Yeah. Now I can expect plenty of air circulation in the summer, or any season, actually. Aha! <laughs> Alright, good luck with that. The first annual Professor Layton Award for Outstanding Achievement in the Field of Excellence. Also known as the... Plowaf... Plowawaf... The Plowawaf... Award. Oh dear, oh dear, what trouble. You need help, madam? Trouble with the trolley, eh? May we be of assistance? My cart fell over. Now my cart is empty and the street is full of my stuff. Perhaps we can help you put it all back in your cart. Yes, oh please, oh please. I would be so grateful. Reloading the cart. No! I loaded my cart in such a hurry that everything fell out when I hit the first bump in the road. Can you put everything back without leaving any spaces so the load is secure? Please, pretty please. Style spec items in the car, touch and hold the corner of a piece and slide in any direction, rotate it. Ah, fuck. Ah, sh shoot. Da 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 bum. Boo boo do boo do. Boo boo boo. Do boo do boo do. Boo boo do boo. A do boo do boo do. Boo boo do do. Welcome to the rest of stream. Boo boo do. No, wait. Um. Now what? What if? What if we 
you, when, when, how you such, in such, in such a fashion as you would just, I've solved it. I solved your puzzle. Maybe it's a long ways. You know, maybe it's long ways, and maybe that's the... Thank you, Fizz. It helps. Uh, wait, this looks better. No, it, no, it, wait, I spoke too soon. Uh, <clears throat> um... Well, this could also be in that corner. Uh, and then, then, and then, and then nothing, and then nothing. And then nothing. So, get out of there. Okay. And, um, um, shit. Uh, <laughs> hey, um, can you put some puzzle music on top of this puzzle when I get stuck? Yeah, you got it. I would be happy to do that. Uh, 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 hmm. Hmm. Maybe this isn't on one of the edges. What else could be on an edge? This guy. This guy right here. He could be on an edge. Um, but nothing else is gonna... Nothing else works! It's the fourth puzzle. I'm aware that it's the fourth puzzle! I don't need any of that sass right now. I've got a puzzle to solve. Wait. No, but, but, but wait. Um, maybe, maybe like this. <gasps> wait. Um, uh, no, wait. Uh, but, uh, um. L is a bit bulky, turning it sideways and use it to fill the bottom right corner of the cart. I fucking tried that! Uh, <laughs> this is a puzzle for children. This is a child's first puzzle. This is how they test, like, a four-year-old. To be like, is your brain a brain? Um... I... Uh... 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 uh, uh wait... We have a tr wait, what if, uh, when, what if when, uh, what, 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 when? Uh, easy. Do that in this like took minute. some creative thinking. Basically speed re that. A gentleman leaves no puzzle Max undone. Max Picarats, chat. Maximum Picarats. Which is, it, it, it's either, you, you can't reduce Picarats on a puzzle like well done. This also works with every item rotating 80 degrees. With my cart so securely loaded, I have nothing to fear from these bumpy roads. Thank you so much. Oh shit, she's got the poltergust. Look at her. Oh, she got the poltergust. She's ready to fight the ghosts. That went really well, I would say. Your belongings are now in order. Oh, thank you. Now I must hurry and evacuate the area. Is there an emergency? Haven't you heard? A giant is destroying the town! I packed up my stuff as fast as I could. The police gave the order to evacuate, but I wasn't leaving all my stuff behind. Of course, if the oracle weren't around, we wouldn't have had any warning at all. This oracle? What is he, or she, or it? Oh, I don't ask questions. The police hear from the oracle, and they inform everyone else. You two should be careful walking around town. And thank you again. Again with this giant. Professor, it seems that everyone here fully believes in this giant. Home's ruined and all-out evacuation in progress. These are most certainly related to Clark's letter. The Triton house is up ahead. Let's find Clark as quickly as possible. Indeed. Oh, God. Fix it. Fix it. Fix it. Fix I gotta go. It's all rusty. It's a water pipe. I don't think it's in use anymore. Water is surprisingly clear. Feels a bit warmer. I might be tempted to dip my feet in. No, no, it's fine. We fixed it, remember, in the puzzle? It's better than we left it. I mean, it, it's better than when we found it. Uh... Thank you again. Now I can get away safely with all my stuff. Uh-huh. The road ahead has been blocked off. Find another way around if you want to go up there. It appears we can't go that way. It sounded like we need to take a left to get to Clark's house. 
Now, just hold on a second, Yuse. Yes, can we help you with something? He, this man is... Thick. I'll be asking the questions around here. You tourists probably like a good puzzle in there, eh? Let me tell you how things work around here. Solve five puzzles in a row, and you get something nice. What do you mean by that? Who suddenly promoted you to the rank of question asker? Now you're bothering me in my work. Be over with you, quick rock. You called us over. Well, Professor, what do you think that officer was talking about? It's hard to say. I suppose we'll find out when we solve five consecutive puzzles. Between the two of us, Professor, we'll do that in no time. Haha, <laughs> I hope so, Emmy. <laughs> Let's find Clark's house before it gets too late. How many? We've solved like four. Rat! Let's go to the right. The opposite of where we're supposed to go. Borrow 10, get the 11th book free. Aren't they all free? I must admit I love little wildflowers more than gardens. These tough weeds flowers even... These tough weeds flower even in the harshest conditions. The crumpets. What have you done, dear? What have you done, dear? Professor, moss is growing on the roof. The environment must be perfect for moss. Looks like the clock stopped. Nice. Wow. Bar 10, keep one forever. This looks like it may be quite an impressive library. Perhaps we can browse its stacks later. It appears to be closed today. Let's move on to the Triton residence. I'm eager to speak with Clark. Where well, I can go further right. Well, according to what that boy said, the Triton house is the other way. Let's go back to the intersection we passed earlier. Onward. Hmm. Check out this boat, Professor. Oh. No, oh, hey there. He's a friendly guy. Friendly guy with a boat. The people of Mist Hollery must navigate the town via their canals. They probably travel by boat as much as they do on foot. It's like Venice, only weirder. I imagine that boats are used here more than automobiles. We must take a boat ride before we leave, Professor. Lovely. After we've spoken with Clark, let us find ourselves a boat. The Triton House should be just over this bridge, shall we? I believe we shall. What a pleasant view! Life seems very la- simply seems very relaxed here. We've come to the quiet outskirts of town, it seems. As opposed to all that hustle and bustle elsewhere in town. What if anyone's watching from their windows? Look at all the little fish! They're most fascinating, but careful! Found to be lots of bridges. It's a pretty little bridge. Hello! That's the, the- is that the fucking... Dear, is that the fucking later alligator? Yeah. Can you make it slide up extremely slowly? Instead of sliding in from the side? Yeah. First of all, fuck you. Second of all, uh, thank you. That's a nightmare. <laughs> that was just auto-twitch animation? Right, okay. And let it sit longer. Yeah, it needs to very slowly slide up and then stay static for a long time. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, fuck. Say, hey there. Don't think I've seen you folks before. Buckies, my name. Boats are my game. If you're new to Miss Tolerate, you're not getting away without taking a ride one of my beauties. I can take you anywhere in town in a flash. It's better than flying. We'll keep that in mind during our investigation. Uh, thank you. You look like puzzle fair folk. How about a quick one? Sir, you can't just walk up to someone on the street and say, how about a quick one? River crossing. You need to get one dog, two cats, three baby chicks across the river. You can take two animals at a time. If you leave the dog with only one cat, there will be a fight. The chicks on the riverbank must outnumber the cats. Otherwise, the fight will break out. Can you ferry all the animals across without them fighting? I have 12 minutes to... Shit. I know this one. It's the fox corn chicken. I, if I solve this puzzle, then we get a reward from that police officer. Use the stylus to slide the animals on and off the raft. You can have up to two animals on the time of the raft. Touch go to move the raft across the river. You can cross the river alone with a combination of animals. I like that I look, I look like fucking Charon. I look like a skeleton. If you solve it, I'll look at you with less of a glare. Prepare to glare. Um... 
If you leave the dog with only one cat, there will be a fight. The chicks must outnumber the cats or a fight will break out. My character from Faith, yeah. E.T. Rift, home. Yeah, there was a different version of this in the first Layton. Let's bring over, um... Um... Oh, that's cute, they have low animations. Um... Let's bring over one cat. And leave that there. And then bring over... A chick? Like this? No, two? No, wait. They have to outnumber the cats. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm, no. The chicks are hexagonal. Yeah, they're real good. They're just round. Um... We're off to a good start. <laughs> Another kitty? Uh... Right, because the dog can be with... Them? With the- with the... Right? That's fine. But now I need to bring over... Two chicks and bring back a cat. And now bring over... This? That works. Hey, look. They're bouncing! Some puzzles must be met directly. Because that's how that type of puzzle always works. You end up having to bring I something back across. I love the thrill of a good solution. The, the, the gotcha is that you're trying to bring everything across, but you gotta bring things back to make it work. It's, uh... There are many different ways to get all the animals across, although it can be done in only seven crossings. Feel free to find other ways to do it. No, I'm good. The one is good enough for me. That's five puzzles. That's good work. Remember, if you want to get around in a flash, just find Bucky. My name is Bucky. And I like to... Uh... Hey! I did five puzzles in a row. Interrupt, not a man on the job. I'm busy and have no more time for the likes of you. Let's make our way to Clark's. We did five consecutive puzzles. What do you... What a, what a jerk. What an absolute jerk. Yeah, sucky. I like to drive trucky. Well, I was gonna say, don't worry about it. This man, this little gentleman has a very upsetting silhouette. That's a car. Hip, hip. You talking about the Mario trailer? My name is Bucky and I like the barns. It's Luke. Yeah, we found him. Do you think that large house up there is the Triton residence? You two looking for the mayor's roost? No, we're actually looking for Clark Triton's residence. That's what I just said, bird brain. Uh, well, uh, I wasn't aware that Clark was the mayor. Been a while since you've seen him. How long have you been cooped up under a rock? Mayor Triton's been in office for about a year now. He does a good job. What with all the troubles? Uh, uh, he's pretty cool. I feel like that's a loaded word. Uh, okay, thanks, little boy. The reflection on the water is quite dazzling, isn't it? The water is so clear, I'm thirsty now. Bushes? It's just so wonderful breathing in the clean air and living amidst such lush greenery. But the canals, Miss Tauri, must be an ideal place for plant growth. Look over there, the green just seems to go on forever. From here, the town looks beautiful as opposed to eerie. Haha, <laughs> I'm inclined to agree, Emmy. Ha ah, ha, ah, ah, the smell of fresh grass on the breeze. Must be a lovely place to live. Lovely. Lovely. Alright. Discount Luke. Mm hmm. Well, here we are. This place looks huge. Yes, it appears that Clark has done quite well for himself. Let's try the door. But I got a tap on everything else. But shit. This is the Triton's mailbox. It seems a bit worse for wear. It looks okay to. Oh no, the sign just fell off. Don't worry, I mean, I think we can handle this. <laughs> Clark's gonna walk outside and see us fucking with his mailbox. Hey! You can't fuck with someone else's mail! That's a federal offense in the States, and I assume in England as well. When you opened the mail, all of the side panels fell off. Oh my fucking god. These fucking hands. <laughs> I'm just sobbing into my hands. Just hit him with a puzzle. The panels spelled out the word post. You're not sure how they actually fit together to do so. 
Arrange the panels so the mailbox looks as it did before the panels fell off. Oh no! Um, I'm assuming it's gaps between the letter. Oh fucking! Wait, 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 wait! This isn't so bad. This isn't so. We can do this. Um, um, when, when, when you when? Uh, post, post, post. Maybe the, the, the yes, and then maybe no. Wait. No, it's gotta be like this. Yes. Uh, um, is that may maybe, mayhaps? Uh huh. Well, I do declare, this does say post. This took some creative oh! thinking. He's he was a side puzzle. No puzzle is without an answer. That was almost a jump scare. He was very very close. <laughs> Post. The panels are arranged to create negative spaces on the mailbox that made up the letters of the word POST. See? All better. Well done, Professor. It looks as good as new. What about the car? Is that a puzzle? Quite an impressive vehicle. Its shine is nearly blinding. Stepping stones is a really fancy garden. A simple and elegant way to integrate the canal into the decor. Mm-hmm. That room must be at plenty of light in the afternoon. Judging from its size, I would say that's the dining room. I do. Is there a room up there in the attic? How charming. Not terribly keen on low ceilings on account of the hat. That must stay on. Eh. Coming! Yes, may I help you? Hello, my name is Herschel Layton. I'm an old friend of Mr. Triton's. He should be expecting me. Hmm, I would inform Master Triton, please wait here. Whoa. Ma'am. Uh, well, let me tap on everything in your house first. This is a common custom where I'm from. What a shame to lean a broom against such a beautiful painting. That's fucked up. Someone left a broom here. Leaving this just sitting here makes things look rather shabby. However, it does remind me of a puzzle. See for yourself. Hmm. Oh, yeah, that was when I did the FF7 remake. Yeah, there are a bunch of emotes from that. There's a chocobo, there's a cloud squint. Um. Yeah, a bunch. Uh, pick rats. Lovely pick rats. These poor quality mops take two days to dry after they've been used, and the handle completely breaks after just three uses. What's the minimum number of mops that you would need to clean every day for a 30-day month? Yeah, also bar okay is from that. Originally, it was bar fast. Um, why are there two suns? And the sun's rays look to be sperm. Um, two days to draft being used, and the handle completely breaks after just three uses. Thanks for the hydrate. Oh, it's Tatooine. Naturally. Naturally, it's tat- naturally. Tatooine, you say? Son's Greg. Ugh! What a line to join in on. Hey, welcome. <laughs> I'm not wrong. Um, I don't really want to write out a calendar, but uh, here I go writing out a calendar. Um, so, uh, if you had, like, you know, like, um, like, days of the week and such, um, that's the six day week, classic week. Um, I need another row down here for 30. There you go. Beautiful. Um, so you use one, and then you have to wait two days, so you can use it again here. So you got one, two, three, one, two, three. Ah! Um, I'm overthinking it again. Is it ten? Ahem. Hold on, dear. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. What did you name it? Looks like? <laughs> you upload that as an emote to your own channel to test it? You could have just done it as beat the TV. Oh my god, dear. Thank you. Uh, holy shit. Brooms come from tattooing. Fuck. That's quite... That's quite good. It does psychic damage every time I see it. Twitch doesn't like more frames? Yeah. It's excellent. Thank you. Now people can bully me in exciting new ways. 
Um... What a perfect time to introduce that emote, too. Uh... It breaks up to three uses. So then those break. And then you can do four, five, six. Four, five, six. Four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. Seven, eight, nine. Seven, eight, nine. Ten, ten, ten. Hey, it's 30 divided by three. In case anyone was wondering. I think I've got this one. That puzzle was no problem. That was three years ago and it still has a holdover. You act like I won't get bullied with my own emote. Wait, what? Huh? Well, what's with the barb lines? You need ten mops. Later, I'll get it was three years ago. Oh. That, that, oh, okay. I, now I get what you're saying. It was three years ago and still has a hold over my psyche. It sure does. I mean, in no small part, thanks to you, Gam, adding it to the fucking highlights. <laughs> Bringing it back as a bit. Also, what the fuck is time? Do you see, you see puzzles where, uh, where others only see household objects? I suppose that's true. I'm gonna try that too. Okay, what's a good start? Light bulbs? Sponges? Flatware? Goodbye. Where are you going, Professor? All right, ma'am, what? I see Barry struggle with puzzle. I had it later, Gallery. It's simple, simple geometry. Uh, I don't suppose you were planning on visiting the Oracle here in town. What is this Oracle? I wouldn't know anything about it. I'm just a poor old maid. You should ask Doland about that. Fuck it, Doland? Uh, thank you, we shall. Uh, sir. Oh, this is Doland. Sir, madam, Mr. Triton will see you now in the parlor. The parlor's through the door on the left. Wait there. Uh, thank you, my good man. Mm -hmm. Um. Is this, is this the parlor door? It must be. Oh, oh, there he is. <laughs> ah, I can't believe my eyes. Herschel, how long has it been? It's, what's his face again? Our favorite voice actor. Who is also being animated in the, yeah, Liam O'Brien. Good old Liam. Classic Liam. Yeah, Liam. It's also Zim. Also correct. Ah, too long, my good friend. And who might this be? Oh, of course. How rude of me. I'm the professor's assistant, Emmy Altava. It's an honor to meet you, Mr. Triton. I've heard so much about you. Thank you. Herschel, an assistant. Well, we both seem to have moved up in the world. Hardly. Truth be told, Emmy has already proven herself my equal. Herschel, as humble as ever. Emmy. Back in London, Leighton and I both wanted to be elite archaeologists. One of us certainly succeeded, and somehow I found myself as mayor of this small rural town. This guy is sus. Immediate. I mean, it is a Leighton game, which is much usually structured like a Scooby-Doo episode. Hey, new character I just met? I'm suspicious of you. It's like a coin toss. That is no small feat, Clark. Oh, He's Herschel. not British enough! No need to humor me. It is amusing at best, I'll give you that. If he doesn't have a Cockney accent, how we know he's British? But all that aside, please, tell me, to what do I owe the pleasure of your visit? What indeed? I came as soon as I received your letter. Letter? I'm sorry, Herschel. What letter is that? The letter that... Did you not send this letter? What please, secret? have a look. What secret thing, dear? I don't remember. Transatlantic accent is sus. It's true. Hello, Shiv. He's underground British! Oh, the thing you just sent me on Discord the other day. No. Yes, but you're- No, right, right. No, I know. I, yeah, no, I got- I got it. Yeah, no, I did- The poo brain, remember? No, you never sent me the final version. Um... Look at the letter. What? Is this a- What is this? Oh, I solved this puzzle already. That's I a letter. I certainly did not write that. But who would have forged it? Mm -hmm. Who indeed? Mm. Have you made any enemies recently? Of course, Herschel. I'm the mayor. It appears to me that someone wanted you here in town. I'm gonna look at it right now, dude. This is still secret, yes? 
So I'm gonna take up time on stream. Wow. Damn. That cleaned up very well. I mean, I know you're, you're a very talented artist, is what I'm saying. Compared to the rough to the final. It was a huge jump. Good shit. They'll keep an eye on Deer in December. Deer December. Send a help message with the help code? Yeah, you asked for help and then asked for help again. Yes, that is what I am thinking now as well. So, who wrote the secret message? Good question, Emmy. Mr. Triton, there was a hidden plea for help in that letter. Clark, do you think this is simply the work of some prankster? No, unfortunately I don't. Miss Tollery is in grave danger. We have indeed been under attack by some sort of mysterious giant, just as that letter states. Yeah, Grimoire Vice, a bunch of other... He's one of those VAs that's just been in everything, and he's been in a couple other Layton games as different characters. Why are you the Layton's eyes so small as the drugs are best drugs? He's just, the bigger the brain gets, the tinier the eyes get. That's why he's got the hat, his brain is just smooshed up in there. He's got a, like a gongle face, so it's good. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's peak character design is what it is. It wreaks havoc at night when the fog is thick. It sounds ridiculous, I know, but it is true. But yeah, Marjorie. how can that be? I must confess I have yet to see this giant with my own eyes. However, the destruction of homes and buildings left in its wake, that is quite enough evidence for me. The townspeople are afraid. They believe that the Spectre has returned with a vengeance. The Spectre? The last Spectre? The, the last one? The Spectre? There's a legend here that tells of an ancient spirit. A Spectre. It looks like Ivan Ooze. When the town was in danger, the Spectre would act as Mist Hollery's guardian in its moment of need. But this Spectre is... different. Instead of protecting us, it is trying to destroy us. I am doing all I can, but if we are dealing with an ancient entity, then I fear my efforts are in vain. Warren Spectre? Mark Spectre? It's just a friend. You'll never expect her. As the mayor, it is my duty to keep this town and its citizens safe. But I... Herschel, could you... Sir? What is it, Doland? Pardon me, sir, but you mentioned that Professor Layton worked on some difficult cases for Scotland Yard. You said, with great pride, that he had assisted in solving them all. Perhaps we could ask for his assistance here as well. Of course, Doland. I suppose I have no other choice. Herschel, will you help us? Please, for an old friend. The top of his hair looks like a whale. Not the beard, just the top of his hair. It's like a, like a long part and then like a little tail at the end. In the back. Yeah, of I'm course, okay. Clark. I would never I refuse to... a friend in need. I assure you, I will do what I can. Listen, I, I struggled on the third puzzle in the game. I'm doing fine. Thank as you, Herschel. well as could be expected. I am eternally in your debt. Things are starting to get good, eh, Professor? It's a whale that's pogging with the beard. Oh, shit. Before we go, Clark, I haven't even asked about Brenda or your son. How is Luke? Luke! He said it! My wife is fine. She's away. Family matters. Luke has shut himself up in his room, as usual. He's in his room. Get out of my room! I'm playing Minecraft! I would like to say hello to Luke, if that is all right. I haven't seen him since he was a baby. Baby Luke! Of course. I think he might enjoy that. It sounds like a good name for a hamster. I should warn you, he has been withdrawn lately. Some days, I can't even get him out of his room. Yeah, that's that's the Minecraft. I shut him into his room because I wouldn't, he wouldn't give him furniture. Yeah. I Starts ask him now. what the matter is, and he responds with silence. Thank you. He does have hair. In in uh, uh, the last game, you get a bunch of flashbacks to a younger Leighton before he got his hat. He's just got a normal ass hat under there. Perhaps it would be good for him to talk to someone outside of the family. I would appreciate that, Herschel. The ba Leighton's backstory is legit tragic. <laughs> it's, it's very well done. My pleasure, Clark. 
I shall have a few words with Luke before Emmy and I begin our investigation. Yeah. His angsty face. I will save my progress. Ba -ba -da -ba. The boy who foretold disaster. Chapter 2. What are you doing there, Luke? Tragic is an understatement. Mm -hmm. Luke's room is just upstairs. Good luck. You're going to need it. Kids these days with their... Do we have radio yet? Ah, yes. Rosa had some of these on my table the other day. Oh! This mirror is so polished I nearly greeted my little reflection. A mirror reflects, but sometimes it can also complicate a problem. Take this puzzle, for example. Mirror ballroom. It's all too easy to get lost in this big dusty hall. There are 14 mirrors set out in some sort of strange arrangement here. You're trying to find a way out, but your only clues are a small arrow on the floor and a laser pointer bearing the words exit indicated by larger arrow. Which door is the exit? By, lar by larger arrow? Do I got do I got the... Pow, pow, pow. 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 Pow? Did I fuck that up? Like, immediately? Is it like, like, how in the fuck? That's me, crazy. How you doing? Have we seen his backstory yet? Whose backstory? Uh, Layton's? Yeah, that's in Unwound Future, I think. That's not how mirrors work. It is angle in equals angle out. It, so it, it bounce. It bounce. Who? Layton? What? Why? When? Get your protractor. I'd rather not. Um. But what? If that did it. A bounce. I would never. Just roll with the idea they don't bounce well. <laughs> Where's my squishable Luke? This is not my beautiful house. If they don't bounce well, then would it would it just would it just like this? Then where the fuck would that go? What the? F this sucks. And that and that just what? The puzzles backstory. We haven't gotten the puzzles backstory yet. Work backwards? How would I work backwards? You, how would you know? I. If you don't know much about lasers, you might not realize that they aren't just used by rampaging aliens in the movies. In fact, laser pointers are great for making straight beams of light. The beam will be powerful enough to reflect off any shiny surface it hits. Yeah, yeah. There's a large arrow hidden somewhere within the room. Take your time, look around for where it could be. Yeah, it's gonna be drawn by the laser. I don't... Do you think the laser pointer can shed some light on the situation? Perhaps it can help you find the room's hidden clue. These are garbage hints. Super hint. Small arrow is probably a good place to start with the laser pointer. Can you make a shape out of the laser pointer's beam when it flex off the mirrors? That's what I'm trying to do! But this sucks! Just do <laughs> fucking equations. I... How would it... Where would it... This is too shallow. But then that... Maybe it's over to here. But then where in the fuck... It... What? The laser pointer shoots a laser. It's not too shallow. Like, what? Why am I struggling with this? This seems so straightforward. I know there's poo brain. Should try bouncing the laser off the mirrors? I mean... I should have. What if it just bounced right out in the sea? And then that was it. Um. Um. Three. First one bounces basically straight back. But then where would it? Where it would? What? Would it? Would it bounce onto this? I already tried that, and then it just ends up just. Is that, like? I always it always ends up spitting out over there. First one bounces down. Like that. And then to this, and then to this, and then to this, which is then str straight. Rotate your DS to see the mirror from each mirror's perspective. 
This is frankly just embarrassing. For me. Maybe it bounces up. But then, and, but then, uh, but then what? I made an arrow. Really bad, really poorly. Second bounce bounces right. Oh, is it just, is it just bad? I think it's just bad. I think it's just bad. What do you think about this? I did it, Professor. That was just a bad puzzle. What absolute horseshit. That must be the exit. First try. I'm very impressed, Emmy. I shined a laser pointer in my eyes, Professor. Puzzle sucks. Thanks. Something, something, angle in, angle out. Tide goes in, tide goes out. I've proved myself worthy enough to be your assistant. But of course, I never doubted your abilities, Emmy. Good. Good. Great. Good. Whoever took this has a good eye for photography. For a red landscape, it's remarkably vibrant. This coffee table suits me to a tea. A hot cup of tea. It's so shiny I can see my own reflection in it. That's so funny, Layton. Luke's room's upstairs. Good luck. Thank you. Yeah. What a beautiful view. Sadly, my office view doesn't come close. God is too lovely for words. Let's leave. Goodbye. Uh, upstairs we go. Angle of garbage in indicates garbage out. But I'm garbage. Most lakes are still, but this picture has quite a dynamic feel. A nice picture, actually. Absolutely lovely. That's quite a suitable doorman for a child's bedroom. What a sweet teddy. Luke's got a guard teddy. That's adorable. Maybe he's sleeping. Probably. Perhaps. Luke, my name is Herschel Layton. I'm a friend of your father's. Could we talk for a moment? Certainly. But first, you'll have to solve my door puzzle. Love at first sight. Your door puzzle? Ah, I see. Luke means to test our metal with a puzzle. This is a prequel. That's so cute, Professor. Let's do it. So we shall. Solve my puzzle. <laughs> if you are truly the esteemed Ursula Layton, then this puzzle should be no problem. You have 15 seconds to perform a specific action in front of the door. Just a second, young one. How are we to know exactly what is we're supposed to do? You may search the area outside my door as much as you like. Don't touch the bear. <laughs> Cam. <laughs> What the fuck? I forgot that Dan made that emote. Because <laughs> I point. Holy shit. Oh, fuck. And when we're ready to perform this action, whatever it may be, we should let you know. Correct. But I will tell you now, you can't do anything to solve this puzzle. Stand still. Got it. Examine the air thoroughly by tapping objects with your stylus. When you think you know what to do, tap call loop. Good luck. It appears that Dolan has left Luke's lunch outside his door. Luke, if you don't come out and get your lunch, it will get cold. And I just may end up eating all of it myself. If you're really that hungry, you can have it. Well, that didn't work. Puzzle. Luke, can I ask you a question? You just did, teehee. Cute. You said that we must do something in front of the door. How will you know if we did it? I mean, how can you tell from behind a closed door? Even though I can't see you, I'll know what you're doing from here. Really? And how is that? I can speak no more. You'll just have to figure it out from there. He'll know even if he can't see. So what is it he's looking for here? Hmm. Curious. Is this a picture of Mist Hollery? I believe so. The town looks quite magical when it's enveloped in mist. Professor, wait. Do you think there's a hint for opening the door hidden within this picture? Let me take a closer look. I don't see anything here. Mm-hmm. Boop, boop, boop. 
Why is the music such a jam? The door is locked. So what is this something that we're supposed to do? Professor, we're overlooking the simplest way to get this door open. What is that? Give it a good roundhouse kick, of course. Okay, stand back. Emmy, please don't do that. I'm not sure how I could explain the clock that we broke his son's door because we couldn't solve a puzzle. This plate looks handmade. The number two is impressed on it. Oh, there's something written on the back of it. Put the plate back so the, that the back of its back's back is facing the door. Put the plate back so the back of its back back is facing the door. Professor, I think my brain just melted. It's not difficult. If you take your time with it, be sure to examine anything near your feet. Not that it matters. There's nothing you can do to get through this door. Did I look at the mat already? And actually, no, we're doing it if you can't see us. Hmm. What's this? There's a six written in pen on the underside of the mat. Or is it a nine, Professor? Should we read it as if we're coming out of the door or going in? It doesn't matter. That's not something I can see anyway. What is it, Professor? I mean, we may be getting too caught up in these numbers. Don't touch the bear. I'm going to touch the bear. I'm getting closer to the bear. The bear's holding something. This card says, Happy 7th birthday. How adorable. This must have been one of Luke's birthday presents. Aw, this little stuffed teddy is so soft. Don't touch my bear! Well, that seems to be rather important to him, Emmy. Perhaps we should let it alone for now. I was just looking at it. Relax, Luke. Don't touch it! Who is it? Now, Luke, you know who it is. And you seem awfully well prepared. Almost as if you were expecting me. Have you solved my puzzle yet? Or perhaps I've stumped the great Professor Layton? Luke, that isn't very polite at all. It is quite all right, Emmy. Let's continue our investigation. But Professor, he owes you an apology. Perhaps we owe him a solution. Let's find a way to open this door. You're much more patient than I am, Professor. Uh, let's call him. We're ready, Luke. You know what you have to do? I believe so, yes. Professor, are you sure? Then let's begin. Please stand in front of the door. Remember, you can't do anything to solve this puzzle. I solved it. That is what you had to do! You can't do anything to solve this puzzle. Or in other words, to solve this puzzle, you can't do anything. Nothing was the thing we had to solve- had to do to solve this riddle. An interesting puzzle, Luke. Luke's a genius. <laughs> I'll make a puzzle where the solution is nothing. Even from inside his room, he could hear us if we did something. Now, Luke, are you convinced that we are who we say we are? Luke, will you open the door now? As I promised. Show me Tiny Luke! He's fucking tiny. He's extremely small. A clever puzzle, Luke. Mm. Your letter. I thought you might want it back. Boom! Uh, Professor, you think Luke wrote the letter? Clark was never a fan of typed correspondence. He always wrote his letters out in longhand. Moreover, only someone very close to Clark would know about our past together. This someone would know I could never ignore a friend in need. Are you really... Professor Layton? Is this uh, true, Luke? <sighs> How could you do something like this? What were you thinking? Were you even thinking at all? No. Dang it. Here now. Don't you turn your back on me again. Clark, please. <sighs> Forgive me. The boy has barely spoken to me in the last six months. He's been so withdrawn since the appearance of the Spectre, I don't know what else. Very soon. The world will end. <gasps> <clears throat> now, now, Rook. Enough with your talk of impending doom. This is a demon child. Ah, that I've become so numb. 
I can't feel you there. I've become so tired. I thought Layton was gonna be like, you see, the real Clark always wrote his letters longhand, and this was typed up, and was also covered in applesauce. And he's standing there eating applesauce. <laughs> and also, there's some crayon scribbles on the back. I got bored! The end of the world? What do you mean by that? I mean what I just said. Luke, you can't say something like that and not elaborate. He just won't open up to anyone. He wasn't always like this. When he does speak, it's only to say something inscrutable as you saw. Prophecies. Absurd. Prophecies? It's all my fault. What are you talking about, Clark? I'm sorry. I have urgent business I must attend to in my study. We can discuss this later. Luke, Mr. Layton is a close friend. Please talk with him. Perhaps you could even help him. Thank you, Herschel. Not suspicious at all. I'm afraid that it is time for Master Luke to retire. What? Now? We're right in the middle of something. It's still light out. Nevertheless, it is bedtime. If I may, Dorland, I'd like to ask Luke just one more thing. Luke, though the town has been repeatedly attacked by the Spectre, no one has been injured. It seems that an oracle alerts the townspeople about which areas to evacuate from. Luke, I believe that you are this oracle. Am I correct? What? Absurd. Luke, I must ask you a very important question. Do you know when the specter will appear next? Master Luke will not stand for such balderdash. Please leave at once. Tonight. The specter will appear tonight. But how could you know that? Tonight. If you want, I can also show you where it will appear next. I would very much like that, Luke. Master Luke, this joke is in poor taste. Please don't tell my father about this, Dolan. Master Luke, I... Are you certain this is okay? Yes, Dolan, did you tell the townspeople? Did you tell them about the Spectre just as before? I did. I will make a final tour of the area to ensure that everyone is gone. But then where will the Spectre appear tonight? Great Ellie Street. Then we must go now. Even if we can't stop the Spectre, we must confirm Luke's prediction. Good luck. Luke foretells. What does he know? Luke seems to be able to predict precisely where and when the Spectre will appear, but how? I find it hard to see how Luke can predict the Spectre's appearance without ever leaving the house. Thank you, Layton. Appreciate it. Your bath. Um, I don't know what that's about. All right. Hey, was small Luke better Luke all along? Maybe. Dolan, please don't tell father I'm going out. Very well, Master Luke. Miss Tolray can be dangerous at night, even for those familiar with its secrets. Do be careful. Thank you, Dolan. I will. Professor Layton, Luke seems set on accompanying you. I trust you will look after him. He can talk to specters! They mostly come at night. Mostly. The letter I received must have been typed on this machine. You have your own typewriter in your bedroom? Lucky. It's so cool. An excellent selection of children's literature. I'd write them all twice. I wouldn't mind some new ones. I think Luke has read more books than I have. Oh, man. Emmy's good. Ah, violin. That does strike me as quite a gentlemanly pursuit. Also, I really like Luke's sprite. He's kind of got some quank energy. Just like big eyes looking to the side. I've taken lessons all my life. I'm not too bad at it. I've never been much of a musician, but I do love singing. There's London, and this is where we are now. That teensy dot. World maps bring back memories of all the countries I've seen. I wish I could go to faraway countries. Look at all his furniture he used to have. Well, technically it's not his, it's his dad's. I will not let Mr. Triton know about whatever I accidentally tapped the screen. I will not let him know that you're going to North Ellie. Ellie, Eli, Eli. I don't know how that would best be 
pronunciated. Uh, did we know Luke could do the thing before this game? They never explained it before this one, even though he doesn't every game do the thing. That he can talk to animals? I don't think they ever explain it. In, in like, the first game, even. There's, like, he can talk to animals. He's the sidekick. And then that's it. Don't worry about it. Nice picture. That lake is where much of our water comes from. Uh, the doorman. Look, a sweet little teddy. It's nice when people knock first. <laughs> uh. Oh, study. This is a blast from the past. Clark is an undergraduate. Oh, too bad you're not in that photo too, Professor. My father is a student. Wowie. The windows are so clean you can barely know they're there. Somebody must take pride in keeping the, these panes spotless. Beth puts a lot of time into those windows. Even with his mayoral duties, Clark remains a keen archaeologist. As your assistant, I suppose I should read all of these sometime. Archaeology is all right, but give me a good puzzle any day. The pile of papers look structurally unstable. Well, if I needed any proof that Clark is busy, this is it. Uh, Let me get rid of that. Best not to go near that pile. It's gone. Gotta head out. Catch you later, Circle Man. I'm sorry, Leighton. I'm afraid the timing for our reunion is less than ideal. I'm sure you understand. I must deal with this specter. And Luke has been so distant lately. Of course, no mayor or father is without his share of concerns. I will start investigating the specter. You try to get some rest. Yes, thank you, Leighton. You're a good friend. If you're in need of anything, don't hesitate to ask. I just have a few quick quick. Gotta go. Hmm. Hey, why is Luke following you? Don't worry about it. <laughs> That's okay, Gam. Are you sure you should be out this late, little Luke? Beth, you won't... I mean, can you please... Keep it secret from your father, of course. Don't worry. Oh, but Mr. Professor, can I trouble you for some help? Of course, madam. Whatever is the matter. Doland, he's the butler, mind you, scrawled out this note, but I can't for the life of me read it. Oh, please allow me. Certain curtains. The butler left a note with instructions, but it's hard to read because he seems to have written it in a hurry. Don't forget curtain 13. But there's only four curtains labeled A, B, and C. Which of these curtains could keep... Some puzzles must be met directly. Be referring... I love the thrill of a good solution. Solved. The butler meant B. But a hasty B looks like a 13. A gentleman always has good penmanship. Probably three, which is C, is the answer. So that's what he wanted. Thank you. Maybe now it'll be a little nicer to me. Happy to be of service. Just between us, this isn't the first time Dolan's handwriting has been hard to read. He used to have lovely penmanship, of course, like a poet. But now that Mr. Triton is mayor, Dolan has more responsibilities. Still, can't read what I can't read. I wish he would just do things the way he used to do them. Busy, busy. Busy bother. That's the wrong... Let me out. Let me out. Where are we headed, Luke? The Spectre will appear tonight on Great Alley Street in the North LD District. That boy met earlier said they were evacuating to that area. That evacuating that area. It seems that Dolan has given them my warning. Luke, what's the fastest way to North Eli? Barry. That's me. Don't forget curtains. Yeah, we should. Mm -hmm. From there, we need to go north. I'll show you the way. That's the area the police blocked off, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, I believe the police have been helping with the evacuation. We saw a house earlier that had been destroyed by the Spectre. Do you know anything about that? Brock's house, you mean? Yes, it was attacked. No one was hurt, but his house was destroyed. So that was the Spectre's handiwork? I certainly hope we can help the people of Miss Tollery, Professor. I'm sure we'll find something useful in North Eli, but first, I'd like to see all the damaged buildings. Has the Spectre attracted many areas around town? Attacked many areas around town, Luke? I'm afraid so, Mr. Layton. Let's go back to Brock's house. I would like to be certain that we didn't miss anything the first time. Away we go. Hey, did you break our mailbox? No. We fixed it. 
Hey, there's Luke, my boy. Glad to see you getting some fresh air, kid. Oh, hello, Bucky. Growing boys like you need to get outside and play. You trust old Bucky. You'll have a lot of fun playing outside with this. Thank you very much, Bucky. A toy choo-choo train. Let's go. I got Bucky's train. Yes, yes, yes. Bucky gave you a toy train set. Toy train has been added to the professor's trunk. Lay it on your tracks and let your train do the rest. Try and collect all the different courses. Look at these rugged overalls. They're perfect for boating. Come back later for a boat ride. That's a very strange thing to say, Bucky. Right now we're dealing with maintenance issues, but we'll be back up and floating soon. Bar choo. Be sure to stop by then. Choo choo. I want to play with the choo choo. Lay down tracks that will take the train through every station and then to the goal. Start from the colored number panel and drag your tracks across the course to the red goal panel. The train uses one unit of fuel for every piece of track. You'll need enough fuel for the tracks that you lay down. Crossing tracks you previously placed will create a T-shaped railway crossing. Each station must be passed in a specific direction. Some require you to place tracks horizontally, others are vertical. Pick up fuel on the course to add to your supply gauge. Mountains, houses, and trees may block your path. Look out for cars and other trains, too. The colored starting panel is marked with the number of cars a train will pull. Place tracks carefully to avoid collisions with any obstacles. You may have to direct two trains at once. Both trains will share the same fuel gauge, so be careful. Touch clear. Remove all the cra tracks you place. Touch go. If you place the set in motion, you get new courses. See what happens. And then you're good. Okay. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Hey there, so you trying to try out this course old Bucky made especially for you? Get the train through all three stations into the goal and I'll guarantee you'll feel happy as a hippo in the mud. Okay. Um. The train did not reach its goal. Nope. Um. Uh, what, when it, when it, when, when you, when, when it, wait, what you, when you, what if you, like, this, what, what if, what if, what, what, when, what, how about, how about you do this, done, hey Rhea, thanks for the raid, did you ever ever dream that you could when you could when you could when so much that you could do anything? Look at a choo choo go! I completed Bucky's train. Hell yeah. Sweet. Good. Need a save. So I don't have to solve that train choo-choo again. Good. All right. To the north. My name is Buck, and I like trains. Oh, I use this area's off limits. I can't let you pass. Well, let's try looking elsewhere for now. I thought this is where we were going north from. Oh, we're going back to the house first. Right. The big hole. For the specter, this would be like swatting a fly. House and all of its belongings. It's all right. I don't think there's anything valuable in there. Damn, Luke. Baha, baha. -ha. The specter crushed my house. Now I've got a flat, flat. Beat that. Baha. -ha. I'm sorry about your home. It was lucky you weren't hurt. It wasn't luck. The oracle said the specter was coming. The oracle should become a meteorologist. The police evacuate us out of here. Sure. But what now? I think I let my specter insurance lapse. Feel free to laugh with me anytime here, folks. <laughs> Laughing at a time like this can make some of us feel rather sad. True enough, let's leave him. He needs time to deal with this. Luke, what other places were hit by the specter? There's a house east of the crossroads still being repaired. Let's head there. Luke, after you. All right, let's go. The Laughing Man episode. It's fine. If people really want to see the episodes, we can do a bunch of them at once later on. Mm. 
Some houses along the canal were damaged by the specter. Most of them have been repaired by now. Was there any connection between the damaged houses? What are you thinking, Professor? No, nothing. Yet. But, but you, you must be thinking about something. We're going to need to gather a bit more information here, Emmy. Luke, where else can we see evidence of the attacks? Hmm, I'm sorry, but I think this is the only place that would have any damage remaining. All right, let's head to North Ellie and see if the Spectre will appear there next. North Ellie's just north of the crossroads. I'll show you the way. Hope the police aren't still blocking the way. Sheesh. Get the rat! Get the... He's too quick for me. That's odd. What's odd? I'm sure I just saw a mouse pop up out of that pipe. Really? Cool. I've got a puzzle about rodents that I've been wanting to show someone. Would you like to try it? Give me your rat puzzle, Luke. Rat rations. Ah! This rat hid his key behind a supply of cheese. He's paranoid about it being found, so he wants to change its hiding place. The only problem is that his cheese is in the way. Can you help the rat move his key from the hiding place on the right to the matching space directly to the key's left? Luke, I despise everything about you with every fiber of my being. Oh no. Oh god. Oh good god. Sweet mother of Jeebus. Um. Wait. Wait, no. Wait, no. That almost felt like something. We could, we can do that. Uh, um. Um. Um, here it comes. No, 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 don't, no, 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 wait. Then, then that, what, when you, um, good. I thought I was making progress, but apparently not. This seems like something that I've done is progress, but... When you win. Do you ever just when you win? I fuck. I. I don't. I don't. This is not. Wait. May. May. Maybe. No. How you doing, chat? Um... Wait. Hold on. Hold on. This is huge. This is huge plays. Holy fuck, I did it. Hundreds, hundred steps. I'll handle this one, Professor. You can't let a puzzle intimidate you. It's gonna, it's gonna say, did you know the minimum you can do that is a hundred steps? And I'll be like, yeah, that's exactly what I did. How about some rest, a nice piece of cheddar as payment for your hard work? Look at this goddamn art. Look at that. A little rat with a cheese and a key. Baby game for babies. This game's so easy. <laughs> Shit, I know exactly what I, how to solve a puzzle. I swear I saw a mouse. I'm not imagining things. Miss Harry doesn't have mice. Sorry, Emmy. Nope, not a single mouse. Rats? Millions of them. Mice? None. When did that house get damaged? I thought that's why you brought us here. Luke? It looks like the repairs are nearly complete. If houses keep getting ruined, there'll be a lot of construction. It's a conspiracy by the construction company. Hope nothing comes crawling out of there. Do you do slide puzzles when everyone shows up to work hungover? I think so. Try dropping a stone in there and wait, there, hear that? I certainly wouldn't want to drop anything valuable in there. Hello, Thomas. Why, it's little Luke Triton. Where's your father today? My father's at home. I see. I wanted to ask you what I could have done to make your mother so angry with me. She's always came by to talk over her travel plans, but this time, she left without even a word. She must have had some reason that she didn't want to talk to me. And to go off alone, she always loved family vacations. Unless her and your father were fighting. Um... No, sorry, Luke. I uh, Don't listen to me. I was just babbling. Your parents get along better than anyone. You just let me know when your mom gets back into town. She's been gone quite a while. I don't know when she'll be back. 
sometimes adults have to go do things on their own thing for a bit. She'll be home soon to spoil you rotten. Um, gotta, goodbye. Maybe Thomas, shut up. Thomas, may, hey, buddy, maybe. There hasn't been any damage from the Spectre in that area. We should probably just head back to North. North Ali. To the North Uyghur. This is Warped Hill. I think it's clear why they named it that. I like that name. This is one of the spots tourists come to see, actually. I wouldn't fancy drinking this water. These narrow water channels display a certain charm. The only problem with these is they always flood when it rains. Professor, what's a strange to me? <laughs> Buddy. My, isn't this a steep, windy road? My car wouldn't like this. I always used to trip running down this road when I was little. As opposed to now, you're so big. Aha, this will be a great place for working out. Yeah. You. Hey there, tourists, eh? Yes, well, something like that. My name is Mido. Call me Mido. I won't go into details, but you should leave at once. Miss Tauri is dangerous right now. Sightseeing is not a good idea. Are you referring to the Spectre? If so, you needn't worry. How do you know about the Spectre? The legend of the Spectre is not supposed to leave our borders. We've been asked by Mayor Triton to investigate the affair. The Mayor? Really? Perhaps he's more competent than I thought. But how good are your deductive skills? Let me see you work here. Here's my goddess from the newspaper. Downhill from here. Mm-hmm. No, they have like, like a little bit of game design. I mean, puzzle games are, are adjacent to the concept of game design because they stop you to go, I have 12 matchstick. While this photograph shows two cyclists passing each other on a hill, the camera was tilted when it was taking, taken, making the incline look completely flat. Can you tell which side of the photo is actually uphill? Tap A or B to enter your answer. You can, you can tilt it. Um, well, the, the, the little rabbit's ears seem to be tilting to make B be uphill. But A, the, the cat is kind of leaning one way. So maybe they're just going really fast. Um... It actually kind of works both ways. You have words. Do you know how to bicycle? He's not using the pedals. So... What do you think about this? That would do I it. I did it, Professor. The side marked A is uphill. He doesn't have his feet on the pedals. It must have been he's letting gravity do all the work. Maybe, maybe he went down a dip and he was riding the momentum uphill. You don't, you don't... Fuck you. You don't know that. Ha, ah, I see you got some potential. Good news for us. Here's we go in the opposite direction. Well, because it would, they'd be going back. But then if he was, Greg pushes him. <laughs> yeah. Good luck on your investigation. Can you tell us anything about the Spectre? Mm, no, but I do wonder why the Spectre chose to show up now. We've had a problem with these sinkholes appearing lately. Seen some unnaturally thick fog too. So many problems in our little town these days. Mmm. Mmm, the mist. Whenever the specter appears, the village is enshrouded in an unusually thick fog. Is this also the work of the specter? They say the fog is thick enough to completely obscure one's vision. Is it the specter's doing? Hmm. Professor? What, what, what does this say? Uh, read it out for me, Luke. I don't want to. This is North Eli. You're a great tour guide, Luke. You're as good as this at this as you are delivering hidden messages. Hidden messages? Yes, like the one in the letter where you wrote help SOS. What was that all about? I believe that test was intended for me. Luke here was hoping to find someone that he could trust. Because sometimes it's difficult to share secrets with those closest to you. And it's always easier to speak with someone who understands you. Would that be fair to say, Luke? Ah! Judging by his expression, I'd say you've impressed Luke with your powers of observation, Professor. Luke, is there something you'd like to tell us? You can trust us. I can't. Not now. 
That's fine, Luke. We can wait until the time is right. For now, our hands are full with the Spectre. We need to find a place where we can safely observe the Spectre. The second floor of the hotel in Great Eli looks down onto the street. That is our next destination, then. We solved the letter. Uh, the letter within which Luke hid a secret message was intended to lead me to this town. Yeah, it was actually written by Luke. He wrote it in code. In code. Uh, probably not gonna finish that on stream, Delta, sorry to say. Uh, but I did really enjoy what I did play with Dan. Uh, we've done quite a lot of walking. Shall we rest here a moment? I'm fine, don't mind either way. That's unusual, this bench is always taken. Look at those big fat carp in there. The fish must enjoy swimming against the gentle current. People often come here just to sit and feed the fish. I bet they do. I bet they do. Ah. Just hearing the word walk triggers a Tom Cardi song in my head. The word walk? He told him to escape. Yeah, the evacuation order has been given. Move along now, nothing to see here. Didn't we just see you elsewhere? Now am I supposed to know who or what you just saw? Miss Tallery officers have the same uniforms, helmets, and haircuts. Many of us are related as well. It's all by order of Chief Jakes. This isn't the time to discuss official regulations. I can't let you pass this way. You'll have to get permission from either the Chief or the Mayor. Or is the boy just going walk, 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 they walk, walk, walk. It's a good song. Hmm. I'll have to listen to it later. They have permission. Ah, Mayor Triton's son is accompanying you. Well, that's a different matter then. You may pass. Tell your father I said hello, will you, son? Yes. <laughs> um, this way? Where the officer was standing, probably? The fuck is that? A pipe. It looked like a figure hunched over. This must be a back door. The handle's draped with cobwebs. It's odd that such a seemingly convenient door should be unused. Maybe it's because no one wants to touch that grimy handle. You're a little genius, you know that? Yeah. Hey, the fish are all gathered around here. Wonder why. Fish tend to favor cool spots in the shade, I believe. I wish we had bigger fish in the canals. Hey. Ah, yes. Fate is kind to bring us together once more. I hope you are well, my friends. Yes, we meet again. Is there something we can help you with? You help me? That is rich indeed, my tall-hatted friend. Say nothing but tap that pipe there. Tap strong. You must tap ten times or so, any less, and I cannot help you. The one here. You found it a tiny fossil. Yes, start a collection with that. Now you just may discover an entire new passion. There are treasures hidden in odd places around town. Add these objects to your collection. Soon your collection will be grand enough to inspire many across all the land. These items are scattered about. So if you think a place sus, tap, 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 and then tap more. I understand. Thank you. This is quite to my investigative fit liking. Those are the words of a passionate gentleman. Let me reward you, good sir. Do you recall the bridge where fate first brought us together? Go to the wooden box there. Trust me. And now I shall take my leave. Follicle duty calls. Enjoy your tapping, my friends. You got the collection. My passion's poking pipes. Is that a euphemism? Yes. You received the collection from Aldous. Collection's now available in the professor's trunk. Here you can store any rare items you find in your travels. Collect as many of these items as you can during your investigation. We now have a place to store items during our investigation. Now to the hotel. I gotta tap on a box first. Hold on. This is as important as solving the mystery of the specter. I assure you that it's important. Back across the bridge, and back and down over here, and then one, one more. Look at that car! Professor, are you sure we should just leave your automobile there? I do not see how we can get into the town. I think it will be fine. That's your car? It's so small and beat up! It just looks unsafe. Well, it's definitely safe, but you think it looks beat up? Luke, someone your age couldn't understand the charm of the Leighton-mobile. The Leighton-mobile, eh? Sounds a bit shit. 
You need to take a ride in it to understand, Luke. Professor, let's take Luke for a ride later. Yes, of course, that would be fun. Yeah. Box. I got a sticky spoon? Aldous? You wanna explain to me the sticky spoon? My orders say no outsiders in Miss Tolerate except you. Just don't let the chief know, and it's curtain or it's curtains for me. Certainly, but why can't people come into Miss Tolerate? I just get so sleepy when I'm on the job, you know. Perhaps I'm working too hard. Miss Tolerate's finest. There they are. The scooter's fine, but that car looks ancient. How oh dare. The town's quiet and hazy. It seems to get misty more often nowadays than it used to. It's sticky from all this glue. Professor, your shipmobile doesn't have any brake lines. Is that by design? They're working just moments ago. Get out from under there! Um, wow. Well. Uh huh. I imagine debris and whatnot drift into the canals. You often see Bucky going down this canal. With such a gentle current, he must drift at a leisurely pace. What a fancy hat shop. I don't really wear hats, though. This shop offers some high-quality headwear. Tempting. Oh, this is the shop where I got my cap. He got his cap. There's the backstory for his hat. Got it done. Moving on. You! Sir, are you not aware of the evacuation order? Ma'am, I'm going, I'm going. Just let me get my things together. If I forget anything, my wife and son are going to be awfully mad. It's like Mr. Magoo. M messed, mixed with Droopy Dog. Good, good luck, sir. Please act quickly. Yeah, exactly. Welcome to the night. Same thought. Here's the hotel. If the area has been evacuated, everyone should be gone, right? Only one way to find out. Gotta get in there. Must be quite a small place. I can't see that many rooms. With the Spectre's attacks, tourism must be at an all-time low. I never thought I'd stay in town before. Indeed. In most indeed. Hmm. I don't see anyone here. There's a bell on the counter. Let's see if anyone answers it. Yeah, let me tap on everything else first. Yeah, like that and that. And these. The bold lines and stark contrast make this a striking work. This is art? I could paint that. Yeah, but you didn't. It looks as if they have a billiard room downstairs. That sounds like a boring grown-ups thing. Maybe when this is all over, clock and I can come here for a game. Yeah, bell. The bell's a puzzle? Ah. Well, finally, some guests. Can I get your folks a room? Sir, you must be aware that you are at risk today. Have you not received the evacuation order? Evacuation order? I thought that we had more cancellations than usual. As the owner of this establishment, I have no intention of leaving. The Spectre is coming tonight. You won't be having any guests. Well, let the blasted Spectre come. He can put down a deposit just like everyone else. Besides, where is there to run to? The Spectre won't be leaving Miss Hallery anytime soon. Perhaps not, but at least he'd be safe. Did you ring the bell to get a room on a badger and old man to abandon in his business? I suggest you refrain from telling me to go elsewhere unless you'd like me to tell you to the same. I suppose that's logical. We would like a room, please. Actually, you look like pretty sophisticated folks. Maybe you could help me with something. Room check. Do my job for me. You need to check all 12 rooms in the hotel. You want to be as efficient as possible and make your rounds without entering the same room twice. There's a number you can use to help you remember the route so you can check every room quickly with no backtracking. What is that number? Three. 30, 33. Um. Uh, the, 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 25. <laughs> okay. 25. Yay. A challenging puzzle. That's a horrible layout for a hotel. It's a little rough. 
No puzzle is without an answer. Great! If you complete a circuit in the shape of the number 25 and check all the rooms efficiently. That's all there was to it? How could I lose sleep over that? Tell you what, take room 302. Best city view in the district, right up the stairs. You're too kind, thank you. Up, oh, Z-Daisy. Our room is 302 down at the end of the hall. I don't think anyone's staying here now. The rooms on this side don't look out into the street. <laughs> Nothing else? Feels like there should be another. Okay. What kind of hotel is this man running? Yes. Room 302. Here we are. This is great. We can see the entire block from here. We'll have a front row seat for the Spectre. Well, we know that thick fog comes along with the Spectre. Hope the fog won't obscure our view. I'm gonna save. Hey, Spooky G. Chapter 3, the Spectre appears. Spoilers. Sheesh. First, you show me the Spectre in the opening, and then you tell me the Spectre's coming, and then you tell me the chapter tale. We still have some time before the sun sets. Would you mind giving us a quick tour of North Eli, Luke? You want to go sightseeing now? Not exactly, but if the Spectre appears, I would like to be familiar with the lay of the land. Of course. Well, then we should go before it gets dark. Scouting is a key step in a proper investigation. How exciting. This is not exciting. The Spectre's very dangerous business. I know that. It can still be exciting. We're taking this investigation very seriously, Luke. Let's all keep in mind how important it is to have a clear head during an investigation, lest we miss a clue. Keep calm and carry on, even under duress. It is the way of the English gentleman and lady. The way of the English gentleman and lady. Now, let's get going. Mm-hmm. I want to pull. Here's a puzzle. Vote to match the numbers one through five with the places first through fifth. Okay. <laughs> the mods are on it, thank you. Delicate touches like this really make a difference in a hotel. Flowers are nice, but I prefer when they give you chocolate. How many fancy hotels have you stayed in? Hard to believe such a quiet town is home to a specter. The specter is real, just be patient. This gives an excellent view of the street. Hello, little tree. Plants liven up a room, don't they? Plants aren't just attractive, they also help purify the air. They turn carbon dioxide into oxygen. The street is utterly deserted. People have heeded Luke's warning. Joseph is out there. What's he doing? He can get it. Just get a glimpse of the cafe from here. What's he doing out there? <laughs> I'm curious if Chad can do it. Solve this puzzle. Vote to match the numbers 1 to 5 in places 1 first through 5th. We're off to a really good start. Everyone's voting for three. Oh, okay, there it goes. Those are not in the right order, chat. <laughs> now chat has spelled out the letter E with the rankings of one through five, which is like a backwards three. Do you understand the puzzle, chat? <laughs> Do you understand what the goal is? Okay, well, now they're all pretty much even. Okay. Okay, now one's in the lead. Everything's really close. People keep voting for five for some reason. Now it's, everything's just even. Wait, shit. It's okay, two's in the lead and people are still voting for two. People are still voting for two and failed. <laughs> One, two, tied, three, five, four. All right, you didn't get all the pick rats on that one, chat. How does that count? <laughs> it was close, yeah. It was close. Five and four were off by a single vote. What counts about that? Even if one and two tied counts as one and two, it goes one, two, three, five, four. So it's still, <laughs> you wanna spend a hint coin? No one should vote for five. Well, 21 people did. You get one more try. Five needs to be smallest slash last. <laughs> There's your hint. <laughs> What exactly are we looking for here anyway? We need a clear understanding of our surroundings. Let's survey the neighborhood. Of course, let's start at Murray Street and go to Pike Lane from there. Murray Street. Thank you, Plushmer. Actually, I should get caught up in alerts. Because we just started a new chapter. First fucking vote I saw was a five. 
In fact, five has the most votes right now. Go work, chat. Chat, why are you like this? <laughs> uh, wild fun, I'm for eight months. Remember, when in doubt, three. Have fun puzzling. Buster Boobo, thank you for 100 bits. Working second shift means I can't catch streams. Thanks for all the VODs to watch instead of doing work. Hello, future me. Hope it went well, Buster Boobo. Thanks for watching the VODs. Rogue Keychain with 69 bits. Get out, there's only one room for two hat-wearing people in this car and you don't have a hat. Rogue Keychain with 100 bits. Emmy has Mavis Beacon teaches typing tutor vibes. One, two, five, three, four. So it would have been good if um, 27 people didn't vote for five, is what I'm seeing. Chat, do you know how to count? <laughs> and two and five tied even at 27. <laughs> 27 votes. Five's a good number. Yeah, perfect. You've solved my riddle. Nachum7, thanks for 69 bits. Smash about 27 bits. 27 years old. Layton's 34. He's so old. Thanks for the 34 bits. Nachum with 50 bits. Does Layton have hair beneath his hat? He sure does. Rhea, the necromonster, thanks for the raid. You had to go to 52 months. I'm still here. Get out of my house. This room is my house. In the house. No further questions. And Plushmer, thanks for six. Enjoy your golden key. You spent a hit coin? Chat, do you know how to count? Now three has a massive lead over everything else. All right, I'm gonna explore the around here. I'm just gonna play the game chat. You let me know when you've learned how to count. Ah! English meat pies, fresh bread. This menu looks great. Hey, Mia, you always hungry? Training several hours every day works up the appetite to no end. Looking at the menu reminds me of a puzzle, Emmy. Luke doesn't have a lot of puzzles in later games where he's like, this reminds me of a puzzle. I, did he just use up all of them in this game? Uh, three, one, two, four, five. Three got 43% of the vote. There are four tables that- I have four tables! Four tables in the cafeteria. The total cost of the food ordered each table is the exact same amount. What's the last item ordered at table four? A, a cup of tea, B, a glass of juice, or C, a plate of toast. Oh, I was like, how would I know the order? They're saying, well, you need to make it even. Um, uh, well, um, uh, this is, um, uh, uh, this is, uh, 1A plus 2B plus 3C. This is probably way overthinking it. Um, it looks like, cause one and two, so two, two, two B, two B equals one A. So we got that. Um, okay, how about this chat? One again, three. It was just one, two, three, and chat voted for three. Yeah, where's nines? Uh, and then, um, so, if that's the case, if we replace those with one, so if this was another coffee cup here, a little coffee cup, instead of those two, um, one, two, so then 2A equals 1C. So, if that's the case, then... Actually, I can replace, so it's A. Because I just, with, with the third table, I determined you can replace those two with one cup. It's A. I'll handle this one, Professor. Chat, please. One or two. Holy shit, it's 50-50. With 50 you. votes and 50 votes. Between one and two. Now two is in the lead. Now that they're tied again. Oh, one just had a huge jump! Chat, put one before two! Let's fucking go. Chat knows how to count. Okay, can we add number three? Okay, we've determined chat knows the order between one and two. Does chat know the order between one, two, and three? Can we add an extra layer on top of it? Yeah, end up with one vote, 63 to 62. 
We, you know, I know we tried that, but we've established the baseline. Now with that knowledge, can we carry that forward into seeing if chat knows three numbers? Okay, no, okay, no. Okay, no, because over 50% has voted for three so far. It's, you know, it's, it, I'll give you a hint, free hint. One comes first, chat. A cup of tea is correct. This, th this guy saying ah is me. This guy saying ah is me. Ah. Uh. Me looking at chat for not knowing how to count one, two, three. Ah. Uh. They could do three, two, one. Uh, I mean, that's not what the question was, but they could. They could. Ah, uh, stands for barrel. It sure does. Here you'll be like, oh, why did it? Okay. Um, nice. It's always three. Okay, well, chat did three, two, one. We'll take it as a win. We'll take it as a win. Good job. Correct. Looking at the menus make my stomach grumble. I'm kind of hungry now, too. Hello. Welcome. Well, now, you don't look familiar. Is this your first time here at Patty's place? Yes, it is, as a matter of fact. Well, I'm Patty, and this is my place. Can I get you some fresh bread with bacon and eggs? Add a few veggies, some butter, and bam! A sandwich that refuses to be beaten and begs to be eaten. I think my brain just drooled a little bit. It smells so good in here. Take your time and enjoy your meal. No bread for the baked bread. That's on old Patty. We gotta go, Patty. Evacuate. The specter is coming. Oh, shit, we're going back to five. Okay, now it's it's a, a vote between five number fives, and the third five is in the lead. If you look at it sideways, it's like a middle finger. What the specter wants? I was a poop redeem. I listen. I believe it. I found a curious fragment. These steps are a bit uneven, but that's part of their charm. Yeah, people fall in the canal every day. It's hilarious. When it rains, these are horribly slippery. There's a quaint staircase, but very, not very safe. Hey, it looks like the third five one. Oh, a snail! You, a snail. Hmm, a snail. I like snails. They're neat. This must be a cafe. It's locked. Oh, well, I really wanted to see inside. Most likely just a maintenance tunnel for the canal. I always wonder what was in there. I think I saw someone saw me staring at them. This looks like a nice, uh, nice cafe. I wonder how their tea is. Ma'am. We had a very intense normal distribution. Current poll, three. The emoji, three. The r number, three. Or three written out with letters. Now chat has to decide. I've had just about enough with all this nonsense. Do you know how busy I am? Wow, she spits a lot when she talks. Now they want me to just up and leave because of some giant inspector? This makes me so angry. You solved this puzzle. What? Ma'am? Eating point. Pac-Man? You're supposed to meet a friend at a restaurant, but you forgot which restaurant. You know the restaurant is due north of the hero statue, south of the goddess statue, east of the lion statue. You have a map. doesn't show compass directions or statue names. Which restaurant are you looking for? Um... Uh, it's due north of the hero statue. Um. Uh. It has to be north, south, and east of a statue. Which means, uh, if it was... It has to be... It's east of the statue. So it's to the right of it? This compass sucks. Yeah. So is it B sideways? It's not directly south or north, though. How does that work? Good job. Chat voted for the number three. <laughs> Why am I surprised? Followed by written word three, followed by emoji three. North isn't labeled. I know. Oh, it's A. It's diagonal. Shit. Shit. This took some creative thinking.
I was like, none I of this lines up. Of a good solution. But if you do it diagonal-wise, then it's fine. You're meeting a restaurant? Ah. Yeah. I got a new train. You got the answer already? Well, good for you. I, for one, can't stand your puzzling my life away. If the police say so, I have to go. But I want to go home now. Looks like the police have given the evacuation orders. Luke and the police deserve a bit of credit for saving people. Very, very flappy mouth. It's very pop-up. How's that? Well, well, who's that indeed? Good day, sir. May we ask you a few questions? Sure, you pretty young thing. Ask me all the questions you want. What's your name? Well, my name is Emmy, thank you. We are investigating the Spectre. Do you know anything about it? What's that? Spectre? Oh, pretty and curious, eh? That's quite the lethal combo there. Sir, I just want to know if you've seen any. A pretty young lady is asking me questions. That must mean old Clarence has still got it. Thanks for your time. The police were just here. They announced that the Spectre was coming. They then they left. So you have heard of the Spectre. That Oracle sure does know what's going on. The Oracle should do the weather too. Looks like people are really taking Luke's predictions to heart. Okay, thank you. Goodbye. Oh. I have to separately go left from here. Yeah, his lips are bad. Uh, I left in a rush when I heard about the Spectre, but I'm worried about Joseph. Have you seen him? I'm sorry, and you are? <laughs> Damn, Layton! Oh, I'm Bobby. I work at the hotel on Great Alley Street. I left as quickly as I could when I heard the news, but I never saw Joseph leave. Last I saw him, he was muttering something about next year being a better tourist season. I'm scared that the hotel may get destroyed with Joseph inside. It's all right, miss. We saw him earlier. I think he'll be fine. I can't help but worry, though. I should have dragged him out of the hotel instead of my precious dolls. Get... I didn't pull those miss. Uh, our gammer deer around for another pull. May I have my pull? Maybe there were, I think there might've been a couple pull redeems that were missed. At least one, if you want to take a look at the queue. Donka. These are good creepy dolls. They got cat heads on some. May not look like at first one of the dolls A, B, or C is identical to the doll on the far left. Which of these three dolls could be an exact match for the fourth doll? What? Huh? Is it ah? Um. All these damn cat dolls. Bleh. One of the dolls marked A, B, or C is identical to the doll on the far left. Which could be an exact match for the fourth doll. I mean, like, is it A just because it could have a hair bun underneath the hat? And the body is the same, but it has a cat head. This one's bullshit. I feel like it's bullshit. B is the only other one with a human face. But then the details of the dress are all wrong. B because clothes are not part of the doll. Yeah, fuck that. You're right. Some puzzles must be met oh, directly. Sorry. Wow. That was very mad. What could have gone wrong here? Hold on. I jostled the cable. Holy shit. Think of all the possibilities it could be. I was convinced you were right. I was like, that's the kind of shit they would pull. Arms and legs reverse it flipped upside down. Yeah, I know the capture photo. Should be back now. What could have gone wrong here? Bet's A and they flipped it upside down? How would that... Ah. A challenging puzzle, to be sure. A little more thought is in order. Count up, chat. One, three, two, four, five. You're close. It's always three. I guess it's three. I guess it's the one I least suspected. Think of all the possibilities. Well, it could be three. Some puzzles must be met directly. But how? No puzzle is without an answer. It's always three. Okay, first, first of all, this is immensely upsetting to look at. Second of all, this doll is reversible when you flip it over the skirt falls to expose another torso and face. Then the arms are seen as legs and vice versa. 
You had to look for a doll with the same colored skirt fringe as the doll on the left with opposite colored arms and legs. Looks like they're giving birth. Uh, anyway, this is bad and a bad puzzle and I don't regret uh, getting that wrong. I tried to make dolls like this before. It's been years to try again. Yeah. Literal cheating. What? I'm not the only one who's thinking it. Are those your dolls? Yes, I'm very attached to them. But how could I take away my dolls and leave my boss behind? I feel terrible. Hope the specter passes right by Great Ellie Street. Yeah. Chat, count up. Three, four, five, six, seven. Holy shit. Hope oh, no, no. Ch fix it. Yeah, no. Wait. Good. <gasps> Let's fucking go. <laughs> uh, that was a poll of three, four, five, six, and seven. And uh, thirty-five percent voted for three. And then four, five, six, seven. But it was like six and seven were tied for a while. They're going back and forth. The accounting starts with three. It's the only way counting can work. I always trip walking up this street. There's a certain appeal to cobbled streets like these. The main way through here is the canal. Mm, indeed it is. Yeah, but that, but that, but, oh. Oh, okay. Hmm. That's a chat moment, not a stream moment. Numbers are hard, can we have a snail race, please? You gotta name those snails fishing with lard. Or you can leave it up to the mod that does the, 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 the pull. You don't have to spend points again, just say in the chat, fishing with lard. If you have ideas for the five snail names. You did it, chat. Proud of you. That's a cat, his name's Keats. Man. Has Luke solved any puzzles? Uh, he created some puzzles. A kitty, come here, kitty. Man. What an interesting cat. It has a collar, so it must have a home. Let's get it! God damn it, Luke. Luke, stop! He's being such a child, Professor. Ah, he may be a precocious one, Emmy, but Luke is still a young boy. And that means we must be young as well if we want to keep up with him. He's headed west! Snail, 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 and snail. With different capital letters. You got it, Lard. Uh, if one of the mods wants to... Yeah, there it is. Shit. There are those snails. Immediately the third one got a bunch of votes. Great! I suppose their appeal lies in the fact that they make a neat row. Must be nice to live by the river. And Luke has no thoughts about housing. I wonder how the tap water tastes here. The town is fairly famous for its soft, pure tap water. Hmm, soft water. I only ever hear about water in the context of it being hard water. I never hear anyone say, yeah, that water is real soft. I'm sure that, I mean, it makes sense. I just, not used to it. Did anybody else see that adorable feline over there? Some wild boy chased it away. Oh, he was with you. Better get him. Kids run rampant in this town. I see, thank you. Emmy, we had better catch up with Luke. So, Luke went west, correct? To the west. A snail with a capital A1, the third snail. Followed by snail with a capital I, snail with a capital N, snail with a capital S, and snail with a capital L. I'm a dip. Have a good dip, dear. Thank you. Do you know if Gam's still around? I can handle any more pulls. I'm just wondering if Gam's around. Software is actually thing. It's the opposite of hard water. Game probably went to work. Gotcha. All right. It's just me, chat. Take care, dear. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for teaching chat to count. That cat is really fast. Ah, oh, there you are. I thought we were going to lose you. Where'd that cat run off to? Hey, there it is. Yeah, he's gone. Thanks for the hydrate, Graven. Professor, please stop him. He's fine. Let's just jog along behind him. He'll do us both good. No one told me that Layton's assistant had to be in such good physical shape. Ignore this. I will. The game's been dead for three years. Shit. Where do you think we are? Uh, um, uh. I can make out a small forest out in the distance. How scenic. Uh, 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 tap. It takes a fair bit of elbow grease to row a boat. If you aren't used to it, it's very hard to row in a straight line. 
that's true. Yeah. I miss Cam every day. How did you get here? Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Looks like we lost it. Where did it go? That cat probably has a home somewhere in the area. Let's keep looking. It's very hard to stay sh If you aren't used to it, it's very hard to stay straight. By the look of this bridge, I'd say there's not much beyond here. It's wet. Looks a bit slippery. It's hardly needed. You can easily hop over the stream. Oh, God. Chop the wood. Around and around it goes. This water wheel must be powering something. Must have must be an aesthetic choice. Maybe. Aesthetic. Yeah. What lovely dappled sunlight. Photo time. Strolling through the woods is always nice. I can hear the leaves rustling in the wind. I like how it's actually an animated texture that's like intense, increasing and decreasing in brightness. Yeah, I drink boneless water. It really is beautiful here. I'm sorry for disrupting you, Mido, but did you see a cat around here? I haven't seen nothing but green. Such lovely green, it's everywhere. More green than a bear can bear. M Mido, are you all right? Oh, oh, I'm more than all right. Green here, green there. It's like a verdant drain, just chugging along. The citizens of this town certainly are eccentric. There he goes. This looks like a laboratory of some sort. Is that right, Luke? I don't know. I've never seen this place before. Did the cat run inside there? Let's find out. Chapter 3. Three people chase a cat. Chapter's fucking called The Spectre Appears. Just run around. What kind of fish food they keep in there? Is that tank for purifying water? You can hear a loud droning noise if, noise if you stand next to it. That's not fluoride in the water. Doesn't seem to be a fish farm. I can see all the way to the bottom. I can't believe I've never seen this place before. Fish. The fish are leaping everywhere. They look completely different from the fish in the canals. I never expected to find such rare fish here. They're always rare until they're cooked. Layton? Oh shit. It's the oo fish. Look at that size of that aquarium. That huge fish just had its eye on me. I think the fish is the one observing us. Perhaps we can go up there to feed it. You think it would eat us if we fell in? Really now, come down from there. Ook. You'll be eaten alive. I just stepped on. Oh, it was just a hose. It has been very well used, I see. Watch your step. Whoops. I don't know what it is, but we probably shouldn't touch it. I presume that is the aquarium pump. We really shouldn't touch it then. I found a puzzle in there. Hmm, what if we have here? It looks like a hidden puzzle. Hmm. 70 books. The answer is 70. Solved it. A bookcase has seven shelves, each filled with ten books of the same size. When you choose a book, you must also take the two books above, below, to the left, and to the right of the one you actually want. If there are fewer than two books in any of these directions, you cannot choose that book. Choosing as many books as possible, how many books will you end up taking? Huh? So, the two books above, below, to the left, and to the right of the one you actually want. Me meaning, if I'm like, I want this one, you're taking these two, and these two, and these two, and these two? Is that what that two means? Why do you have to take books like that, right? Yeah, okay. How many books we end up taking? So, there's a hard limit to the number that you can take. And if there are fewer than two books in the directions, you can't choose that book. So already off limits are everything around the borders. Um, the first one you can grab is this one, which then means you can grab this one. Uh huh. And then down. Wait, but then you can't because there's only one down from there. So you have to go. Wait. But you could go like he he here here. No, wait. 
Because I'm trying to think of like a one like down here you can grab, but there's none you can grab. I think. Wait. Maybe. Because, yeah, because there's, there's, only, there's only four rows down there. Can you only grab two books? Or is there a really sneaky way we can grab three? Is it three? <laughs> I'm just gonna say that there, there's two you can grab, which means you end up grabbing um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eighteen. I can see more ways. Maybe third book's friends. What? Where else? At least four. I think the second one you want to pull from a different row. How can you grab more? Because. Hmm. I can see more than two. Explain. Show your work. You can do that, but then you can't do anything below it. Grab one, then do two down and three right. So you can do this one. Let's you do that. Okay. And then, is there a third one you can grab with this arrangement? Have we solved the mystery of why Luke is so small? It's because he's a baby. Now do up, two, and three, right? Nope. Because if you grab this one, you need two books to the right, and there's only one. So you can't grab it. I think you can only grab two. Oh, shit, fuck. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Just go down one after the first book. So grab the first one. This guy. What do you mean by just go down one? Go down the next row, as far over as we can. So then that lets us grab that. And then what? You can't grab a book three shelves above it? What? No, if there are fewer than two books in any direction, you can't choose that book. Wait. Wait, may wait, maybe shit. Th this might this might suck real bad. Okay, can you do this? Grab grab that book and then immediately grab this one right here. Because you skip where there's not a book and then you grab these two and those two you skip that and grab these two and those two. Oh fuck. Shit. So then you go diagonal again. And grab these two, these two, these two, and these two. And then you can't grab any more there. But you can presumably grab... This one, for these two to the left, and above, and below, and to the right. He's done it. Yeah, because it's like, if you remove a book, you can just slide the, the other books over. There's no rule against, like, you can't skip over a spot. There has to be... Two books in that direction. Is there anything else I can grab from here? Um, I don't think so. So then it might be four books, which would be what thirty-six, which has a three in the first digit. Is the rule of not moving books up and down? I mean, technically, no. They don't explicitly state you can't move any books, but if you can just rearrange all the books, then that's an extremely bad puzzle. And this is already not a great puzzle. I'm gonna try 36, and um, when it's inevitably wrong, we'll get mad. How's that sound? This took some creative thinking. Cool. It appears as though I've missed something. You have to count all the books you can take. No, I did. No, I did. Okay. Time for some hints. Taking two books from above, below, to the left, to the right of the book, totals nine books. See how many of these will fit into the bookcase. Yeah. If you try simple math, nine books multiplied by seven should make 63, but it's not that easy. The key is in the cross shape. Use the memo function and think carefully. You must take two books in each direction, as well as the book you wish to take. This limits the books that may be removed. The number of books you are allowed to take is surprisingly low. 
Don't overthink things. You can only take as many books as is physically possible. Given that each set of nine books spans almost half of the total area of the bookcase, it should be clear how many sets you can take. So I were we right, and then I was more clever than the game expected me to be? And so it's 27? If it's three books you can grab? A challenging puzzle, to be sure. A little more thought is in order. Is it 18? My 69 hint coins. We'll get more. Why is it 18? Wasn't I able to grab three before I tried to be smarter thinking. about it? A it's because no you can't carry more. Undone. It's too tall of a stack, actually. I only got two. Oh, I just misremembered. Oh. You should be able to take more. You can't because of that troublesome rule. I liked my answer where you ended up skipping over rows and empty books. Chat just want to tell you three. Cool. <laughs> yeah, same. Yeah. I was at, for once, I was right that, like, that's actually the puzzle. We're like, oh, I can only grab these two because that's all there's room for. And it's like, but wait, you can actually, like, slide the books over, you know, and then without rearranging them in order, you can skip over. Because it's just, uh, you grab a book, and then there's two books to the left. So what if there's a gap? It's fine. Not to any direction you can't take. But that's my point, is if you have a stack of books in a shelf, a row, and you take out one and then two next to it, and then you have a gap, you can still take out a book and then two that are there. It didn't say touching, it just said next to. So you could... It's fine. For, for, considering how many of these puzzles have gotchas like that, I would not be surprised if that was the actual intended solution. It's like always the shit they don't say. Another puzzle solved! Good. Ma'am. It did say two right next to Well then I don't know how to read, and don't worry about it. Welcome to my lab. Uh, hello. I was chasing a cat and I think it ran in here. Emphasis on direction, not adjac adjacency. Yeah. The two books to left, right, up, down. So they're putting a lot of effort into a the. Puzzles need very specific text. Uh, was it yours? We keep many fish here, but no cats to speak of. I think I know who you're talking about, though. I can tell you, but I need some help with this problem first. Yeah, everyone needs something done. Fish feud. There are four types of fussy fish in the tank below. The orange fish dislike the yellow fish, and the yellow fish dislike the blue ones. The blue fish abhor the purple, and the purple fish can't stand the orange. What's worse, no fish can be with another fish of the same color. Add dividers by drawing straight lines from the notches along the side of the tank without crossing over any fish. Using just four dividers, can you divide the fish and bring harmony to the tank? Boy, these fish are fucking racist. They're racist against everyone, including themselves. So, orange dislikes yellow. Where's orange and yellow next to each other? Right there. Done. Is it... is that... Like there? Like there. Okay, orange and yellow are separated. This one also needs to be separated. As does this one. Okay, now all orange and no, and then also that. I do have four. This one. Now all the orange and yellow are separated. And it used up all four. Good. Wait, nope, there's still another one. Fuck! Let me start it. Um, separate these orange and yellow. And these orange and yellow. And this orange and yellow. There you go. Okay. What's next? The yellow dislikes blue. Fuck. Well, that's just the... I keep bumping my mic. That's just these. So maybe that's... We can do. Also, no. Two yellows in the same... We're getting to that! We're going step by step, chat. <laughs> yellow hates blue. There's only one with yellow and blue together. So we can make that work. Um, uh, blue abhor purple. The, this, this right here has a blue. So we can separate those at the same time. With like that. 
with like with like this, with like that, right? Or is that better? I know I can't draw more lines. Just undo this one. I can't tell what's overlapping a fish. Like that overlaps the orange. Um, that seems fine. Um, yeah, this isn't gonna work. <sighs> Put the fish in- put ink in the tank. Yeah. Blue for the purple. Purple can't stand orange. Yeah, that's fine. I don't see any purple and orange together. No. No fish can be another fish of the same color. That's where we get fucked. <laughs> Cuz... Um... Um... Nah. Yeah. Is that... There's so many blue in that bottom- that bottom left corner sucks. If they hate each other, why are they swimming next to each other? Just scoop them out of there. Darn gummit. Hmm. 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 And... Maybe then... Do this... And... This. Nope. That doesn't work. This puzzle sucks. Since you're all racist, you all get a tiny triangle, and I don't want to hear about it. Uh, this also doesn't work. <sighs> Am I looking this one up? I might be looking this one up. Hmm. <laughs> Let's go fish scooping later. I almost had it. Did I? Didn't feel like it. Yep. Um. Orange dislikes yellow. Yellow dislikes blue. Blue dislikes purple. Purple dislikes orange. So I have to separate purple and orange, which is in the middle there, while also separating these two blues over here. So that's not- that's no bueno. No cheating. I love cheating. With puzzles. I think these two lines might be right or close to right. Because otherwise, it's impossible to separate these three blues in the bottom left corner. Otherwise, you could do, like, this or something, but that seems to overlap a bunch of fish. So... Day. Yeah, frozen fish. Close to right. Uh, buh. Purple can't stand orange, and these purple and oranges are next to each other. So that's why I'm like, that makes sense, because then you're dividing a bunch of purples and oranges. So then the bottom left, the ha left half seems solid. But now with one line remaining, we have oranges that need to be separated from yellows. Two yellows in the top that need to be separated. Is this... Like, like there. Didn't I tr just try this? Orange and yellow. Good. This puzzle still at least taught me a new vocabulary word. <laughs> what was that? Is this it? Yellow dislikes blue. Okay. Blue abhors purple. Okay. Purple can't stand orange. And they can't be with another one. I think that's it. Okay. Abhor. Oh, it's a good word. How about this? He's small and he's pointing. That was it. Jesus. Yeah, abhor is good for when you're like, I despise you and want a fancier word for it. These fish are as happy as clams with their new friends. No, fuck them. Hate these fish. I did it! Now you can tell me where that cat went! 
I'm sure the cat you saw lives in a very strange house deep in the forest. He seems to have some interest in the fish we're researching here, so he visits every now and then. How do you research fish? There are many kinds of fish in Miss Tolerary unique to this area. We research those rare types of fish in this facility. Actually, we have some fish that we've only seen here in town. We could always use some help. Oh, uh, observe fish? That sounds very exciting, but I don't know if I'd have the time, actually. I'll help you observe them, miss. I can tell you love animals. I think you'll like these fish as well. Many of our fish still need names. Do you think you could help us with that? Give names to these odd fish. The names will display as, quote, name. Luke doesn't know that fish is an animal who knows them as because of fish and chips. Wetter, Luke. Fish with a three. Soup. Fish, Luke. Is this a puzzle? Yes. Fish. Chub, play tub. Chub, tub. Chub tub. Avoid. They are racists. Name every fish. I'll wait. Name me Luke. Name them ooh. Oh, well. I mean, that is kind of tempting. That is kind of tempting to just name them ooh. The fucking fish emote. Bing Bang is good too. I'm gonna name them ooh. The fish mini game has been added to the trunk. Okay, shit. Yeah. I got a pleasant garden. Oh, that is a very upset looking fish. You received fish supplies and a new species of fish from Marion, and it's just in my briefcase. Fish has been added to the professor's trunk. Observe and report the strange feeding habits of the fish. It's just in my bag. Since we only discovered them recently, there are still many things we don't know about them. You can experiment with them and find out all there is to know. We were looking for a cat and ended up with some fish. We have to go back into the woods to find that cat, Emmy. Show me fish. Uh, you've been given a fish from a newly discovered species. Fish of the species always swim in a straight line. If they meet a wall or obstacle, they bounce off of it and swim away. Slide the bubble from the box on the lower left and place it on one of the mini bubble clusters. When your fish swims into a bubble, it will ricochet and pick up speed. Create its path with the bubbles. Bubbles pop when your fish bounces off of them. Gold bubbles will pop as well, but they can't be moved like regular bubbles. If your fish hits a gold bubble, it will ricochet quickly through the water. For a short time, it will speed through the water and go through any regular bubble that it hits. After hitting walls or obstacles three times, your fish will return to its normal speed. Place bubbles in the tank so your fish can gather all the coins! There are 10 types of fish tanks. Collect them all on your journey. See what happens when you complete all 10. Spoilers, you get more puzzles. Get all the coins in 8 seconds. Um. Oh, they have to go. I see. Um. Uh. What? What? Wouldn't you? Wouldn't? Go! He goes back the way he came from. So then, don't. Great. There then. Alright, okay, get it. And then we need that one there. This is some finny fun. Shit. Time's up. Okay, then what if, um... So it comes in down at that angle. Would that, would that do it? No, he's, he likes it. No, I guess I get, how would that, wouldn't that bounce him back the same direction he came from? It died of no money. Oh. Oh. Pleasant garden. <laughs> fish slamming into all the walls. Is the fish fine, professor? Yeah, it's pleasant. Don't worry about it. Mm hmm Yep. To the house in the woods. I wonder what ominous house in the woods there may be. According to Marion, the cat lives in a house down this way. All right, then let's go. That cat is waiting. Professor waiting. 
He seems to have developed quite a rapport with this cat. I wonder if he's like this with all animals. That's quite a leap in logic to take there, Leighton. I thought it was gonna be Granny Realton. This house is really weird. Come now, Luke, it's not scarier than a giant specter, is it? No, I guess not. Good, let's go. Uh, anyway, he's small and scared. If, ah, fuck. Why does she have a house inside of her house? That's my shtick. Pardon me, ma'am. We didn't know anyone lived here. So you just barge into the house of the beautiful and clairvoyant Granny Riddleton, eh? What do you mean clairvoyant? Yeah, it is the original puzzle music. What do you mean clairvoyant? I knew you were going to ask that. I know about your puzzles. Puzzles you want to solve later and puzzles you still need to find. I find those poor forlorn puzzles and call them to me, the beautiful and clairvoyant Granny Riddleton. Remember that bee that fucking died in the last game? Hey, yes, you are quite clairvoyant. So you store all the puzzles we don't end up solving. Ehe, I knew you would come around to see my true earth. Because you're clairvoyant, right. So all we have to do is come find you for any puzzles we passed over or left behind? That's right. Or at least it would be right if I weren't leaving. I'm off to the hot springs. That's how I preserve my vivacious glow. Wait, what? So what if we need to find a puzzle while you're away in a hot spring? Oh, you poor thing. No need to worry. Granny's got you covered. My kitty, Keats, will be in charge. Meow. I knew there was something about that cat. That damn cat. Anytime you need a puzzle, tap on old Keats here. E he he. He likes to wander, so you should bump into him often enough. Sorry I can't stay in chat, but Granny's vacation isn't gonna take itself. And she's gone, just like that. Can't wait to tell the professor and Luke about this. I miss Beasley every day. Hey, Offlex. Upgrade. Yeah, old lady replaced with cat. Emmy, don't leave us alone like that. Sorry, Luke. I found out that this cat Keats can help us find any puzzles we left behind. Is that so? What a delightfully curious cat indeed. I'm sure we'll have ample opportunity to make use of his special skills in the future. Isn't that, isn't that so? Wah! Old bottle. Man and nature living in harmony, to an extent. I can't tell which was here first, the house or the tree. I want to start growing a tree in my room. All right, now, calm down, Luke. The sack is packed full of something. What's inside? If I had to guess, I'd say it was cat food. What's the point of a cupboard in a kitty's house? Why don't we open it? Who knows what could be inside? A gentleman would never rifle through a cat's cupboards. Cat's cupboards are a sacred thing. Cat. Meow? Meow. Mm -hmm. Not knowing Grail Rats in the first game. That, yep, because she leaves before he walks into the room and... And Emmy never decided to mention her. The lady disappeared. Don't worry about it. We seem to have wandered rather far from the hotel. Perhaps we should go back now. Yeah, I'm getting a bit hungry. Now that you mention it, I'm a bit peckish myself. We did get a healthy walk-in. Shall we swing by the cafe? That boy's back over on Pike Lane. Never face a speck on an empty stomach. Away we go. Good way to avoid a retcon. You'll have to see it. Hey, we meet again. Plucky, I thought you were at Grand Bridge. The Grand Bridge? I'm at every bridge. See boats, see Bucky. That's what I always say. I've been serving the canal needs of my customers for a decade. Smell boats, smell Bucky. I'll be sure to keep that in mind. My boats are all ship shape and all my ships are boat shape. Run, run, Luke, run! After that rat. That's High Yard Hill. Shall we take a look? Let's just focus on North Alley for now. Okay. Hashtag smell boat, smell Bucky. I don't want to do either, actually. Nope, creepy old man. Be gone. I'm never talking to you again. To the cafe. I'm conditionally omnipresent. Welcome to Patty's place. Our dinner special tonight is a succulent leg of lamb glazed with herb-infused olive oil, served in an orange sauce with cabbage and crispy potatoes. It's a winner of a dinner that won't make you thinner. Sit down. That sounds really good. That lamb smells so good. Really, really good. Emmy, your mouth is open. You got a little drool on your shirt, Luke. You doing okay? 
Yes, lamb. I mean, ma'am. I mean, yes, ma'am. Thank you. I'm potato. Professor, I think we better get Luke some food. Let's grab a quick bite here and return to the hotel. Table for three, right this way. I'm a potato. Yes, you are, Luke. Oh, I'm so full, I can barely see. Uh, yes, that was quite a feast. Unfortunately, we should roll ourselves back to the hotel. I can't wait to get a good look at that specter. You make it sound like this is some sort of game, Emmy. Oh, she didn't mean to make light of the situation, Luke. Let's go. Je suis pom. On du pom. The fog is getting thicker. Does this mean the specter is close? Quickly, let's get back to the hotel. Move along. There's nothing to see here. Not yet, anyway. Specter should be any mo any minute, though. They've blocked off the way to the hotel. It seems they're still evacuating some residents from the area. Let's just stay calm and find another way back to the hotel. Why? Why, why don't we just explain to them that we're okay? We'll take the long way around. It's so misty out. Damn. And we're back. You get out of here. I thought everyone had been evacuated. The specter will be here soon. It will be dangerous. Please evacuate quickly. No, I refuse. I'm not moving another inch. I bravely packed up all my family's belongings, but my impertinent son still called me a coward. I don't intend to do a thing for such an ungrateful son. Please don't worry about trifling fights right now. You must get to safety, sir. You're only hurting yourself by staying behind. Please, sir, don't be so childish. Trifling? Childish? Well, if you're so mature and serious, maybe solve this puzzle. If you solve it, I'll leave. But until then, puzzles are the most mature things you can do. Foggy numbers. The fog has made this sign impossible to read. While the townsfolk can't recall the exact order in which the numbers appear, they do remember the following. Shh, chat's been training all day for this. Each number from one to nine appears once. Five is between two larger numbers. Three is between two smaller numbers. Seven is between two larger numbers. First number is nine, last number is one. Put the numbers in the correct order. Okay. Um. Uh, three is between small numbers. So maybe it's like that. Five is between larger numbers. So maybe it's like that. Seven's between two larger numbers. It's may maybe it's maybe it's like that. I mean, what does larger and smaller constitute? Just bigger than that number? I have a college degree. I have a college degree. Five is less than seven. Swap eight and five. Five is between two larger numbers. Just larger than it. Famously more than five. Count the pixels. I was just assuming like larger and smaller means greater than and less than. I don't know. Whatever. Five is between two larger numbers. Okay. Three is between two smaller numbers. Okay. Seven is between two larger numbers. Okay. Does the four and the six just not matter? What do you think about this? Okay. I did it, Professor. Any seven gang? Mystery solved. What on earth could this sign be referring to? It's a bit too long for a house number or street address. Four is smaller than five. Oh, it matters for the five. Uh, yeah, oh, got it. Um, very smart. I play these games on streams. So people know not to think of me as being a smart person. You got it. I didn't think anyone would solve that. Now, now, you promise, sir. It's time to leave this area. Oh, very well. I don't want to, but a promise is a promise. So I'll go. It's a lovely hat, by the way. But I'm not scared of any specter. You tell everyone I'm not a coward. You just need an excuse to leave with this pride intact. Everyone is motivated by something different. What motivates you, Professor? Ah, uh, sometimes I wonder that exact thing myself, Emmy. At any rate, the townspeople seem to have been evacuated safely. Let's get back to the hotel. Back we go. Well, here we are. Let's get inside the hotel quickly before the specter appears. What's the matter, Luke? The specter's trying to destroy this town. It could also destroy this hotel. Well, that's uplifting. Wait, Luke, is that another prediction? I don't know. 
Would you like us to take you home, Luke? No. If I went home, I would have to see my father. Luke, you're here because you wanted to see the Spectre, right? That's right. As the one who predicts the Spectre's appearance, I have to be here. I would agree. Everything will be fine. You'll be safe no matter what happens. I promise. How can you promise that, Herschel? Thank you, Mr. Layton. Aren't you going to reassure me too, Professor? Ah, uh, yes, of course, Emmy. You'll be safe as well. Now let's all head inside together. Luke hasn't called him Professor. He calls him Mr. Layton. I'm sad. Um, I like it when he calls him Professor. Oh, what might you folks be doing up at this hour? You should retire for the night. I should too. I'm afraid our night is just beginning. We're going to be up until the Spectre appears. This Spectre better show. Is it? Oh, shit. Deja vu. Well, what do you think, Luke? Do you see anything yet? No, nothing. <sighs> I'm still having a tough time buying all of this. It sounds like some scary bedtime story. Is this even possible? Well, we'll soon find out. And a poor little boy who predicts where the giant specter will appear. <sighs> so what now? I mean, what if this thing never even shows up? Uh, hmm? What is... what on earth could that be? It sounds like... it sounds like music! <gasps> uh, the flute! It must be... <gasps> Quickly! the window I'm not saying it again oh. what is that thing can this be Spectre. Let's go! Oh. No, please! You can't go out there! Luke. Where is that coming from? Luke, listen. We must keep a clear head at times like this. Do you understand? He's so small. We can only uncover the truth if we stay calm and remain rational. Do you think you can do that for me? Hmm. He's only a baby child. Wow! I've never seen fog this thick before, not even in London. That's his dad. It's one of the Spectre's powers. One of its many terrible powers. Let's not worry about that for now, right now. Okay, Luke? Yes, Mr. Layton. Let's keep in mind that one cannot overcome fear by feeding it. I must not fear fear is the mind killer. Fear is the, the tiny death that of... And you are very lucky considering that you have friends here to help you overcome your fear. I suppose that's true. I'm frightened too, but we can't get distracted. Now let's go see what this specter is all about. You're frightened too! Ah! And they panic. I can see a huge shadow heading toward a Great Ellie Street. Let's go. Have emotional regulation, damn baby child. What are you, seven? I'm six. Oh. Actually, he is seven. Um. Oh, a bush. There's a puzzle in the bush. A hidden puzzle. Oh, no. Why did I... Oh, no. Planet cube. You're, work... oh, you're working on creating a map of a small cubicle planet. The map has been folded out so the six sides lay flat. All you need to do is fill in the squares to complete the map. Rotate and place the pieces so the roads on the assembled map all connect properly. There'll be one piece left over at the end. Of course. Of course. That's how it goes. Um, 
Uh, I need, I need... Well, let me, let me, let me, let me think about it for a second. So... I need a four-way street at this one, as well as on this one. And those will connect up, and those will... As what as well? Uh, no. Um. Nope. Um. Also, nope. Maybe, maybe swap these for some kind of a uh, uh, situation. Wait. If we get these ones down, then it'll be easy. That looks better. This is wrong, though. This needs to be... Fuck. Shit. Damn it. Um... That face from Grand Line. Well, how is this a One Piece? Is there a cube planet in One Piece? Are these the only two that have four exits? They are. So these two have to be here and here in some order and in some rotation. I have to find it. Because there's one piece left over. <laughs> here I go overthinking it yet again. Um. Hmm. Hmm. So that could be this or this. If it's that. Uh. Also, no- God damn it. What's the guy gotta do to make a little cube? Huh? Shit. Fucking damn it. Um. Uh, no. Still no. Fuck. What? Wait. No. 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 Damn it. Damn you. Damn you. Damn you straight to hell. I... Wait? Maybe. No, because th this needs to be a... <sighs> Fuck. This is pain. This is pain. God... Dang it. Shit. Shit sucks. Wait, that works. That works? That works. I believe that works. It's an ancient po poneglyph? Poneglyph. Hmm. Okay. And then from there... Uh... That needs to be the middle. Nope. Nope. No, is this not that mid? Okay, middle, and then this guy is is that, is that? No, wait, maybe because those connect there. That connects. What does that connect to? That was a One Piece reference. I flew too close to the sun. <laughs> it's okay. I'm struggling to wrap around the far left one to figure out if that's all good. That can't be a four side. No, it can't, can it? Because which side? The top needs to be a dead end, I think. But is this doable with this guy? Maybe? Where does that top connect to? I think it needs... Shit. Because doesn't the left of this connect to the side over here? So it's the top that needs to be blank. Still going on. You got this? I don't think I got this. 
Um. Hmm. 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 These are gonna be Yeah, they, these are tough. These are tough to visualize. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, 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 if anyone has any thoughts, I don't have many thoughts. The closest I can get is this, but that's not correct. The bottom one is wrong. The top of the left touches the top of the top. Right. Not a single thought. Bottom to left. What? About what about bottom? Trade left and right? Um. Well. I could. Hey, Sam Bam. Well, that's correct. Use the middle to draw which sides connect. Uh, these connect. And these connect. And these connect. And this connects. Um, and these connect. And is that it? Am I missing one? Feels like I'm missing one. No, I mean that's it. So that's so I. That's why I. You're missing the one that I said. Oh. Top left to top top. Yeah, but that's a dead end. So I didn't include that. Th th this this one right here, you can't change. So you basically don't have to think about it. I mean, if anything, I just mark it as like an X. Like there shouldn't be anything there. I do have rice. Ooh, that sounds good. There's only six exponential possibilities. This is the path on the other one. Bottom, bottom, the bottom right, perchance. Um, the bottom right. Oh, but, well... I guess maybe? But the thing is, I, well, I, 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 that can't work. We only have three tiles that have four exits. And you would need four with four exits for that to be a connection. I think. Because my understanding is that uh, uh, these two need to, maybe it's a, maybe it's a bad assumption on my part. My assumption is that those two need to have four exits to make everything connect properly. Um, judging from the top one that we can't change here, tells us that we need to have stuff connecting on, on like, over here. Um, so, that's why I'm, I, I like, to spent a long time trying to get these figured out so they work with this guy. But maybe, maybe we can try something else there. Um... Because that needs to be in the middle. And that, yeah, that doesn't work. Because the top part right here that needs to connect over needs to have a road in the middle, which is why that works and nothing else does. But then that leaves me with stuff that doesn't work. It, it's like almost, it's almost right, but it's not. And that's aggravating. Because those all connect, but then the top corner there goes up over here, right? And there's nothing there. So, bottom tile is wrong. This one is wrong? Okay. So... What if it's... Wait, is that the one that was just there? Yes. Um... That doesn't work. That doesn't work. Neither of these work. Bomb tile on the left one. Huh? Bomb tile is right tile. You want that one there? That doesn't work. What are you, what are you saying? Bomb tile on the left... On the left one. What does that mean, Oxy B? Pretend that I'm very dumb. And then stop pretending because that's true. I meant left. As left tile. Bottom tile is left tile? Uh, maybe? Maybe? Maybe. But then I need something that... 
goes from low to high here, which does not exist. Um, so that can't be it, because they have to connect around the loop. Hmm. Hmm. This is fucking terrible. Uh, it is an optional puzzle. I'm stumped. I don't know. Start where you know there aren't connections. Are puzzles in the middle two are correct? No, we're not. Someone did say the bottom was wrong. I don't know if they, like, looked up the answer or just figured it out. But... I did struggle to make these work. And that was an arrangement that does indeed work, where you have those connections, and then this properly connects up into there. Maybe three. Try out each piece in turn. Cool. Well, then, once we find there are many, too many choices, careful attention to the top edge of the piece is already replaced. No road leading away. What does that piece that connects there look like? T-shape on top left. I'm just gonna get rid of them. You mean T-shape here? Like that? So the one that's already up there, I can't move. Yes. Start with that. And then... That doesn't work. So now I need something that goes from the top left to the top middle. Uh, this does. I think that's the only one that does. Now I need... Um... This has to go there. And... Nope. Wait. Nope. Wait. Nope. Um. No. 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 Damn. That started working, but I need something that connects to the top right. What? You can't just say my name and expect me to know what that means. I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> the, one, the one you said was the only one was not the only one. Correct. I was mistaken, but I can't figure out how to make this work. Because I was working with that in the constraint of also trying to get this bottom one to connect. Knowing that you're being judged. Oh, I know I'm being judged. I hit start stream. So that I'm fine with. Boop. Place the piece with the lake on the left end of the map. Okay. Rotate it so that no road runs through the side that connects with the starting piece and the finished cube. Yeah, huh? So that, that, okay. Sure. Um, like the fluffy hair girl with the bow and the big sweater? Yeah, she's neat. So, let's start with that. That can go there. And that might be it. From bottom... No, this can also go there. Either of these two. But this one has one that goes down, so we need that one there. I'm assuming... I guess maybe it doesn't connect through there, but that would be extremely mean. For them to do that. Um... That... Works? Maybe? But then there's nothing connecting here, and there, that doesn't... That doesn't exist. So we have to have something that's four-sided, so it's gotta be... This guy. And then... That... Nope. Nope. Wait. This... Man. The only mid-left can go there because you don't have those two close corners. Oh, to, to, to make that connection work. You're right. You're right. Fuck. Eh. I have 12 road. I have cube road. Why do you have cube road? Fuck you. So maybe that is just like that. And then doesn't connect there. I mean, not, not, not with that one, but, you know, with one that's sim- Fuck this- a million times over. 
That could be like that, maybe? Perhaps? Um... Does this work? It does. Does this work? I think so. Is that my cube? Some puzzles must be met directly. No puzzle is without an answer. Oh shit, there's other video game in here. I thought it was just to solve a cube puzzle. Your sweet little cubic planet map is now complete. God damn. I didn't think that was gonna be that hard. One good puzzle deserves another, and there's always another. Is that a threat? Feels like a threat. Good job. Oh my god. The destruction. What kind of terrible power can rip through brick and mortar? Claw marks and stone walls, not something you see every day. You can see right through the houses. No, no, the hat shop! That is a distressing sight indeed. How awful for Mr. Brown! Damn. I can't even see my own feet. This is a perilous situation, we should be very cautious. Let's hold hands so we don't lose each other. Woo! Professor, we lost the specter. Strange. The fog is very thick, however, we should still be able to see something that large. Maybe it dove into the canal. Huh? What's that? What's what, Emmy? Buh. Professor, over there. Something is glowing over there. I can't see through this fog. I have a bad feeling about this. That sound. What is that music? It's a flute! But where is it coming from? It sounds like it's close, but... Hmm, I don't see anyone else here. It's faint now, but I can still hear it. We must follow it quickly. It sounds like it's coming from... Over there, in the park! Let's hurry. We don't want to miss any possible clues. Run. Which park? The forest park? What are you doing here? I heard a wind instrument. I can't say if it was a flute or an oboe. I appreciate your attempt at musical precision. Can you say which direction it came from? I could, but I don't know how accurate I'd be. It was loud though and had an echo to it. An echo? It sounded like it was coming from all directions. I found it rather unsettling, to be honest. There's the music again! It's coming from over th there! Wait, no! Over there! I think. Yes, there is a strange echo that makes it difficult to locate the source. Flick his nose. Could that really be the Spectre's flute? Perhaps tonight we will uncover the music's origins. Let's follow it. Really? You're going to go crashing around the town just as chaotically as the Spectre? Yeah, maybe. You want to fight about it? I thought the music was coming from here, but I'm not so sure now. The Spectre's flute. It must be the Spectre's flute. The Spectre's flute. What is that? What indeed? Oh, the goblin. The legend of the Spectre is Miss Hallery's oldest tale. Long ago, the villagers used a flute to call upon a Spectre to protect them from invaders. So if the Spectre does the bidding of whoever plays the flute, then someone's trying to destroy Miss Hallery. Luke, is that what you meant when you said the world was ending? Yes, it's all in the legend. If the Spectre is ever used for impure motives, it shall unleash its wrath upon humanity. It will destroy all it in its path, creating its own paradise. That's terrifying. So that's why you were so scared. Of course, that's what- that's why. The Spectre is bent on total destruction. Well, sure, I mean, that's what monsters do, right? But there's something weird about all this. Weird doesn't begin to describe it. Emmy, you saw the Spectre. I know that I saw something, but I don't know what I s I don't know that what I saw was the Spectre from this legend. All we know right now is that there is a specter in Mist Hollery. Yes, there's definitely a very large and very angry something attacking this village. That was the specter. Why don't you believe me? Luke, I believed your letter when I came here. I believed you when you said the specter would appear. So why won't you believe me now? 
We all saw the specter, but now we need to unearth its origin. This is quite a puzzle here. We must examine all facets thoroughly before we come to any conclusions. But we lost the specter. Do we just wait for it to appear again? Not at all. Let's take a look at what we already know. For now, we have plenty of clues concerning the specter's true nature right before us. We do? Of course we do, Luke. Uh, tell him, Professor. Well, did anyone see the feet of the specter? I did not. It seems that it likes to conceal itself in water. The canals. Precisely. The specter left no footprints behind despite its size. And the path the specter took through town is now soaking wet. I hadn't even noticed that. And then there is the matter of that sound. That must have been the specter's flute, Professor. No, there was something else. When the specter appeared, I heard a strange grunting, growling noise. Grunting? Growling? Noise, yes. Uh, I can't me yet make any certain conclusions about what we saw or heard. We still need more information. The biggest clue that we have right now is that music. I heard something about an old antique flute that was recently auctioned off in the black market. And what, you think that might be the specter's flute? Maybe, I don't know. We should trust Luke's instincts on this one. It's definitely worth investigating this black market. It is the best lead we have, even if it is our only lead. But right now, it's getting late. Let's return to the hotel and start fresh in the morning. That was an extreme leap in logic. Welcome to Layton. Flute. The sound of a flute can be heard throughout the town despite no sign of anyone playing it. What causes this curious phenomenon? Even when the specter's far away, the sound of the flute is still audible. How strange. The music seems to be the same volume no matter where you go. That must be relevant. Shadow 4. The shadowy manipulator. I do not like that silhouette at all. Morning. Luke summons the specter through his premonitions. Shit. Ah, uh, brains. Or at least some tea, please. Good morning, Emmy. Ready to attack the day? Come on, Emmy. Let's get going. Come on. Luke, just... Shush. Ha ha ha. Luke, a gentleman never rushes a lady. Oh, just give me a second. While we're waiting, let's discuss today's plan. The flute? Yes, you said last night an antique flute was auctioned off at the black market, correct? I heard Beth talking about it. So where is this black market? Emmy, my, that was fast. A lady never keeps a gentleman waiting. So where is this black market? I don't actually know. I'm a child. I've only heard rumors about it. I've never actually been there. The sign is someone playing the flute. You hear a flute. Some kind of clue. Driven mad by a glimpse of Riley. Pulsing's been turned to a speaker, and the specter is the effects of the sound. The the unique uh, uh, material that comprises the architecture of Miss Hollery creates a, a weird echoing reverberation that manifests as a giant specter that destroys buildings. Yeah, you cracked the code. That's the twist. Honestly, I would find it unsettling if you did know exactly where the black market was, Luke. But what about the other market? What other market? You know, the regular one. I can show you where that is. Uh, let's keep that in mind in case we need melons. The black market is different than the regular market. You understand that, right, Luke? Actually, I mean, we can't be certain about that. Besides, a market can be good for gathering information. We might find something helpful there. I think we should explore the market. All right, we need to take the rope bridge to get to the market. Westward ho. Indeed. Yeah. I missed some puzzles. That's fine. I'm not here to do all the puzzles. I'm here to solve the little goddamn mystery. What? Didn't I see you in here yesterday? I heard some tourists got into the hotel to see the specter. You know anything about that? What? No. Well, maybe. So it was you all that, all that were in the room 302 when it was attacked, huh? So it was you all that were in room 302 when it was attacked, huh? That was a close call. Yo, yeah, old line. But we're all fine, and we've been moved to a safe place. 301. It's very comfortable. It was so comfortable, you could barely get out of bed this morning. That's enough, Luke. So if everyone is fine, then it's business as usual for us. What's your deal with tracking the Spectre? He an ex-boyfriend of yours or something? Actually, never mind. I don't need the drama. Just take this. Might help you. Might not. This little puppet has always made a fine good luck charm for me. 
puppet theater mini game. Oh shit. Is that a chef bird? I got gr gr uh, the gripped puppet puppet theater action. I got the sliced puppet bit rinsed. What's happening to this puppet? Is it a pig? Puppet theater. Puppet theater's been added to the trunk. Direct the puppets to bring each show to its full conclusion. It's adorable! Thank you. Mammy, I always took you for someone who would be more into cars or robots over puppets. Show me the puppet. Show me the puppet. This is a puppet show that you will direct. It is a pig. You will see the puppets act out your directions on the top screen. Tap the middle of the touch screen to advance the story. As the story progresses, you will direct different actions. Tap an action on the touch screen, then touch OK. If the action you chose was correct, the story will continue. If you choose wrong, the story will devolve into nonsense and the play will end. If you want to revise an earlier selection, touch rewind. Choose the correct actions to see the play's grand finale. There are three plays. After successfully completing one, you'll move on to the next. You'll collect actions for your puppets to perform as you progress to the main game. See what happens when you bring all threes to their grand finales. Oh shit, look at them go. Oh god. Ugh. It was my first cooking class, so I was kind of nervous. Nice. If only we had a puppet. I know, right? Imagine the things I could do if I had a puppet. Uh, I was kind of nervous. Welcome! A chef is light on words and heavy on the cooking, so let's get going. What's the first thing you need? That's right, ingredients. Today we're looking at carrots, onions, potatoes, broccoli, beef, and milk. Let's make us a stew. Okay, these are fresh veggies here, so you can't use them as is, not unless you like the taste of dirt. The chef was right, they were all pretty dirty, so I blanked them first. I gripped them in my grippers. Boo! I gripped and the others were astounded by the power of my grip. They stared at me as if they had never seen someone do what I was doing at that moment. By your hand, the play fell apart. Okay, wait, go back. Okay, we go back. It's fine. I just need- I just need to know. And they're pretty dirty, so I... Rinsed them. I rinsed them. Bravo! Only a barbarian would cook with dirty vegetables. Don't be afraid to wash them thoroughly. Yeah. Once the veggies are clean, put them on your cutting board. Let's go ahead and peel them. I was shaking nervously. I could hear the clock ticking, but I gripped the peeler firmly. I did it. The vegetables were peeled. I'd done it. I exhaled a sigh of relief. Nice. Soup. Now that you've peeled the soup. Thanks for the soup, Leisha. Now that you've peeled them, let's cut them up. Chop, chop. We'll do the same for the meat as well. I took hold of the knife and being careful not to cut myself, I sliced all the vegetables. Yeah, bravo. Yep. Good! Almost time to throw everything into the pot, but first, let's bring out the flavor a little bit. Chef took out a frying pan. As soon as I saw it, I knew what I had to do. I coated the frying pan in oil, threw in the meat and veggies, and blanked it all. Uh, you better believe I blanked it. I blanked it until the cows came home, and I blanked it some more. The end. Hooray. What a great narrative that was. It was a good story. He didn't put on his knife wrist strap. Oh my god, that's immensely dangerous. Morning. Trust you slept well. I sure didn't. Well, I'm sorry for that. The new room you gave us was quite comfortable, thank you. Sure, I'm just glad you're all okay. If word was that some tourist got smashed up in one of my rooms, my business would be done for. That would be unfortunate. So what quaint examples of local flavor may I recommend that you visit today? We would like to see the market. Yeah, the market's nice. They got fruit and pottery and fish and all the stuff tourists like. Like fish pottery. Just west of Grand Bridge. I'm sure you knew that from reading your travel guidebook. Cross the rope bridge and you're there. Thank you for your help, Joseph. Emmy, Luke, shall we? The screens are backwards. Shit. Thank you. I swapped them for the puppet show and forgot to swap them back. Thank you. Shit. Ever since we got a new police chief, our investigations are much easier. We have nothing to do. Spectre's more like a natural disaster than a crime, though. No injuries to report thus far, just a lot of damage. Speaking of damage, do you know the puzzle of the cracked clock? Huh? 
While taking a clock down from the wall, you drop it on the floor, cracking its face in half. Curiously enough, you find that the sum of the numbers on each side is equal. Draw the line that shows exactly where the clock face is split in half. Um. Um. Puzzle jump scare. Uh, much leaner version of storybooks. Yeah, but. Uh, what? Well, well. The sum of the numbers on each side is equal. Shit. I mean, it's pro. It's probably like you know, like like here. Or or, may, or may, maybe like here. Shit. What if it's like here? Man, I don't want to do math. Uh, okay, that's 7, 8, 9, 10, uh, 22, 33. On that side? That was quick eyeball math. Let me do that again. 30, Okay, that's 33 on that side. That side is, uh, 18. 26. That is way too much. Alright, cool. How about this? It's just try that and then math it. And then try that and then math it. The puzzle sucks. Um, that's uh 21, 33, 4, 35, 36, 7, 38, 39. Yeah. Night. Hey, have a good night. Uh I'm just gonna see her doing math for the next hour. 24, 35, 39, done. A challenging puzzle to be Total sure. Total all numbers is 78. Oh, that's a smarter way of doing it. A gentleman leaves no puzzle undone. The, the, look, the answer is the answer. Oh. I got it turned up. Turned up. The other day, some of the boys were trading puzzles when the chief showed up. My third eye can see through any of your puzzles, he says. Quit loafing around. We all went straight back to work after that. It's no wonder he got promoted to chief so quickly. He has a way with words. Yeah. Hey. Let's go to the market. Hmm. What kind of terrible power? Indeed. Hey, bud. You glad you evacuated? My store! It's flat like a retail pancake. Good thing I wasn't inside, then I'd be a human pancake. Knock on wood, plenty of that here now. Oh shit. Oh shit, all the pointing. It certainly is fortunate that you evacuated the premises. Of course it was, that's why I was smart enough to do it. Oh you, son of a bitch. You're welcome, by the way. You wanna trade a matchstick puzzle for a sliding block puzzle? Oh shit, it's the chief. I heard the giant came out last night, sure wish I could have seen him. Right. Hmm. What is it, Professor? I suddenly had the feeling that someone was following us. Perhaps I just imagined it. Perhaps. But only per I'm not talking to you again. You're the worst. Goodbye. Yesterday was chaos. The ground shook. The music was nice, though. Thanks to the Oracle's prophecy, we were all safe. Yes, that is fortunate. I heard that the Oracle knows the mayor. Keep that to yourself. Maybe the mayor's the one behind the specter. It's a conspiracy in Miss Hollery. That's ridiculous. Oh, just joking there, son. I don't really think that. But I do like spreading rumors. Dangerous, silly rumors. Oh, what is he doing? Hey there, Luke. You staying cool? Hello, Finch. You two know each other? We used to play together. Yeah, but Luke stopped coming around. You too cool for school now, Luke? I'm glad to see you outside enjoying nature again, at least. Luke is going to the market with us. Better watch your tail feathers. That's where all the workers' kids hang out. They're no joke. Man is shaped like a parsnip. Workers' kids. The factory on the east side of town closed down. Check it out if you want. That place is a hoot. Ever since the workers lost their jobs, all the kids just hang out the market. Better keep Luke there under your wing if you want to stay coop. I can take care of myself. Luke, you're a pampered little chick who lives in a mansion whose dad is the mayor. That kind of life is what most kids chirp about in their dreams. Well, well they shouldn't. You'll be alright as long as you all frock together, coop. Oh yes, very coop. 
that sweet, sweet music. Hey, Luke, why don't you take a crack at this puzzle I made up? See if you can crack this one. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. How old? Uh, 29. Let's say 29. A friend wrote you the following letter. Our baby girl, Nat, was born last year in March. If you multiply her age by those of her older sister, Cat, and brother, Pat, the product is 36. If you add all their ages together, you'll get a sum of 13. Everyone is healthy and happy right back soon. Uh huh. Letters written April 25th with the ages of Nat, Cat, and Pat. Wait, so. Yeah, all right. Yeah, all right. Yeah, all right. Um. Uh, oldest is Cat and brother Pat. Wait, which one's the oldest? It's nine and three and one, but which one is her age of her older sister and brother? So which one's nine? What? If you multiply her age by those of her older sister and brother, product is 36. Yeah, no, no, I got it. The baby is one. One of the siblings is three and one of the siblings is nine. Wait. No, I'm dumb. Wait, hold on. <laughs> Shit. Head in hands. There is an emote for that. There you go. No, I got there in the end. I'm still... My question still stands, though. Which is which... Are they the same age? Are they this? Are they the same age? Yeah, they're the same age. Can be. Mm-hmm. Because if they're both six. so hard <laughs> it only works at the same age they're twins good wow you know dodo luke yeah, i'm still a bit of a dodo by the way i heard your mom went migrating for the season you're not sulking around are you bro no of course not who 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 it's all right to miss her luke it's cool fuck off finch hey no you know, four, which is basically three. The Spectre had a late checkout at the hotel, eh? Did they charge him extra for that? I heard people were inside when the Spectre smashed up the hotel, but no one was hurt. Our Spectre has terrible aim. I heard you're looking for the black market, eh? Good luck with that. That's Black Raven turf. Black Raven? Hey, you make a good parrot. Black Raven, Black Raven, give me a cracker. <laughs> you're all right, kid. You're all right. The market's just across the rope bridge. I can't wait to see what kinds of things people are selling. Maybe a melon. That puzzle wasn't so hard, especially if you use your brain. <laughs> huh? You got y'all got a brain? Lithograph. Look at this lithograph. Every time, come on, come on, come on, go to the marketplace. I expect everyone in town shops here. Beautiful. My star is nestled cozily in these hills. Can you see far away as well as you can close up? There's no toy shop. Oh. The sweet smell attracts people from all around. How quaint. With such a gaudy design, customers surely can't miss it. Harumph. Sheesh. Ma'am. They call me No Brain Bronson because I don't have a whatchamacallit. I would like to buy some of this delicious looking candy, please. You kidding me? Get out of here! 
I make my candy by hand. She is a lot. I make it for children, not for adults who can't control their urges. So you won't sell any to me. Oh, you're a quick one. How about you, little boy? You like candy? I am not a little boy, and thank you, but no. You could teach your adult friend there a thing or two about self-restraint. Move along now. Her head looks like a Luma. Sorry, Emmy, I should have just bought some and given it to you. Well, it's a bit late for that, Luke. Are you okay? You seem upset. I'm fine, really. Thank you. Give us some fucking candy. There's a difference between being a connoisseur of candy and really appreciating its true flavor. Adults yak too much and try to evaluate the candy. Children, they just know how to enjoy it. Maybe candy's not that good then. Boom! See you later. The black market must be hidden. This all looks pretty normal here. Let's ask around a bit. Great idea, Layton. Splendid idea. Delicious homegrown vegetables fresh from the garden. Simmer these a while and I bet you'd end up with a smashing soup. Vegetables really do come in all shapes, sizes, and colors. That they do, Luke. That they do. Hi. Looking for something? Maybe something very specific and rare? Mm, try Maryland stand. She got the best assortment of fruits and fresh vegetables, if you know what I mean. They sell sorts of things here. Like that. It's rather fetching, I must say. I like the blue one. This candy corn tastes like wax, because it is. Hello there, today we have specials on many kinds of fruit. Everything looks so fresh, I bet they all taste great. These plums are ripe and sweet. Here, try a sample. It's heavenly. By the way, do you know anything about the black market? Layton, some tact. Is that where you're headed? I hear rumors, but only people who go are rich tourists. We're looking for something in particular. Would you, uh, perhaps you could tell us what you know. I suppose it won't hurt anything, but first solve this puzzle. Okay. We're not even that far in the game, and they've already given up on like, oh, but you gotta help me with this. There's what, I, it's not a puzzle, I'm, I'm trying to solve this thing. Four friends met in town, each with a kind of fruit to share. The first friend brought a bunch of bananas, second one brought a cluster of grapes. They set the fruit down at their feet, as the third and fourth friends arrived, bringing with them a grapefruit and a melon. They also laid their fruit at their feet, but then had to run off as fast as possible. Where did the group meet? Circle your answer on the map. What? Huh? Is he trying to find the weed? Mmm, food. <laughs> Hello, officer, can you direct me to the illegal marketplace? Yeah. Um. Four friends met in town. First friend brought some bananas. Second brought grapes. They set the fruit down at the feet as three and four arrives, bringing grapefruit and melon. They laid their fruit at their feet and had to run off as fast as possible. Where did they meet? Uh. Uh. See, because it's a clock tower and the clock chimed? Is it B because they went down the hill? It's B because the, the round this fruit took rolled some down the hill. Thinking. Yeah. Yeah. I love the thrill of a good solution. I thought you said the three of a good solution and almost had a panic attack. Correct! The four friends met at point B. The melon and grapefruit around and they began rolling down the hill. You, you, you ever just you ever just watch your friends chase their fruit down the hill and think of the letter B? You, you ever you ever you ever just B. Yeah always. I mean that's like the go-to. Every day, fruit friends. I got the puppet action licked. Nicely done, sir. Now let me tell you what I know. They say the boss of the black market is a very strange and very scary guy. No one's seen his face. There's some rare antiques and works of art there, but you don't want to get too involved in it. Doesn't sound like a very savory place to be. How exciting. And just who is this strange man who runs the black market that you said that no one's ever seen? We'll see when we find it. Let's ask around a bit more. Good day. The layout of this town on the top screen that's bottom for you guys is, um, like, a spiral. It's kind of madness. Good. Wow. Professor, the apples over there look delicious. Apples? Seem as if they're about to fall out of their cart. Professor, would you like- He's called them Profe Professor? 
Would you like to try a puzzle that I made up about apples? It would be my privilege, Luke. Apple picking. I have 12 apple. Time to pick some apples. You have three baskets of varying sizes. There are five apples on the tree. Pick all the apples, making sure that the large basket contains more apples than medium, which in turn must contain more apples than small. They must contain at least one apple. What? Huh? What? Huh? What? Huh? What? What? Huh? What is the what? Pick all the apples, make sure. I, I don't understand this puzzle. Is 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 it? Oh, it's. I figured it out unintent. Okay. Boo, boo! I say. Boo to you. A challenging puzzle, to be sure. A That's not how that works. No puzzle undone. That's not how that works. Put two apples each in the large and medium, then put one apple in the small, and then put the small in the large basket. That does it. It was three. That was a very bad puzzle, Luke. You should be ashamed. Was that puzzle too easy? No, it was too bullshit. In fact, if it had it been any more difficult, I may have turned appleplatic. <laughs> oh, I don't know what that means, Professor. The shops seem to vie for space as the streets get narrower. No two markets are the same, that's what makes them special. I like big city department stores better than markets. Oh, Luke. I love the smell of fresh bread. What, can we get a bite to eat? Those croissants look scrumptious. It'd be quite, be quite content with a nice artisan, Luke. Indeed. It's a programming interview question. Mm -hmm. Tweeds. Aunt Taffy's Candy Cart is the best place in the entire world. That candy completely owns me. When I think about how I can't eat her candy when I grow up, it makes my heart hurt. It's rough being a kid out here. Imagine the animation plays leans like, that was bullshit. Be better, Luke. Why look at all the odd things they have bottled. This one has plant roots in it. They're selling herbal remedies. I hear they can be quite effective. If we won't go any further, I think we'll leave the market altogether. The streets past here are too crowded. These alleys have a great deal of character to them. I don't think they have the kind of hat I want. I'll wear a helmet, but hats certainly aren't my thing. I need no hat, but the one I wear right now. Ain't that the truth? Yeah. Uh, hey. Oh, this is just the worst. The worst, I say. What a pain. What's wrong? Oh, nothing. Well, if you truly want to know, my father left some time ago and never returned. Now I win the bread so mother does not suffer. It kind of has me down. Wow, I bet your father would be very proud of your dedication to your family. Lady, what do you know? He hasn't been around in over a year. He doesn't think about us. Well, I'm sure he has his reasons. Maybe he just got lost at the black market. If he were at the black market, could you find him? He's at the black market? Oh, let me run right there. Ha, I kid. A pathetic attempt at getting information out of me. Thanks for pretending to care, though. Nobody knows anything about the black market, Professor. I don't think it's here. Gotta get some milk. Read the room, Emmy. <laughs> Emmy, we may need to refine your people skills. I think the entrance to the black market may be hidden. How are we gonna find it? Well, someone must know. Yes, it must be. It might be prudent to ask around a bit more. Hey, we'll ask you again. All these people, this work, this life. What a pain, what a pain. Good luck. The road goes in both directions. Let's explore down there as well. Uh, that way. Rat, rat, rat! I saw the cat and ran away. I wonder what manner of shop this might be. I believe it's a cake shop. My mother buys her cakes here. Oh no. A hidden puzzle. No, these are never good. Marble thirds! The diameter of the circle below is divided into three equal lengths, and those lengths are used to make the marble-like design that splits the circle into three different colored sections. In areas of section, the areas of sections one and three are equal, but what about the area of section two? Is it less than, greater than, or equal to the area of one? 
Um. 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 Uh. Yin yang yang. Bing bang bing. I don't know. Is there a way to be smart about this? It seems like the answer is more. I, cause, cause, here's my, my thought process. Each half has this little, this little half circle. And then, and then the big bit. Which is pretty big. Whereas two just has two medium bits. I drew a sock. Um, and then in my brain's like, two medium bits is probably bigger than a, me a big and a small, right? There's way, there's a way to use math, but it's not easy math. Then I doubt that's what they're making you use here. I think it's three. Well, three would be equal. Hmm. God damn that emote. The friends we made along the way. Uh, um, I'm gonna say two's bigger than one. Which is buh. Some puzzles must be met directly. What could have gone wrong here? That screen is a nightmare. There's a simple way to solve it. Alright. Yeah, cool. Well, let's go with chat's answer three. A challenging puzzle. Yeah, I am to be just sure. guessing at this point. It's always fucking three. No puzzle is without an answer. So I need to listen to chat. Precisely. The areas of one and two are the same. The best way to think about it is to use the three sizes of semicircles as shown above. If the ratio of the diameters is three to one, the ratio of the areas is nine four one. Using the ratios as a guide, we can compare the areas of one, two, and three and conclude they are in fact equal. Huh? So you take the entirety of the semicircle, not just the little sliver. How would you know that that's 941, though? It would just look like it's smaller. Is the idea that it's like... The next step down is, is a, a step below half? The explanation's so bad, it's so good it's bad? It's so bad it's bad. This, you're, this is just eyeball math. Why are they using numbers? It was three. That's how areas of circles works. Because the diameters. Right, because they're starting with the diameters. The drawing is making it worse for me. The diameters is three, two, one. That does make sense because they're perfect thirds. So you use that. Okay. The diameters being one, two, three, then gives you the areas of nine, four, one. Okay. As the ratios. Okay. Fine, I get- I still hate this. Alright, goodbye. You factor out pi, right. It's the ratio, not the exact area. It's basically the same. That takes care of that. Good. Suck it, you ate all that candy, mom's gonna be mad at you. I only took one little bite, several times. And I'll give you the last piece if you promise not to tell on me. You can't buy my silence with something so- Nom nom chomp. That candy's really good. Excuse me. Suck it made me eat it. Oh, I thought you were our mom. A mum. Do me a favor. Don't tell anyone you saw us eating any candy, okay? Our mom can be pretty scary. She shouts and shakes her hands and makes her forehead all wrinkly. Ah, you crazy kids. You, you damn kids. Someone has hung their laundry above the alleyway. I'm getting dripped on. It takes ages to get clothes to dry in this town. On account of the mist. Oh, no, God. I thought those were his eyes. Good. Oh, fuck. I'm back. Okay, go this way. Pardon me, young man, but do you... I don't know nothing. The old lady that sells candy knows about everything. Everything. I see. Thank you. Fucking candy lady. Runs the black market. Not many people pass through that way. A distinct lack of shops here. It's a bit chilly in the shade. The roofs made this part make this part of town seem awfully dreary. Sunlight hardly ever reaches this place. If there's a sudden downpour, I suggest we seek refuge here. I got a hint. Point. There it is in my pocket. See anything salvageable? Well, too bad. I've already laid claim to this gold mine here. Gold mine? This mountain of junk? 
Junk, eh? Aren't you the mayor's kid? Yeah, I bet a rich kid like you knows a lot about hard work, eh? Go tell your butler that you saw people working for a living today. I'm sorry, I wasn't trying to. What you see as a mountain of junk is how we make a living. I'm sorry, I called it a mountain of junk. That was terribly rude. I feel awful, I'm sorry. No, I was just kidding. Lighten up, rich boy. What can I do for you? Well, I'm looking for... Do you know where the black market is? The black market? Does that place really exist? <laughs> I hear rare pieces of art turn up there, but I just collect junk, right? So I don't know much about it. Okay. So, he just collects the junk. It's not even his business. He just collects it. Good. He reminds me of Nico from Wind Waker. The rat. No. Good. You still hanging around? No candy for you, and that's my final offer. You just have a question about the black market. Oh, you got some business there, do you? I'll tell you what I know. But only if you can solve this puzzle. Be my honor. Candy counter. You ordered candies in the shape of hearts, clubs, diamonds, and spades. But when the candies arrived, you noticed you received the wrong amounts. The seller claims she sent the correct number of each type, and looking again, you realize she's actually right. How many of each candy did you originally order? Huh? So if you count them, it's wrong, but if you count them special, then it's correct? Is- is it- Is it- is it because these are halves of a diamond and it makes another full diamond if you smush them together? I don't know what the- I don't think these are anything, though. That's gotta be it, right? Is there more to it than that? Oh, and the spades are actually hearts? Leftover is a heart. So did they not order any spades at all? What is the... Yeah, how many of each? So... Are there any spades? I guess... I guess this one is a spade? Because you're not supposed to break that up. So what's... what's the order for them? Diamonds, clubs, hearts, spades. So diamonds is, uh... Diamonds, hearts, clubs, spades. Um... So we got uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Hearts is one, two, th three, four. Another four. If I'm counting correctly, which is a big if. One, two, three, clubs. And spades is one, two, two. Two? Two? Use colors? Maybe that's a good idea. I'll just... that's fine. Uh... Dim diamonds are... for yellow. So there's that... Two... Three... Four. Hearts are red. And so that gives us this one, this one, and these two. Clubs are green. We got this guy, and this guy, and this guy is three. And then blue spades is those two. I think it's 4432. That's my pin. Same. Four, four, three, dos. This took some Tell creative me I'm thinking. A little more thought is in order. They were jostled around. Maybe it's cost something to break. Yeah, it's my stream key. I changed it. Okay, so what's wrong? Um... Maybe it's all threes? Three, 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 three. If they count the spade as being the broken one, then that's dumb. And bad. And I don't like it. Is there some other gimme? Hmm. I don't see shit. Just put the wrong numbers in the wrong box? Diamond Heart Club Spade. Diamond Club Heart Spade. Four, three, four, two. Yeah, 
that's a pretty, challenging pretty puzzle, smart to here. Be sure. That was a good puzzle. <laughs> Helps I if you answer the, of a good answer the questions. The answer is probably proper, properly. Okay. Not even, I mean, it's five hours in the stream, but my brain's been broken since minute two. Our diamond broke. One diamond broke in half and stuck to two hearts. For me, it looked like two extra spades. Yeah, it's good. Good night, Delta. I got simmered. Good show. I'm so impressed. Oh, so the black market, eh? She's more jowl than human. One of the boys who buys candy from me was talking about it. He said that a dark bird runs it. A dark bird runs the black market. Does this boy buy candy from you often? Oh, sure. Tweeds is always around the marketplace. Sweet boy. He always wears a red shirt. You might want to talk to him. Thank you very much. Fucking Tweeds. I knew it. Oh, where everyone's gone. Oh, God. That's not suspicious. Shit. <laughs> Look out! Who's that? Her Stop first there. instinct is to oh, kick no, it. Emmy, no! Luke, wait! <laughs> <laughs> He's having fun. <laughs> Huh? There! That way! What is this madness? <sighs> hmm. This is ridiculous. Hmm. Wait, over there! No, there! What's going on? I am the Black Raven. Welcome to my market. Uh huh. You come here asking all sorts of questions. Now, why is that? We are interested in a particular item. Really? You? <laughs> yes, everyone is searching for something. Very well then. Thank you, Nachum. It's Organization 13. But with a plague doctor mask or bird mask? Hmm. But first, you must prove that you have what it takes to barter. You can take the boy. I'll give you one hint. You'll have to figure out the rest on your own. <laughs> Why is there on this game Cockney? Because that's the only British accent. Who on earth was that? I've heard rumors that the Black Raven is the head of a group that runs the black market. Black Raven, black market, I can see that, so he's in charge. It looks that way. And what is this piece of paper he left us? Put my body together. Uh, Mr. Layton, what is that supposed to mean? His garb was rather ratty. Maybe he needs a new outfit. I do believe this is some sort of hint he's given us. But what could it possibly mean? That is what we will investigate. Let's ask around a bit more. The Black Raven. An enigmatic man calling himself the Black Raven rules the black market from the shadows. What could be his true identity? He appears to be faster than humanly possible. The marketplace is filled with boys and girls, but not one adult in sight. I wonder why. Taffy said that one of these children may know the exact whereabouts of the black market. Hmm. Yeah, he's got, he's got a Heelys on. You there! Tweeds, I presume. Yeah, had you know. Aunt Toffee said you might be able to help us. It's been pretty funny watching you and your friends run around. If you help Tweeds, maybe Tweeds will help you. Who knows? It's a help Tweeds find out kind of life. How many ones? If I'm thinking of a number of ones, how many ones? One day, a little boy was very curious about numbers, thought to himself, if I were to write all the numbers from 1 to 120, how many times would I write the number one? The numeral one. Can you work out the answer? 
And that boy met with a terrible accident. Um, yeah, it's Jeff. Jeez, like two or at least two. Uh, so there would be there would be the number one, and then and then and then there'd be and then there'd be um ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, you get it, and, and then the 19, and then 21, 31, 41, 51, 61, 71, 81, 91, 100, 101, and then 102, all the way down, 110, 111, 112. I, I I always hate doing this by hand, but if this is literally what the puzzle is, then I guess so be it. Um, let me think about numbers I don't want to. I'm gonna need a bigger memo. So that gives us one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12 in that top batch Right, maybe I should have written them out 15 or instead of that just 15 6 7 8 9 uh, so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 so that's 12 eh. and then 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 Gets us up to a hundo. Uh, there's a pattern? Yeah, probably. You need a formula equation. No, I can just count it. <laughs> so I don't have to use my brain that much. A hundred is one, two, three. And then four. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Eh. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Right? One, two, three. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 more. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So that's, uh, 20, 31, 43? Hmm? Can you fairly assume numbers were in binary? <laughs> Count to... Count to 120 in binary. How many ones? Uh, a lot. Why look for a solution when you can brute force? Check out this pup date. Would you look at that gentleman? Would you just take a look at that gentleman real quick for me? Courtesy of Vaf. There's a second photo. It's a zoom in. That is a powerful dog. Thank you, Ben. This is a good stance. He's standing like exactly like that. And a second link. 53? How am I so far off? What did I fuck up? Look at this dog. It's good. But I wrote adds up to 53. Did I miss a the fucking tenth digit? That's, that's a good pup. Probably forgot to carry it. Yep. That's what I get for doing it. Loose and sloppy in my old brain. Yeah, 53. I see it now. Oh shit, there's a video. Dun dun! He's looking out of his window! Thank you, Bath. He just bungled the math. 53. Let's give that a go. Please be right. Some puzzles must be met directly. A gentleman leaves no puzzle. Now undone. we find out if they're like, here's a clever way to figure it out, or if they're like, yeah, you count it. You have to remember to count it twice in 11, three times in 111. Nope, just count it. <laughs> Whenever I end up doing like a brute force solution lane, I'm like, there has to be a better way. And they're like, yeah, no, count it. That's not a puzzle, then. You're making me count. Like, yeah, but you gotta remember about 11. I'm like, okay. You hate sign puzzle because they make you do math? This is valid, me being a math lover, just pointing it out. 
What do you mean by sign puzzle? Like a sine wave? Pierce 21 times in the hundreds, place 20 in the tens, and 12 in the ones. They meant some. Oh. It, well, the, to be fair, I don't hate the math puzzles. I hate streaming the math puzzles. Because if I'm not streaming, I can just sit there and count on my fingers and not feel extremely dumb, just mostly dumb. Uh, but then when I'm streaming and it's like, what's nine times two? And I'm like... Um... I mean, part of the problem, too, is like when I was a kid, you know, I had to do a lot of math for school and whatnot. And since the, uh, since I first received a f cell phone, not even a smartphone, I've had a calculator in my pocket. So the part of my brain that does quick mental math, even addition, is just so rusty. And, uh, it is embarrassing, but also I refuse to change. And, uh, so I use my phone for everything. I even open up the calculator in Windows all the time to be like, what's this times this? I'm too lazy to do it in my brain. So, anyway. It's not an excuse, but it's an excuse. Can you tell us where the black market's located? Well, if you put the raven's body together, he can show you the way to the black market. Why are you talking differently? Put the raven's body together, what does that mean? I can't tell you anymore, but this metal will help you. Oh. Never learned mental math even when they were teaching me. I don't think I was ever explicitly told, taught mental math. Because when I learned math in schools before they changed math, um, but it was like, you know, for a lot of tests and stuff, you're just doing a lot of math all the time, so it's just easier to do stuff in your brain. Good luck. Hold up your hand with thumb and forefinger extended, mix an L, it's your left hand, that's how you remember math. <laughs> you had me in the first half. I was like, how does this help with math? You just fucking got me. Let's see. This design looks like the wing of a bird. I see. Perhaps there are other metals also with parts of a raven on them. That must be it. Put my body together, that note said. Let's see if we can find any other metals. A class that taught me to teach math. Oh shit. Full circle. Y'all got any medals? Were you looking for me earlier? Sorry, I was busy elsewhere. Uh-huh. Not at all suspicious that everyone was gone right around the time that the Black Raven showed up. Perhaps you could help us. Firefighter that does a math problem and does a myriad of other tasks in the span of a teacher showing the new way to do math? Yeah. I mean, listen, I'm not, I don't know enough about new math to argue for or against it. All I know is it seems, at first blush, far more complicated than what I learned. So if there are benefits, they're not immediately apparent. That's all I can say about it. I'm not gonna say it's better or it's worse. It's all numbers, right? Why's it gotta change? Math is math. The fuck's a logarithm, right? Shit. Sh always with the Da Vinci Code nonsense. So you're searching for something, eh? We are looking for Raven medals. Have you seen any? Oh sure, ain't nothing for free in the market. Mm. Once you get new math down, it's supposed to be faster. So teaching new math is slower, but then once you're doing that to solve a problem, it's quicker. M more about teaching a method of thinking than memorizing the answers. I mean, we never memorized the answers either. It was, here's how you do the math to figure it out. Here's how long the vision works. So again, I don't know enough about it. I was never taught new math. So I've only seen like teachers doing it. And then I'm like, uh, what am, huh? Wait, 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 why are you? Why are you breaking the number up and then doing that like that? It's like, I don't know. There was one thing I saw though where they're like, oh, here's like a three digit number. So we're breaking that up instead of like 256, it's like 250 and six. And then working with the math like that. I'm like, yeah, that is how you, you do that if you're trying to mentally like multiply longer numbers or something. But that was like the tip of the iceberg that I saw. I was, oh, I definitely, yeah, yeah, I had to memorize, like, multiplication tables and shit, but I want to learn new math on stream. Yeah, I'll learn new math and I'll teach y'all. I'm in Calc 4, I can still do math. I still can do math. Well, that's good. Never got teachers that are good at teaching it. Right, that seems probably also compounding an issue. Several lines of equations. This clever toy is actually a double-sided maze. Every time the ball drops through a hole, the board will flip over. You think you make it to the goal. 
Uh, yeah, let's just get that in there. And then, you know, get that in there. And then get that in there. And then get that in the, the, uh, 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 the, there. Okay, okay, but go back. We can get into there. And I need you to get into there. Uh, by there, I meant there. Not there, there. And then from there, into there, to there, to, to, to there, into there, right to, not, not, th not there, there, there. Well, well, let me, let me try using my brain real quick. So that goes to there, and that goes to there, and then that goes to there, and that goes to there. So I need to get to the top right corner. Oh, fuck. Wait, which one was that? It's the middle of those three. Which means I need to get to that top half. Somewhere. Uh, haven't I been up there? I guess not. Um... Uh, yes. Wait, no, 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 the middle one. The middle one. That's your first mistake. Now we're good. Now we get to the end. Boop, 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 boop. Boo -doo -doo -doo. Boo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah. This took some creative it's easy thinking. If you work backwards. I love the thrill of a good solution. Mm, the thrill of a puzzle. Amazing. How many times have they said that? It seems that we may be a step closer to finding the black market. Wow, nice work. All right, you seem like good upstanding folks, I'll tell you. The black market's hidden in Market North. There are a lot of strange antiques there that get auctioned off regularly, but to get in, you gotta be approved. And how does one gain approval? You gotta wear cool clothes and say the right things. <laughs> nah, the boss needs to approve you. It helps if you bring something of value to the place, you know? I got a Raven Medal! Look at that fucking sprite. We're seeing a dumb video. Proving old math was better because a high schooler did a multiplication problem faster than an elementary school teacher could teach the new math. Right. Yeah. Well, and that's also, like, the, the video of the, the fireman or whoever doing an old problem. It's like, you're not comparing two people solving it. You're comparing doing to teaching. And teaching will always take longer than doing. So... You gotta get a blue check mark. <laughs> Something like these medals. Sounds like you're getting it now. Good luck. Now we have two medals. We need two more. Good. Latent speedrunners are built different. Damn straight. Might I ask the two of you a couple of questions? With that hat, you can ask me a dozen, mister. You need a guide through the market or something? We're looking for a medal with a raven on it. Have you seen anything like that? Raven medal? Nah, we don't know nothing about that. That's right, we don't know nothing about that. Wait a second, that's a double negative, right? Hey, let me have my fun with the outsiders. You shut your trap. All oh, right, sorry. Yeah, I don't know nothing. Double negative, single positive. It is very important that we locate this metal. If you know something, it could help us immensely. Uh, sis, let's just tell him. Tell him what? That we don't know nothing about a metal with a raven's tail on it? Actually, I never mentioned that the metal had a specific part of a raven on it. The oldest trick in the book! Let me talk till I spill the beans. All right, I'll talk. You gotta tell him about that umbrella, Ren. I don't remember nothing about any sweet umbrella. I understand, thank you. I gotta find the umbrella, these goddamn kids. You're gonna make me lose my mind. Was there an umbrella in the screen with them? That I glossed over? In a way that I tend to do so? Uh, that looks like an umbrella. Is that not? Cool. Y'all got an umbrella? The most advanced formula were invented centuries ago. Yeah, don't worry about it. I don't see no umbrella nowhere. Maybe, maybe, maybe the, the candy cart's got an umbrella? Yeah. I believe we found the sweet umbrella we were looking for. This medal has a raven's tail on it. That's three medals, one to go. Yo, Todd. We getting wide. Chat gets to be real wide. All the emotes 
All the long usernames not getting cut off. If you find what you're looking for, be sure to bring lots of cash. Oh. You want something? Could you tell us anything about the black market? Maybe, but if you can't solve this puzzle, maybe not. Mm -hmm. I have seven coins. Seven gold coins make up a circle, moving only one coin. Arrange them so there are an equal number of heads-up coins as there are tails-up coins. Use the stylus to move just one coin, tap a coin to flip it over. Think you make heads or tails of the situation. Only moving one coin? Um... I don't think if I... Uh, um... I solved your puzzle. <laughs> Some puzzles must be met directly. Okay. <laughs> no I did it. Without an answer. All right. Cutching. If you flip a coin over to show its tail sign, place it over a coin showing heads. The number of heads are equal. Yeah, okay. All right. Good, I did it. Stupid puzzle. Respect points to you. So here's what I know. The door will open when you put the pieces together. I'm sorry, but what did you mean by that? I can't do everything for you, pal. Then I will consider your words to be a clue and keep looking. Also, there might be a raven meadow where ravens hang out. Maybe. Look for the chimney quartet. Thank you, we'll do that. Ch chimney quartet? Huh? Ravens? Chimneys? When, when you chim- Oh. 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 This must be the chimney quartet we were seeking. Four chimneys, of course. And this medal has a raven's wing on it. That's all of the medals. Let's head for the north side of the market. And their leader was Dick Van Dyke. Uh, if we go any further with it, you? Oh, you. What a pain, what a pain. Why me, eh? Why? Hello again, my friend. I'm sorry for the trouble. We are looking for the black market. I told you before, I know nothing about this market. Are you sure? Perhaps you're familiar with these medals? Only thing I'm familiar with is how much of a pain you and your- Oh. Where'd you get those? You have the medals. You're the one I've been waiting for. What took you so long? I've been waiting here forever. Now you gotta solve this puzzle. Is this related to the black market? Not at all. Raven medals. If you wanna know what's going on in the black market, you need to form these medals into a raven. Using the engravings on the frame as a guide. Slide the metals into their correct slots. Oh, that reminds me, put the stone numbers in their correct spots, too. Ah, shit. Uh, uh, oh. Just, just post the emote chat. Just put me out of my misery. Oh. 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 Um, I need a- I need a wingling. I need- I need some kind of a wingling. Oh, jeez. That'll- that'll do. Um. There? And then, um. Uh. There? Yeah. Good. Okay. All right. Oh my god. Only 40 steps. A challenging puzzle to be sure. Well, now I'm not doing it. <laughs> a gentleman Where'd your width no go? You've shrunk undone. into sadness. What do you mean? We're still wide. We're as wide as you want to be. Incredible. Minimum numbers is uh, that's a that's a typo. It's supposed to say 40. Hey, let's see what's going on in the black market. Yeah. Are you wind up again. Nice and wide. What? Todd, I don't understand. I've been solving puzzles for a couple hours. My brain is mashed potatoes with a side of gravy. Was that additional puppet actions? Sure was. We're getting a bunch of them. Got the medals. Got your invite to the black market. Look how friendly he is. Go ahead and take that hole right there. Go down it. I mean, don't actually try and take it. Hole slide. Good night, Smexy dear. Thanks for hanging out. And I think you're one of the people that recommended I stream this, so thank you. 
we go. Thank you, chat. Professor, are you sure this is the right way? There is light ahead. Let's just keep going a bit more. Put it in my pocket. This is a fun song. It won't go out and leave us in the dark, will it? Hope not. The map here is very cute, too. Even, even since I was a young child, I always loved this kind of illustration of, like, a cutout. And there's, like, holes underground or something. I think I had a... Like a book or a puzzle or something that were like little trolls, and they had a little troll mushroom village and like little cutout rooms and stuff. Uh, it's always been super charming. It was very kind of them to, to provide a light source for us. When you see a lamp, do you always tap it, Professor? Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I'm paid for tapping lamps. Yeah, thanks, Nectary. Exactly. <laughs> Uh, they had so many books of cutaways. Yeah, good good cutaway books. It's paved quite nicely, makes life a bit easier. If the market is old, then this passage must be truly ancient. Couldn't they made it a bit wider? This looks like a hidden puzzle. Shit. Fuck. Lily pad leapfrog. Oh, no. Oh, no. The green frog is trying to make his way to his purple girl frog. The only way to get to her is by leaping across the lily pads floating in the river. The frog, frog can go horizontally or vertically, but once he leaps, he cannot change directions, and he will leap the number of spaces that is on the lily pad he's jumping from. To impress his girl frog, he must also land on every lily pad before reaching her. What are you waiting for? Hop to it. Yep. Yep. Yeah, lily pad disappearance. on this frog leaves from the guy. Yep. Um... Fuck. I'm just gonna hop around for a while. We'll just... Um... I almost got it. That wasn't that bad. Uh... uh that, 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 that. Shit. Why is there no undo? God damn you. Maybe up, and then back. Oh, oh, it's okay. All right, I got it. I got it. I'm on to use. So we go up, and then up, and then back, and down, and over. Done. Okay. Hop this up, hop up to get thinking. Down. I love the thrill of a good solution. Dinner. A marvelous exrib... exribition. His girl frog must have been impressed with such grateful leaping. Look at this cute fucking frog couple. They got a, f a leaf umbrella and everything. There is more than one route to her. See if you can find them all. Oh, that is a different route than the one we took. I want a girl frog. <laughs> Looks like Hypnotone. Yeah, it does a bit. Him blush. She squished her cheek. Yeah. God, I wish that were me. I wish I had a girl frog. Jeremiah! It's splendid! Let's move along. I'm out of here. We love a fropel. Oh ho, ho! There are some real finds here. Let me have a little look. You mean to say those artifacts hold real archaeological value? Looks like a heap of junk, if you ask me. I like that the black market has literal stalls, like a normal market. It's just underground. Again, literally underground. There are bits of scrap paper stuck to this board. I can't make it out fully, it's too faded. If they don't need it anymore, why is it still here? It gets tiring looking at all these weird and wonderful objects. I do have a human love pig, that's true. Yeah, I'm honestly surprised that people actually buy these things. Tell me if you spot any statues or idols that strike you as unique. I got a clown mask. Hi. My wife and kids are at home, and here I am at the auction again. I work so hard, but I can't keep up with everything I want to buy. Maybe you should go home. I'm sure your family would like to see you. Yeah, if it were that easy, I don't think you... you don't, don't you think I would have left by now? What's so hard about saving time and money and going home to your family? I mean, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink. Let's leave him be for now. <laughs> huh? What happened? Who turned out the lights? Wait, I see something. There! 
Ah. God damn. That's terrifying. The Black Raven. More like Black Craven. Coward, fight me. Hand me my sword, Luke. How many people do you suppose come to these auctions? Who knows what shady characters might turn up to buy antiques? I'm gonna sit down if nobody else will. Do they have more items backstage? I can picture it now, the professor's spectacular entrance. I wonder what's back there. Do they have open mic night after the auction? Standing here, I feel as if I'm back in a lecture hall. Hey folks, how's everyone doing out there tonight? Look <laughs> get down from there. Glad you could make it. Your puzzle solving skills are most impressive. The rumors about you might be true. Now then, what do you want? We are looking for an ancient flute. I understand that one was recently sold at auction here. Maybe it was. Maybe it wasn't. <laughs> Why would I tell you? Uh, everyone here speaks in riddles. Well, perhaps if you told us, then I wouldn't feel compelled to expose your true identity. Bum bum. What? Really, Mr. Layton? Repeat yourself. I dare you. If I impressed you before, why doubt me now? Especially since we spoke earlier to all of you. Yeah, he's actually a robot. He's actually, um, uh, better Luke's grandfather piloting a small robot. Preposterous! You know nothing about us! I, I, I mean, about me! Perhaps not. But are you willing to take that risk? I shall keep quiet if you help us. Hmm. How could you know? Uh, it's kind of obvious. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Professor, what's going on? Not now, I'm jamming. Hmm. It's my song. You know who the Black Raven is? Don't you? Was I the only one who saw the Black Raven's mistake? Well, of course not. I saw it too. I just want to be sure we're talking about the same mistake. Earlier, it appeared that the Black Raven was capable of teleporting from one place to another. Yes, I thought the same thing. So clearly, there was something odd going on there, correct? Solve the puzzle. How'd the Black Raven move through the market? A. He's a world-class sprinter. B. He has supernatural powers. C. I don't know, something. C. It was a trick! No one's that fast! I believe you are correct, Emmy. No one is fast enough to make it appear that they are teleporting. There must have been some trick. What do you think it was? A. He used springs on his feet. B. Mirrors. C. Many people were involved. There were multiple black ravens to begin with. Yes, very sharp. There were many people wearing the same costume. Lucky number three. When we assumed that he was one person, we overlooked the most likely possibility. That makes sense, Professor. But how can you be certain? I saw something inside the black raven's cape during our chase. But the next Black Raven didn't have the item I had just seen. What was it? Candy. <laughs> candy? But Aunt Taffy won't sell candy to adults. Wait, so that means... They are children. They bribed Aunt Taffy. They stole the candy. All of these are likely, but we know she cannot tell a lie, so they must be children. One of the Black Ravens was able to buy candy from Aunt Taffy. A brilliant deduction, Luke. I got plug in the DS. Shit. I dropped the stylus. Ah. Yeah. Ugh. Aunt Taffy only sells candy to children. That's a fucking law. She can't break it. She was cursed by a devil. So then, the people dressing up like the Black Raven... ...were children, precisely. They are the same children who guided us to the Black Market. They make up the Black Raven. Then this guy here is also... 
He is also one of them. Perhaps now we can drop the shroud. Chekhov's candy. Wow. I mean, wow! Wowee, mister! You, sir, are very, very good. I didn't. Sure are, TFK Wall. How you doing? Boom, ba -dum, boom, boom. I solved the mystery of the Black Raven. It was many children in a trench coat. We may conclude the Black Raven was a fictitious character from the very beginning. Does not explain how he was able to jump from the ground up to a rooftop. Um, Emmy was able to as well, but presumably that would be easier for an adult than uh, a child. But maybe he did have springs in his shoes. You know what? Don't know. It was springs. Emmy's a ninja. The, the Blevins? Hello there. My name is Crow. I'm the leader of the Black Ravens. That's confusing. I'd appreciate it if you kept that a secret from the customers. Of course. Also, they really hit you over the head with it that all the kids are gone right before you have the cutscene with the Black Raven. And then they're all back afterwards. Like, whoa, that was... They're all, like, sweaty and, like, putting away cloaks in the cupboards. Like, oh, man. Oh, I was here the whole time. What happened? Of course. Now, do you know anything about an ancient fruit? Hmm, I vaguely remember something like that. Let's talk about this backstage. Okay. Backstage we go. Like when you footstool. I can't seem to identify the subject of this sculpture. Those are funny clothes he's wearing. Doesn't look terribly well made. That safe looks really strong. Do you think we could crack it? The lock's broken. There's not a thing inside, though. So the broken safe is just another of the many items on sale. That gold sculpture piqued my curiosity. Even tucked away in the corner, it really stands out. I wonder if anyone will buy it. A ghost? I want to pull it off. Shall we pull it off? Don't pull it off. <laughs> I don't know why that always gets me. Whenever you have a sequence of... Can we do the thing? I want to do the thing! We're not doing the thing. Thanks for the hydrate, Lady Hellgates. I found bad art. Nice. We keep meticulous records here. A black market needs organization. Here. Sold one year ago almost to the day. Piece reminiscent of Spectre's Flute of Legend. Ah, some rich guy from High Art Hill named Bard took it home. He fancied himself some sort of land baron, lived up in Bard Manor and looked down on everyone. Let's go talk to Bard, Professor. Yeah, good luck with that. Bard died about a year ago. Right after he bought the flute. What happened to him? I don't know any details, sorry. I do know enough to recommend staying away from Bard Manor. Because of the Calamity Witch. Oh, so you're local, huh, kid? Guess Crow doesn't get out much. Bard's daughter, Ariana, is cursed. Anyone who speaks ill of her ends up regretting it. Yes. Is that so? No one in town is crazy enough to go near that place. Everyone knows that Ariana is a witch. I see. Well, it appears that we must find Bard Manor and speak with Ariana. Thank you, Crow. I sure hope you know what you're doing, Professor. Surprise Pikachu face. Luke also has a surprise Pikachu face. Only misfortune befalls those, those who speak ill of the girl who lives on High Yard Hill, whom the townsfolk call the Calamity Witch. A mere superstition or something more? Did they weigh her against a duck? If we take what Crow says to be true, a curse befalls those who say bad things about this girl. Black Raven Day. Soup. soup. Thanks for the soup. Bard's Manor is actually 10 fifth graders in a tent. How deep does it go? The gem of today's auction is an antique that made its way here through certain channels. It was commissioned by a war hero, so it has historical value as well. That's perfect for me. Most of the stuff looks like junk. Oh, far from it, just between us. These items can't be sold at a legit auction. Only a fool wouldn't buy. I actually don't know what any of this stuff is worth, but I estimate it was to be a small fortune. He doesn't know the value of the things he's trying to buy. Beauty is indeed in the eye of the beholder, Emmy. Well, it looks like this beholder needs to get his eyesight checked. A damn. A damn, Emmy. A damn. Up we go. As he's got a. St Listen. He heard 
keep a stiff upper lip and was like, I'm gonna take that personally. And started working on bottom lip exercises. You figured out why we test people so hard to get into the market? The harder it is to get something, the more people value it, see? If you tell someone to solve some riddles or collect some medals or search the entire market, they get all worked up and are more than happy to pay a nice price once they get to the auction. It's a pain for everyone involved. I mean, it's worth it for us, but it's still a pain. That is quite an advanced psychological stratagem for your customers. It sounds a bit like a scam. Let's get out of here. I don't want to talk to these goddamn kids. Leave me alone. You too, Granny. Roll the nat one in perception. I feel that. High Yard Hill is north of town on the other side of North Ellie. So that house at the top of the hill is Bard Manor? That's the one. Looks like quite a walk. Are you going to be okay, Luke? I'll be fine, thank you. Maybe we can get some information about the witch along the way. Yes, perhaps. Luke, something has been bothering me. Despite the specter, there isn't that much damage in town. That's all thanks to Grip! He's been using his money to help people rebuild their places. One man has been rebuilding everyone's homes? Not alone, but yes. Grip is very wealthy. He doesn't care for my father, but he loves Miss Hollery. Perhaps we should ask him a few questions. Where can we find Grippe? He really likes Patty's place in North Ellie. We could check there. It's on Pike Lane, remember? Before we head for High Yard Hill, let's swing by there. Indeed. Let's check it out. Wouldn't all upper lips be stiff since you technically are only ever moving your bottom jaw? Listen, I didn't come up with keep a stiff upper lip. You can talk to everyone in England about that one. Oh shit, what now? Why, why did I tap on him? We meet again, my friend. You as well, Aldous. Good to see you with friends. An investigator without friends shall discover only loneliness. My brazil. Brazil. You just tap it out of his hat. His hat here. Moonlight melancholy. Moonlight. All alone in the moonlight. A prince and prince. Thank you for the soup. A prince and princess from two countries have fallen deeply in love. But their two countries are at war. And so the young lovers cannot be together. Tonight, as they gaze at the moon, separated by more than just distance, each sheds a single tear. Bring them joy by forming a symbol with which to adorn the night sky. You may move and rotate their tears as inspiration. Uh-huh. 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 Ta -da. That's I made I made your symbol of joy. Please respond. Why is it not submit? Some puzzles must submit. be met directly. I no love Undertale. Without an answer. Uh, now their tears are gone. Perhaps they'll find happiness after all. Yeah, Toby Fox, circa 2011. <laughs> a heart in a box. That's it. Mm. A gentleman's solution, my puzzle is solved. I respectfully concede to your expert skills. Such a defeat will horror child over oh, the shame that burns long from within. There is no shame in a good puzzle, Aldous. Oh, yes, I know. I jested such times. Well done, good man. Thank you. That was a very enjoyable puzzle. A good puzzle is like a good mime. Most satisfying when it comes to a surprising yet predictable end. Yes, um, my thoughts as well. We must be off. Thank you again. Goodbye. Oh. Oh. Mr. Grappe, I assume, I presume? With a hat like that, I bet you do more than presume. I am Grappe. Oh, what does that mean to you? Well, ahem, would you mind if we asked you a few questions? Unless you're an officer of the law, I don't have time for... Say, is that Triton's boy? Uh, yes, sir. Good day, Mr. Grappi. The son of the man who robbed me of the mayor's office. Good day to you, little one. You must excuse me if I'm not especially in the mood to chat. Mr. Grepp, please. Uh, please what? I have nothing to say to you. Good day, sir. Well, then. We are done here. Perhaps we can catch him in a better mood at a later point. In the video game. 
Way to project your anger on a child, sir. Yeah, very mature. My favorite customers, please sit anywhere you like. Have you met Mr. Grippe? He's one of our regulars. He's a bit surly. Don't take anything he says too personally. Just personally enough. Because it is personal, you see. Up the big hill we go. Not cr talking to the creepy old man. Eh, you talk to her again. Bard's children are the only ones still living up at the manor. We used to look in on them, but it has been a while since anyone has seen them. And now we suddenly have the specter to deal with. I do hope those children are okay. We've had a run of misfortune here lately. Some say it's because of that Bard girl. I don't know. She's cursed. She's a witch. Love taking out your issues from someone who didn't do anything to you. And it's literally just a blood relation. Have I heard of the witch? Sure, being impeccably dressed helps keep me in on local rumors. The people live here sure love to talk about nonsense. So you don't really believe there's a witch? I have a tough time buying that a little girl is somehow responsible for massive destruction. The locals were pretty scared of the guy who lived up there. Now they seem scared of his kids. Who knows though? Maybe the specter's the father's spirit returning to protect his children. Yes, uh, perhaps. Per perhaps. Hired Hill is uh, just up ahead. The witch's home turf, eh? You really believe she's a witch? Well, I guess I don't know. What do you think? I know what I think. I want to see what you two think. Yeah. Oh. Save the progress. It's me, Professor Barry. I've solved your puzzles. The witch's castle! Swoosh. Oh. Oh. This is High Art Hill. Wow, all these houses are huge. Yes, this does seem to be quite a nice residential area. The police station's nearby, as is the excavation site where they're searching for the Golden Garden. It sure is nice to have Luke as a tour guide, isn't it, Professor? It certainly is helpful. Now let's move on to Bard Manor. To Bard Manor, which we're gonna do on Thursday. Seems like a decent stopping point for now. I don't know why I'm saving, I just saved, but I guess we don't have to watch that dialogue again. So there's that. That's London life, shit. There you go. Back to that. Anyway, we're gonna get back to chapter five next time. Hope you're enjoying Professor Lane and the Last Spectre, though. Obviously, the best is yet to come, as with every Layton game. Gotta play London Life. We might check it out once we finish the game briefly. Hey, thank you. Uh, let's get caught up on alerts real quick and find somebody to write. Ludlime, thanks for 47 months. Holy fuck, it's been a while. How's puzzles? Uh, real, real bad. Thank you. Mm. Big Cave Monster, thanks for 69 bits. Man, if only we had a puppet. Space Queen Leisha with a soup. Soup more theatrically. Natrum with 50 bits. It's Organization 13. Sweet Fang, thanks for the raid. And Sweet Fang with 13 months. Have a small raid for my 13 months. Really appreciate it. Cave with soup? No, Bard's Manor is actually 10 fifth graders in a tent. A Manochi with soup. I'm late to the stream, but I immediately scrambled once I hear Barry's playing the latent prequel. The first of three prequels. The Spectre's probably an aristocratic girl in a time-traveling elevator high on poisonous gases. I'll never tell. Is this the last Jedi to have a Jedi Spectre? Correct. Well, thank you all very much. Very much appreciate y'all joining me as I struggle to solve puzzles for children. Uh, we'll, comp we'll get back to this real soon. Um, tomorrow, though, is Dan Jones and Dragons. So if you want to watch some D&D, &D, that's tomorrow night on Dan's channel, because I'm Dan Jones. So make sure you tune into that. Deer's doing some art. Let's go say the deer. Don't forget the movies can takes place between this one and Miracle Mask. Yep. I'm not caught up. Well, you have till tomorrow night. Uh, what's our raid message for, for Deer? Is it is well? Not everyone's gonna have the um, the 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 what? I forgot what Deer named the emote. The 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 thing. You know the thing. The yeah, Warfy's got it. Looks like. If you're sub to deer, throw a, throw a looks like. If you're not, um... Yeah, three. Yeah, yeah! Hit them with the three. 
No, not that one, Beepus. If we were raiding Gam, then sure. <laughs> the, the Gam deserves it. Uh, yeah. There are some threes and some looks likes over to Deer. Uh, thanks so much for hanging out. And, we'll, and we'll, we'll get back to this. I don't know if we're gonna finish it next time. Probably finish it Friday, maybe. Judging from roughly how long these games take me for take for me to get through. Hey, Gam, go live so I can raid you. And everyone can yell, Bowser's coming. Um, but uh, yeah, and then Saturday will be a little birthday stream for yours truly, if you wanna join me as I do something other than this. I'm gonna try to get this done before Saturday, so. Oh no, kitty phone. Hope you enjoyed the VOD if you decide to check it out. Uh, take care. Thanks. Goodbye. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get- no, what? No, stop. Okay, well. Uh, thanks for watching, VOD. Watchers? Hope you've enjoyed part one of Layton and the Last Spectre. It's the last of its kind. Uh, see you in the next thing, maybe. Or not, or whatever. Take care. Bowser's <laughs> Shit. Shit. <laughs> <laughs>